I mean, I, that's a little bit eye opening. I would never think about uh, that's really fucking eye opening, man. <laughs> honestly, it was really fucking insightful. I've learned a lot, honestly, even if it's just an hour. I really, really uh, got the insight of how I should play my lane in the first few levels. That was fucking great. Wow. You opened my eyes in the early game, like th things that I could not see. Okay, so like I would just say, um, <clears throat> man, like you think way too much, um, about like okay. future and stuff. <laughs> um, <laughs> lots of people, it's been like a trend, really. Like lots of you, and when yeah. I say you, I mean like you know everyone I've coached doing this thing. Um, all of you really think like that. Like you think, oh yeah, we need to scale, and hopefully this will happen, and this. But you also say like you also talk in absolutes. So you said that. I'm never gonna like fight Viego, I don't think it's worth. I would 100% think of going something like red into here if my bot had prior, which your bot lane should, because it's double range. I would definitely think of doing yeah. that to Viego. I also don't know how Viego is good mm. against Graves because you just E his W and he's fucked. Like Graves, like, yeah, that's... matchups for you might be Nocturne might be difficult because you, if you auto attack, he just E's you. Um, Nidalee mm. is like probably annoying, and same with Kindred, right? Because she outranges. So those matchups yeah, are like regarding matchups, yeah, maybe I I, 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 don't know. My experience mostly, maybe it's just bad luck. Uh, but the in jungle, I don't, I don't think that there are many like bad matches for grapes. They might be some tricky ones. Uh, honestly, no one plays in the server Kindred or Nidalee. The, the few people that play it, they they are terrible at the champion, so it's like an insta win most of the time. So yeah, it's like Lee Sin, Diego, they, those champions are, in my opinion, a bit tricky at level 3. And then you start outscaling. Uh, that's my, my experience. But, you know, maybe I, I'm wrong. Maybe I just have, like, um, I'm just bad, I have bad luck with against those, those players. Um, but yeah, I, I, didn't, I, I wouldn't think about, you know, going red into an, an invade. But uh, you said, uh, you know, that we should have Brian on, in the bot lane. Uh, well, just play the game and, and you'll see what happens in the bot lane. Sure, like I'm just saying like you should have. Um, right, so I'm going to start mm -hmm. top like as well because it's double TP top and who cares about that. Um, yeah. The only reason like you would path top maybe still is because... Um, I don't know. Maybe Nefiri is still okay to like play for, but it's like first strike. So if I change that to like set or Renekton with TP, and let's just say their bot lane is like Vayne Soraka, I would actually be fine with you passing yeah. top. Like honestly, I think it's actually like probably better. Um, it's not going to mm -hmm. decide a game like in those games where it might be 50 50 where you go. But yeah, so mm -hmm. like my game plan here, mine would just be right, I'm going to start top, and that's literally it. These guys will okay. tell you what to do. You don't know, like, if you're going to uh -huh. get dragons. You don't know if you're going to scale. You don't know if a game is going to go 15, 20, 25, 30 minutes. All you can do is try to uh -huh. influence it as best as possible, right? That's all yeah. you can do. So if their bot lane has prior randomly, now all of a sudden it really changes things, right? Like, now that move, uh -huh. after red maybe, because you'll be able to hit him on blue and um, gromp, if he starts top, of course, um, is really difficult. And the other thing I would do in this game as well is just Arshul mid laner toward. She's against an Echo who doesn't have Halo Blade, so it's not really that scary just to, like, run in here. Mm -hmm. You get me? So, like, if Anivia can put a ward down here, yeah. it really helps you. And it helps your team as well, right? Yeah, I, I don't remember why I didn't war. I usually place a war because I really care about where the enemy jungler starts. Uh, because that decides usually with Graves if you can invade. For example, if you, I'm on the red side and I, and I have the war, I can know, for example, if the enemy jungler starts blue, then I'm I 99% of the time will try to invade him on, on, on Raptors. And the same thing, maybe... Uh, when the enemy start, well, I'm blue side and I start bot side, and the enemy starts red. It's a bit tricky because now the enemy has red, but I also tried. I don't remember why I didn't like ward in this game, but that's something I usually do. So, yeah, just yeah, maybe I would just ask you, about I would this just your mid to ward one. So, I wouldn't even ward if I were you. I just like press okay. G and flick your mouse bottom left because that's the ward. Like, you uh -huh. know, I want vision ping. Yeah, yeah. Um, well, that's what I would just do here. I was going to yeah. say something else, but I forgot. Oh, yeah, um, Red Smite. I think Red Smite is probably good with Dark Harvest, guys. But if you're going Fleet, I think, like, Blue Smite's better. And I'm pretty sure, like, Canyon and Kanabi always go Blue Smite with Fleet, so... Uh, yeah, um, personally, I, I've been using Red, like, for forever. Uh, I really like the slow, in particular, late game. You can pick some people off with, with that. You sh uh, like, back then, you could use um, Esserildas. That was also really great for, for catch, uh, mm -hmm. catching people off guard late game so i still prefer the red but I, maybe I, I should try it like the the the, the blue side. i yeah, don't like i think i think like you being able to slow someone like you should be able to do it anyway and you'll probably have red buffs and mm. stuff um i would just have rather yeah. have blue for like fights and to get around the map quicker 
Um, I just think it's a big, like, um, big plus. It's it's more worth getting that than just, yeah. like, you know, when you do eventually auto-attack someone, it's about getting in a position to auto-attack someone. Like, making yeah. sure you get in the brush just before they face-check it. Like, mm. that movement speed is going to be really useful for you. Like, moving around jungle mid late yeah. game. Um, oh, just tell me, like, straight. why you... Okay, so, oh, yeah, this was the other thing I was going to say. Like, after you finish this, right, because you don't know where he starts, I would just be pinging mm -hmm. mid lane here. Like, top lane, who cares if he ganks? You'd be happy if he ganks yeah. top because you take his bot. And if he ganks mid, though, it's like, you know, obviously you would see your champion's HP above here, right? Mm -hmm. Like, in your actual game. So I look at Anivia and I yeah, think, yeah. holy shit, like, this person can easily get ganked here. So I would just ping, yeah. like, maybe top. But that's, like, mm -hmm. where, if you have a ward, it's useful, right? I can't believe, I cannot believe this Viego, by the way, doesn't do that. That's crazy to me. Yeah, that, that would be the right, the right player also. Um, um, but that's also something you can do, Martin. Like, again, I don't know that Anivia in this game, in Champ Select, is going to be 200 HP holding bot side at 230 when I've yeah. like, hit level 3. So if you're the enemy jungler here, uh -huh. even if you're playing Graves, I think you going mid is absolutely fine. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I, I think I, I actually went, I, I, I like, I path like, not to the red now, because I thought maybe the enemy jungler was starting, like, bot side, and that's usually the default. And I wanted to double check, okay, and is, is he gonna get, like, trying to dive them? I, I don't think they're gonna try to dive because he has the passive and he's actually under tower. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but I wanted to get some information. And also, I think the guy was pinging me uh, for, for uh, I think, a war or something like that. Uh, so I thought, okay, maybe. Uh, yeah, he was thinking to all okay, run, yeah. and you've... Yeah, you've I was not run. gonna all in. Bro, I, would, I would never even run here. Um, and the other thing is, like, mm. um... When Echo comes down to ward, like he does before, like here was it? Yeah, here, right? When oh, you yeah. put a ward down, man, Anivia is not in range of that ward, so they know exactly where you are now. So now you like tell everyone mm. where you are, and like your pressure yep. on the map just like drops. So if there was ever a chance, mm -hmm. like Blitzcrank engages bot when you're really active at 3.30, let's say, after you finish Krugs, it's now gone. Like there's no way anything is going to happen bot, even though it probably still will because of the elo, but I'm just telling you like what will happen in a high elo yeah. game. Um, and if I was coaching like these guys or playing fucking support, let's say, I know that if I've got my jungler top side and you're clearly bot, I'm not going to do anything. I might even just stand over here like a human ward. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, makes sense. So yeah, I would just go to red buff here and um, yeah, happy days. Just like even even that though, Martin, like because you're graves, right? Like you don't clear that quick. You're not like a mm -hmm. you know, Zyra or Brand or something like that. So even yeah. those like 10 seconds, because that's what that will be, by the way. All of that will be like 10 seconds. That means now that when you finish like Krugs, I don't know, you're gonna get to like Crab at 340 at best, I think. And yeah. if Viego's bot, like you just- Yeah, I crab. actually lost. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I actually lost some time here. Uh, I usually don't do this. I don't remember exactly why. And maybe this was because I, I was you like pink, playing. Man. Is it... mute him. Or don't listen yeah, to the, the, I, I think the reason why is was because this was like after a couple of losses and that's <laughs> something I, I, I need to work on. I know that I need to work on it's, it's mental. Usually like losing two games in a row since I don't play that much, it completely destroys my mental. Then I start like doing like the wrong thing. For example, here, I was pinging for help. I know that there is no like there is no chance for anything to happen in mid lane. I'm showing myself by placing the ward and, and, and using the, the orb. So I'm doing the wrong thing. I know that I'm doing like in, in, in retrospective now, now we're watching the replay. I know that this is the wrong thing, but maybe the reason why is was, I was mostly tilted. So I, I, this is something that I, I, is, I know they need to improve on. I just don't know how, may I would say. Uh, yeah, you're gonna be this tilted. is outside the game. You're going to be tilted, Martin, because of how you think about the game beforehand. You've got so many expectations for everyone. Like, yeah, I'll, you know, Anivia is going to scale. She's going to like do well yeah. against Kalista and all this stuff. And maybe if it doesn't happen, you just tilt. Whereas like, I'm yeah. just always just playing the game, right? Like in the present. And I'm always thinking about the future, of course. So um, mm -hmm. if this is going to bring that. me to all in, mm -hmm. I would just be like, what the fuck is she talking about? I'm never going mid uh -huh. here. Now, if I'm playing Shaco, it's different, by the way. If yeah, I'm playing yeah, Shaq, it's very different, and I definitely kill the Echo. But you're playing Graves. Like, you can't kill him. Mm -hmm. So let's just yeah, go red. No like, this person is just trolling. And let's just, you know, actually play the game. Move on. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, you have to, Makes like, sense. basically, like, your goal is to diff this person, right? That's your goal. Mm -hmm. That's, like, the actual game you're playing here. You're playing jungle against jungle. If a lane is yeah. killable, of course, go kill them, right? But lots of the time, especially on Graves' early game, like, they might not be. So you have to be able to like farm properly and obviously track where Viego is going to be, which is why like a level one ward will help and stuff. 
Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um. But yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay, so now now you can see the bot lane, uh, mm -hmm. the situation that initially we thought, well, the, the, the idea was, okay, bot lane should have prior. Uh, this is not the case, they are completely under tower. So, yeah, I don't have the information about Diego. So I decided, okay, I don't know where anyone is. I don't, I, I don't want to risk it to, to do anything. And I think it was the right call. And, okay, I insta reset. I, the plan was to go for the top grab. I don't know exactly who took it, uh, and even lost this, this passive. Yeah, I think and, Alyssa took yeah. it, but um, all I'm saying, man, is like, you doing this, bro, means you can never contest that, right? So if you do, like, Krugs on time, maybe there's a world in which you can, like... Yeah. I mean, like, the other option here, I'm not sure, like, how good Grazers are doing this, but if you know, like, you don't have prior bot, right? So basically, bot is the key to this crap, because... Unless like your mid laner dies or your mid laner kills their mid laner and they don't have TP or something like that, right? Bot lane is really gonna determine who gets the crab because there's two of them. Yeah. So if you come bot, I should have said this, if you come bot and you know, you see hit Raptors or whatever, when you finish Raptors, if you still know like your bot is kind of getting fucked, you can just go to Krugs and then come back to red. So you can do this instead. Okay, and that, that, that's a new one. I'll, I'll write it down. I, I haven't thought about doing that. Okay. Yeah, so now the plan is, I actually thought, uh, I, I saw oh Diego ganking from... Oh my where are you from, going, man? So, let, let me elaborate. So, <laughs> yeah. I, I thought, now, Diego ganks mid, I know he, that he gank, ganks mid from, uh, like, top river. Mm -hmm. So, that means he started bot to top. Okay, so my plan is, I, I think I checked his CS, he's 27, so he probably fucked up his, his crux, uh, but he took uh, the top crab. So, mm -hmm. my plan is, okay, I'm going to take the bot crab, and then I'm going to play... For his, uh, for his bot uh, uh, Grump, because I know that he is, is going to spend some time here. I, I think uh, I think I, I see him uh, going back then to, to Nafiri, so I have some time to take the Grump. Uh, but then I saw the, the bot grab uh, like taken, and I, I got confused, honestly. Uh, but that was my, my thought process. If you play it again, you will see that I initially go for the, the crab, then I, I see that Diego is topside, so he hasn't backed. So, okay, mm -hmm. I'm going to punish him by taking his ground because I know he started both sides. That was the plan. Okay, so the issue with this, um, I would never do this because this guy might just be basing okay. um, like he should be. And if he's basing and running here, you're running into this again. Now, if you know that Callista uh -huh. is Oom and that their echo is this and that their blitz is half HP. So if you know, like, you've got a... I mean, this, these are like the details that... I didn't even really think about right because just in terms of jungle here i don't think it makes sense because so far in this game your bot lanes have been getting destroyed right so if you yeah. run over here to contest a gromp it has to be because your bot lane is doing really well and probably same with mid right but viego mm -hmm. can actually get there on time man if he just recalls here like you don't actually know if he's recalling or ganking top yeah so it's very difficult i think i start i initially go for for scuttle then i see him like in top and then i start moving to the gromp okay right that was the plan but okay. maybe in <laughs> retrospective, I should have gone directly for my own growth. Um, yes, I agree. I don't know. Like this. Because, like, this crab, even if it's up, you go to this crab and then you go all the way back to your gromp. And yeah, the funny thing is, like, that crab, he'll probably think you've done that, by the way. And, like, he won't even check it. So you can just go gromp walls and then you can do the crab if you want to do it. <laughs> Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah, it makes sense. Makes sense. But this but, move yeah, here to actually invade. Was... The funny thing is, sorry, man, like that in, that move to actually invade his Gromp here might even be the best move. Like your bot lane is is actual so like you know you you guys are like diffing them. Like that Callista being Oom, all right, it's no spell Callista. The Blitzcrank being half HP, all right, it's still a Blitzcrank, and if he lands a hook, it might be dangerous. But he is half HP, and his AD carry is not going to deal any damage. Yeah, does that all make sense? And you still have red buff as well, right? So. Red buff great is against like, you know, Viego, as long as you just eat his W, like you should be chilling, as long as you don't like full face mm -hmm. check him and stuff. Like that invade actually could be really good here. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. I actually think so it's good. I don't remember exactly what happened now, but I I'm pretty sure that I changed my mind, you know, going from Scuttle to Grump once I see him ganging top. And the plan was actually to punish him, but I then I don't remember exactly the, how, how things went. Uh, the thing is, as you said, my bot lane gets completely obliterated this game, uh, so things... Well, I don't, I don't know that, right? Like, at the moment, your bot lane's actually, like, yeah. dipping theirs because, you know, the HP mana and all that stuff. So your mm -hmm. bot lane is, like, enabling any of this. That's what that basically okay. means. Like, anything here, Crab, Drake, their bot side, like, your bot lane is enabling you to do that. So if you think the mm -hmm. VA... Like, I think he's just going to recall here. 
and then he'll run like this. I think like any jungler yeah. is going to do that. And if he does that, yeah, yeah, and that you're here, I think it's actually like really good for you. You just have to ping on the way. Oh my god, what the? F you just have to ping on the way right before, so you're supporting an AD carrier like ready to move type thing. You have to do that. Yeah. Don't like ping for assistance mm -hmm. during the fight because you'll just like one v three even if they are um and stuff um. and you'll die. Um, yeah, that, that's also I, I really like playing with the, with the engage of support uh, because exactly it enables me to do these kind of things. So okay, now now I see Diego, and I go directly to to Grom, uh, because I don't know the guy is taking this gank. Uh, again, I would have done what you said. I would in in his place. I would recall go back directly to Grom and, and move on. But well, this actually ends up like getting a flash, something like that, and, and yeah, the, no, nothing happens. Yeah, I just want you to be aware, like, look, when you're basing, right, Martin? So all the way back here. Mm -hmm. When you're basing like this and running out of base, the funny thing is, like, bot lane isn't even diffed here, you know? Like, their Blitzcrank is mid, so I think it's actually impossible for you to, um... How do you put it? Like, actually run to their Grom pit. Because Callista goes oom doing the crab, you know what I mean? So if you were pathing top towards your Gromp, you get me? Like, it's yeah. very, very difficult to just, oh, she's now oom. She's gone from like, you know, a third, maybe yeah. even half mana to like oom all of a sudden. It's like, what the fuck? I've got to go all the way like this now. And if you were looking mid, Blitzcrank's half HP. So it's very difficult, right, for you to, um, how do I put it? Like, just run straight here out of base. I would just be clicking here, but I would never be here because I would never ward that brush yeah. and I would be flexible in terms of getting a crab. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Makes sense. Exactly. So like that, that just puts you at a really annoying timer. Like that recall is kind of okay if you run it as Raptors at four minutes, but even then you're going to be late. So if they just do the Raptors yeah. at three fifty five is like kind of the real timer. You're never going to get there in time anyway, especially if they're smart. Mm -hmm. So that recall is really awkward in terms of just jungle camps, right? And thankfully yeah. you get really lucky here that this is actually the best move. <laughs> Like, funnily enough, this is actually the best move based on, like, Blitz and Callista, right? Again, these champions are going to tell you what to do. Same with Viego. Yeah. They're going to speak to you. Hey, man, like, I'm not bot. Um, that means my Grom's up, and I haven't even based yet. Uh, hey, man, like, I'm half HP. Mm -hmm. Hey, man, I'm Oom. I can't use any spells. Like, that's what they're telling you. Like, that's your game plan. Yeah. Don't worry about scaling mm -hmm. or dragons or anything like this. They will tell yeah. you what to do on the map. All right, so let's see what happens then. Yeah, like, here, right, you haven't pinged on the way, I don't think, at all. I ping on the way, yeah. like, whenever I'm doing Absolutely. something on that side. Mm. Even if I'm just yeah, running out sure of base here, Martin, I would just ping on the way. Like, if I'm basing, that's mm -hmm. where I'm going, right? So let's just say you do the yeah. bot crab, and you're basing. You ping on the way to top side, because unless your bot lane know, you're not going to be there. Yeah, makes sense. So if they Yeah, die, I'm really inconsistent in that regard. Hmm. I have some games where I ping everything, and I get, like, the, the, the mute because I've been pinging so much. And other games, I just don't ping enough. So now I, I know that Diego has recall, so I'm not going to stay for a Waltz. Uh, that's going to be like a terrible play. So I'm, I'm going back, but as you said, now, now I have this awkward walk where I need to like traverse the entire map. Um, and it's kind of shitty. Uh, that's whatever, to be honest. And I think I skip... No, I didn't skip. The I'm only going... other thing here, man, is like you would... Um... I just want to point this out. Like, if your bot lane was diffing them more, right, you could easily just, like, sit here and just wait for him, yeah, and start a fight. Okay. Easily. But, th These... but there has to be a big difference, though. So this is way too, like, even, you know? Like, you, I don't really yeah. like this fight, yeah. and Echo's going to TP. So this fight here wouldn't be good. But in another game, you could literally just, like, wait here, or maybe even here, and just fight yeah. Diego. Well, there, there is another game where we have a Thresh Draven where I do something like that. And, mm -hmm. well, also things go completely south. But yeah, I, I didn't see like the, the chance of doing anything in particular there. So I know now that Diego oh, yeah, is on he... both sides. He probably sees Grom and he's gonna get that he's taken. So I'm gonna take Wolves. And there is a chance that he will try to like uh, take revenge by taking the, the Raptors. Uh, so I guess that was my initial thought. I don't know why I, I backed out. Okay, so... Uh, uh, yeah, I, I think I backed out because I see the ping. <laughs> so I know that is a bit risky for him. Uh, if he tries to do it, I, I can. I think maybe I can, can counter the, the, the invade. Uh, mm -hmm. But I don't know. Uh, this is like one of the things that I don't know what's the best place. Should, should I like protect the Raptors? Should I go for Grump and reset and then Raptors and be flexible in mid lane? Uh, this is like in the moment, in the heat of the moment, I don't know what's the best place. So I actually take uh, Wolves into Grump, uh, but I don't know. Let me just do this. What, I'm just going to cut the say? lines up because I want you to think about jungle, like only when you jungle. Um, so me here, right? What time do your raptors spawn if you start a topside? 
So if I start the top side, I would say around 430, something like that. Oh my uh, god. More. Yeah, no, for, for, yeah, 450, for, no, 5. I, I think it's like <laughs> close to 5. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> Sorry, man. Yeah, I usually remember the 420 because that's the enemy Grump or Raptors. Uh, but yeah. Yeah, five minutes, bro, is going to be your third camp, right? So if he starts topside, yeah, his walls five. are five minutes. If he starts bot, his raptors like yours. If you start a blue buff anyway, five minutes, right? Or some yeah, junglers might be like even 455, like, I don't know, canes or whatever. Yeah. Um, so yeah, five minutes. So what you're trying to think about here is like, I kind of agree with you. It's annoying having to go here, right? Because this guy might get really fucking mad and run in here. Yeah. Like you might do it and then you just like kind of lose raptors even though you get more experience from Gromp. Um, and the funny thing there, like it might not even be that bad because after walls, you could do that. But I still don't like that that much because you're just giving up raptors. Like you can just say, look, I got Gromp and I got Gromp 100% and that's just like the win yeah. for you. So if I were you, I would just wait for raptors. As weird as that looks and then okay. I would just clear up and then you got grubs at six minutes. If you can't do grubs, I think maybe it's the even safest option. that. I also think that's the safest option because he cannot take my Gromp. There is no way he yeah, doesn't course. have enough time. So again, it's a bit awkward the walking like that, but it, it guarantees that I will not lose the, the camp. Yep. So, I would just wait for Raptors though. But as long as you know the timings, right? So like even in my head, Martin, I know that um, like, yeah, 415 is his Gromp, right? We know yeah. this because he ganked top or whatever the fuck he yeah, did. Yeah. Um, and then we know for therefore that walks. Raptors will be five minutes. Yeah, 430 yeah. walls and then five. So if, um, if you ever, like, let's just say you saw him ganking bot here, like, right now. Yeah, you just mob directly to Raptors. Yeah, yeah. Exactly that's right. Like, like a, uh, automatic. I, I won't even think about it. Yeah, so it's like a little so, bit yeah. awkward, and thankfully he shows there. So yeah. he did his walls, you now sure? he's doing wraps. And now I think, uh, I don't remember what was the plan here. I'm getting, like,. Uh, Maybe I think it, there was the reason. Okay, maybe he goes Raptors into Invade, something like that. And I don't have the mid lane. I thought, okay, maybe Skarner wants to do some funny shit, like crossing across the wall and something like that. I know that he probably is in Crux, and, and now I'm 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 hesitating about what to do. do should I wait for Grubs? Uh, I would, um, mid lanes I would are definitely like stay. resetting. I would definitely okay. stay because like your Nivea has a better base than Echo and she has TP, right? Mm -hmm. So she should have prior mid. So this is like, um, it's a little bit detailed, but while you're doing all this, right? And you see Nivea basing and you know he's going to go to his Krugs and you can't hit him there, right? But if you just yeah. press tab and stuff, that's a tier. Like, wh like what the fuck are these items? Like who cares? This is much better. And then mm -hmm. Nivea is basing now with TP. So she's actually going to get a better base off, right? In terms of gold spend. So she's coming yeah. back, spending 49 CS worth. Echo maybe spent, like, I don't know, 25 CS worth of gold, 30 CS. Mm -hmm. So Anivia's going to be like stronger than Echo here. And even if Echo bases and you're like, oh my God, they're matching. It's like, no, Anivia's going to get prior for you. She'll be here first. Mm -hmm. So I would definitely stay yeah. here and not give up anything. Just one more point, mine as well. Like whenever you see this crab, just try to like make a note of it. So it will spawn in 60 seconds when you see that timer, just like anything else. Okay. Um, but generally speaking, like if both of you, I know in this game their bot lane did crab, but if both of you do a crab at like 3.30 and kill it at like, let's say 3.40ish, that will respawn around like 6.10. Okay. So that time is useful, right? If both of you just like full clear or, you know, the, the crabs are killed, like, you know, as soon as possible, the next one, whatever you see is generally going to be around like 6.10, maybe 6.20. Just useful to know, mm -hmm. right? Because it might just add yeah. another, like, you know, uh, camp to your existing clear or whatever. Yeah. But yeah, I would definitely say everything you do that's fine. I don't even care if you sweep and show. Like, they're probably going to know your top side as well. So I'm fine with you being there, but I would just never leave that area because of this, right? Okay. Like, Anivia TPs and she has prior, and now she's running towards bot side, which I guess she has to do because her jungler is. But I think you should definitely be here and, you know, yeah. like, contesting she will grubs probably and fighting. Walk up, like, to grubs because I was, like, staying there. Mm -hmm. and that you also sense. give like crab as well so um and by the way mm -hmm. just one more thing i know like this like i see this but you should obviously just be like pinging krugs because you see them on raptors laners man like laning is intense yeah, yeah, yeah. man so like they're not going to think about jungle like just trust me and you've had enough experience in this elo that they just yeah, absolutely. <laughs> um so actually ping yeah. i think i didn't ping enough i i knew that if he was in krugs i thought that maybe he was <laughs> not gonna try to gank that uh, but well, he actually tried it and, and, and it worked out at the end of the day. I don't actually know where you ping, so I think you ping here at 606 or something. Oh, you did ping, right? Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, that's fine then. No worries. Maybe I should have ping again? Yeah, that's fine. Well, right. I ping bad. again. Yeah, yeah, no, that's perfect, mate. I'm just making sure you've got no sins. As long as you ping once, like, that's yeah. fine. <laughs>
here I don't remember why I go I okay, so what do you what do you think here then? So when you run out of base, right, you know that you're not running mm -hmm. I mean the funny thing here, man, is like you can still run to grubs by the way and like ping on the way and stuff. That's the funny okay. thing. Like you can actually still run there, right? Because if you don't, you're giving up three grubs, crab. And I know that bot side is like your strong side, so to speak. Like that's the thing yeah. you care about the most. But in terms of jungle, bro, like Viego's gonna be so much stronger next time you meet him. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. Like that's, yeah, that's, that's, that's the issue here. When you think about lanes as much as you do and lots of other people do in this ELO, which is a huge reason you're going to be here unless you like change it, um, you're going to lose this. Like this guy's just going to get free resources and you're going to give up stuff because like you just value or, or you're not thinking about the value maybe you can get out of this guy. Remember, he yeah. is not fucking like that good. Like no disrespect to anyone in this uh -huh. ELO, but they're not that good. You can like destroy yeah, yeah. them, right? Like when they make mistakes, you can really punish them. Um, uh -huh. So that's like the diff you should be looking for, man. And when you diff jungle, it will ripple across everywhere. Your bot lane will win because theirs has to back off. Theirs might run into their jungle and you kill them as well with your bot lane. And all of a sudden you've won bot lane, even though, um, you know, you know, your bot lane might think, oh yeah, we did really well this game. It's like, no, you fought around me. Like, that's why you won. Yeah. It's not like you 2v2'd. Mm -hmm. um, see, that's, it's like a different mindset, bro. But it, like, you just have to have it. It's the only way you can like influence games as much as possible, right? By diffing him. Mm hmm yeah, I think the plan here was actually to go towards Dragon or something like that. I don't know why exactly I went directly there. I should have gone to Raptors and then be flexible from there. I don't know. Maybe I was just looking into bot lane. Maybe I thought, okay, maybe I can get in time, something like that. I Again, I was like, uh, like two game low fighting, streak, so yeah. I was thinking That's I, fine, I need to like start pulling off something because, uh, okay, maybe I can get like my camps here, but I, I don't get that much. This is fine, okay, bro, because no. they're fighting, right? You were actually going to go to Raptors. I can see your character go like this, and then bots fighting. So you moving like this is is absolutely no worries. But here, when Viego shows top, there's no way you ever click around like this. It just has to be straight dragon. Or if you know his Gromp's going to respawn, which it will soon, and his blue buff yeah. as well, that's what I would be thinking about first. Yeah? Hmm. Then you can come mm -hmm. back to dragon, yeah. right? Yeah. But yeah, the yeah, funny thing here is like... The, the annoying thing, like, if you ran, because I said, like, you could run the grubs out of base, but of course, like, you're, like, fucking, you're 15 seconds late, right? And then you're going to be 625, maybe, when you get there. So you've already, you've probably yeah. already lost, like, two grubs. So there's no point running yeah. there, because you're just going to flip the last one. Like, you don't know 100% if you get that. Um, yeah. So, yeah, and yeah. also, personally, I'd rather take the dragon than, than grubs. I, I don't think the grubs are a good objective at all. I wouldn't. Uh, they, they might help you in, in, in the split push scenario, but I don't think we're going to be split pushing. We, we don't have the champions. We probably will try to stack uh, as five. So, yeah, I'd rather take the dragon. That's, I think, that was the plan. Uh, but, yeah. Okay, so uh, why do you say that? Is... So why do you say, like, are you saying, like, in this game or generally, like, dragon is... Generally, I try to not play for grabs just for the objective. Mostly, most of the time, I play for grabs because I know that I can face the enemy jungler and, I, I don't know, eight out of ten times, I'm probably stronger than the enemy jungler, so I can kill him there. That's the usual plan because... I don't know. I think Grubs, they, they, I've seen the numbers, and maybe if you have a Jax, a Trina, something like that, it can actually be useful. But if you take a look at the numbers by late game, it's just like maybe two or three auto attacks. Uh, unless you get the six Grubs, which is hard, usually. Uh, the numbers, again, uh, the stats are not that good. I'd rather take the Dragons, which are, I don't know, 700, 800 gold uh, global. Uh, so yeah, I, personally, I'd rather play for that. Um, uh, when, when talking again, I'm talking about the, object, the objectives itself, not about the the, the 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 matchup there, like the skirmishes that could happen, and maybe you can pull off, you know, I don't know, two or three kills. So like, um, I can kind of get what you're saying, man, but again, this is a massive trend that I've like realized that people think about, and it just overcomplicates things. Okay. You guys think like this, right? Because you think like dragons help your team scale and stuff, which they do. Don't get me wrong. I, have, I was coaching someone yesterday. It was like 13 minutes, right? Yeah. Second Grubs was sitting there and second Drake was there. I even told him, get second Drake. Mm -hmm. The main reason, though, was because his top side was getting fucked. And even though he just got a kill against jungle, if you do the Grubs, you might get contested and you can only get one of them. Yeah. So just go and do the dragon where your like, strong side is, I guess, right? I mm -hmm. would much rather get three grubs, bro, than first Drake because it's experience. So next time I meet the enemy jungle, right, all I'm thinking about is that diff. I'm trying to make this yeah. go from even to fucking that. 
and grubs help you okay. do that right a dragon yes you're right it gives you stats and whatever else like latent gold and and you know helps your team scale and stuff but when you get to that next drake fight oh my god like they're, they're not going to be able to get like the next four dragons because you're going to be so fed right mm -hmm. and because yeah, viego's so. top in this game and you know this he's never getting drake it's never mm -hmm. going anywhere. So it's not like, oh, I've got to do grubs and I lose. No, it's like you're contesting him here because you're like, what the fuck are you doing? Like, let's go. I've got an Ivy TPing with Pryor. I've got a better top laner because you've got a tier Skarner. I mean, Skarner will still be like kind of useful, but you're there first, right? That's the point. Yeah. Like, you can always sit in this brush and wait for Viego. Maybe you do one grub. Like, whatever happens, right? I think that's like mm -hmm. so good for you. Yeah, makes sense. Does that make sense, man? Like the 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 golden experience you like, not the gold really, but like the experience you get, bro, from Grubs is more valuable than this thing. Yeah. Yeah. If you were to yeah, try, yeah, it. I was like, talking I would mostly about. about hmm, I don't I don't know about the experience. I was just talking about the the, the effect of the Grubs. Uh, that's why I yeah. don't like try to play. Uh, again, it, it, everything considered equal, uh, I would rather get the, the dragon rather than the grubs, uh, but maybe I should check the, the numbers regarding the next it's, it's not about numbers though, man. Like, trust, man. Like, this is just objectively speaking. Like, you can okay. talk about like getting dragon or grubs, but the game is going to tell you what you should contest. Yeah, like you can't go into this game thinking, right, I'm just going to play for Drakes and I'm going to give the enemy yeah. jungler like everything when you could actually be here fighting him. Mm -hmm. Like, I think you're better than Viego. I think Anivia is better than Echo because she'll be there first with big items. Like, there's no mm -hmm. way, I don't care what the matchups are, like, any jungler should be just be, like, running off there and basing. You know what I mean? Like, there's no yeah. way. Mm -hmm. It's not nothing to do with numbers or anything or anything like that. Like, the number of winning this game, like, the percentage of winning this game is a lot higher if you actually care about beating this guy in terms of jungle. Not thinking about dragon benefits whole team. What does Grubs do for a scan on top? No, don't think like that. I mean, Grubs are still useful for him, but mm -hmm. it's not about that. It's like, what do I care about in this? Yeah. And if I can never do Grubs because my top laner dies when I'm farming Grub and my mid lane is getting shoved in, oh my God, I can't do Grubs, then of course you have to run out here. I'm not saying you don't ever do a Drake or something, but still, I would rather think about that first, which is what we talked about, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, all right. <laughs> Uh, Martin, you're on grubs. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So now I think the plan was okay. Now mm -hmm. I have the 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 Milio there. And if we should push uh, the Echo around, and we should probably go to Dragon. I don't know exactly why we ended up going to grubs. Maybe the plan was okay. Uh, since I, I I think I saw Diego trying to gank, so I know that he didn't actually try to get the the grubs. So maybe I can face him in the in the grubs and as you said i have the better mid lane well here and i have the mid lane because echo needs to reset and uh, he's completely out so yeah that i think that was the thought process in in the moment uh, because now i know that bio cannot uh, like cannot be taking grubs it would be completely suicide if he does uh, i'll just kill him there did you see him so like the question here is like if you saw him because when you're fight like here man i think you're focused on this right i don't think anyone's gonna look at minimap here and realize viego's top like, let honestly. me check the replay just one second because i think i saw him uh... maybe you did back here right like when you're running out here yeah you probably would here but okay so like it's not a question of if you see him here man it's just like if he runs down to grubs right but the funny thing is, like, even if he runs down to Grubs on one HP, he's got honey fruit. Because the spawns are like 620 or 615. I can't remember. Fucking, I need to ask someone. But um, even if he runs down, he's going to be half HP, right? Yeah. And he's got a top laner who is there. You don't have a TP top. So if that guy ran down to Grubs, man, which he definitely should. I don't even care, like, what HP he's on. Like, he should know honey fruits here. Um, yeah. But because he doesn't, right? If you know that he was basing in that brush... You 100% like make the right play. Like, I think this is fine. Just to take like one grub, maybe you can take two. I don't think you can take three, by the way, because it will just like run out. Hmm. So I think maybe you take like two grubs and that's it. It will be way too close to do a third one. So maybe like two grubs, maybe you can do the crab. And then you're just thinking about protecting bot side, right? To be honest, yeah. um, Martin as well. Um, I do this a lot just because, yeah, it's just jungling. But you'll see Canyon and maybe Kanavi do it, but Canyon does it a lot. If you know, right, that they know. So think about this. It's kind of like back and forth. I'm yeah. doing grubs here, Diego. He clearly knows this because you ran like that. Right, okay. Yeah. I'm losing grubs no matter what here, or at least two of them. If he really wants to contest, okay, but it looks kind of shit too. Right, so if I'm losing grubs here, how does he counter this in terms of jungle? Don't he, think about anything else. He got, 
Yeah, he has to go to both sides, right, to take my both side. That's the, the only reasonable play. Exactly right. Okay, so like after you do two Grubsman and you say, if because if you do three, what happens? I don't have enough time to go to, to defend my, ah, my both side. That's... Right, okay, very good. Yes, very good. But what like actually happens like when you do three Grubs? Like the yes, game... the notification that good. says, okay, the, the enemy has slain the, the Grubs. So <laughs> he knows go. by the time that he has, I don't know, 20 seconds to... to, to roam around the bot side and do whatever he wants yes it's like confirmation oh he's actually really doing it whereas like if you just do two he'll be like wait what the fuck is that graves doing maybe if his yeah. top cans are up like he thinks you're doing this and all of a sudden like you know he pings his laners and they're like wait well i'm just wasting time like he's not here mm -hmm. because you're doing that yeah i i usually think about it but i don't know why i don't don't pull off the, the taking two out of three uh, I, I probably should do it a bit more often uh, because yeah as you said it, it confuses the enemy jungler and and he he's not safe like trying to do anything like fancy here in bot side. Let me just it's say, man, that if you had time, so all it is, bro, is a question of like, if you have enough time to do all of them. I don't think you do here, if he runs mm. here, or if he runs to your Raptors, right? Like if he runs here, that line he's on, so if he runs like to this point, he's gonna be here, right? If he's on the other side yeah. of the map. So that's too late. Like you can't do another grub there when you've done two grubs and he's here, or he's here. Mm -hmm. Right, because you're gonna lose like too yeah. much. Raptors, Krugs, and you don't know if you can ever really do this, right? And he mm -hmm. just ganked top lane, so these camps like probably aren't even up. So it's difficult after that if you just like you know let him take your bot camps there to play the game. So I would take two grubs and just run straight bot and all the crab is just bait. Does that make yeah. sense? Yeah, it makes sense. I don't know what I did here. And yeah, there it is. So if you saw him run yeah. off by the way like this, I don't actually know if you should run here unless your support's here. But then what about Blitzcrank? Like I would really have to think about it, right? Like before. Mm. Um, but yeah. if you just ran down with honey fruit, you should probably just stay bot and hopefully like try to take these or maybe drag on something like that. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah, it makes sense. Yeah, there's it's a lot of small details, uh, honestly. <laughs> Yeah, of course, like that's what it is though, man. Like these small details enable you to see the future, bro. So I would say like um, iron players, they have no idea what's gonna happen. I would say yeah. that master and GM players, 50% of the time know what's gonna happen. Challenger players know like close to 100% of the time what's gonna happen. And it's because that gap there is all the details I'm talking about, like TP, whether this guy yeah. like has honey fruit, whether, uh, you know, like flashes and stuff. Oh my God, that guy's oom. Um, this guy needs to base, but he's got TP or whatever. You get me? Like support might be roaming uh -huh. here at a base and stuff. Like basically it's just about seeing the map as if there was no like fog. Yeah. Because how can you make a mistake if you know where everyone is and what spells they have? It's really difficult to. Yeah. It's really mm -hmm. difficult to lose a yeah. game and make bad decisions. Yeah, and this is completely... I don't know exactly why I took that. Thankfully, he's not doing it, but yeah, I'm just saying, man, like against another jungler, you're going to lose your bot side here. And all you get is crab, which doesn't mean anything. Blue, that doesn't mean anything. If you do blue, okay, you're not, okay. But if you were to do this, man, like now you've just lost all this. Maybe your bot lane gets yeah. dove and stuff, because at this time in the game as well, when six rolls around, um, I've used the word dynamic a lot, which basically just means like more plays can happen type thing. Like champions have more mobility, they have more damage and stuff, CC, whatever it is their ultimate gives them, right? So your bot lane here, mm -hmm. especially like something like a level five milio against that, if you if they know they're in a 3v2, right? Because they might even think, oh, the Graves is going to, yeah, yeah. you know, get induced by his top side and farm these camps. Like your milio is going to die under tower and stuff. Huh. Yeah, or your bot lane will just die. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. There is a risk of dive, I, I guess. Yeah, so like you splitting the map here, like if your bot, because you told me, man, in this game, like your bot lane gets dumpstered, this will be a reason why, bro. Like you are contributing to it yeah. here. There is no way you should be here in this game. You have to cover. But yeah. the funny thing is, like when you sense. when you think about jungle, you actually be in the right position every single time because that that is what the game is, man. Like laners have minions, right? And we have jungle camps. Mm -hmm. So if you're in the wrong jungle camp, if you're in the wrong lane, if you're getting like the wrong wave. If you're missing waves, yeah. there's going to be a diff between laners. That's the same for jungle as mm -hmm. well. If you're in the wrong position, so if you're at the wrong camp, because they dictate where you're going to go, then you're going to lose stuff in terms of lanes, right? Because you're down yeah. a defender of that lane or whatever it is. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think my, my thought process here was, okay, oh I'm, I'm going to assume that he, he got already my bot side, so I'm just going to counter him in the top side. Here, I miss a smite. That's... Yeah, it's whatever, but this is really lucky, man, that he's not doing this and just killing your bot lane here, you know? Like, so, so fortunate. 
Yeah, yeah. Honestly, now that you take a look at the game, this, he probably should have gotten gotten the the dive here. Oh, <laughs> the flash. Nice ping. Yeah, good. Yeah, your pings good. are great, by the way. Like pings are really good. Yeah, most of, most of the time I know where the enemy jungler is. It's just like you know, as you said, the laners just don't don't pay attention here. I think okay, Bigot just wasted ult. Oh my fucking and, god! And I don't what know what the, the guy does. He starts pinging to for me and okay, whatever. It's like I go insta mute and, and move on. I'm gonna be honest, man. I don't even know if I would actually run top here, <laughs> even though he gets ganked. Um, how it's it's the second this? time you, you see this the same position. He's gonna get ganked by coming from Crocs. I, I know it. So maybe my thought process, okay, the first time he actually dies, so maybe I can help him to survive. <coughs> uh, I don't lose anything. Um, but yeah, things. Then then the guy completely like goes mental and, and starts pinging and whatever. I would be thinking here, bro, like this Viego ganking top. I think uh, maybe it's okay because Skana has ult, but if Nefiri has flash that she does, I think it's difficult to kill yeah. her. And I actually think you should mm -hmm. use your top laner here as bait just to get more gold than Viego. And then after these camps, you can always recall if you've got Ghostblade and you run out. If you don't have Ghostblade, there's no point recalling, right? But like, you're yeah. going to buy this item. It's not going to change anything. So you just like keep clearing your yeah. camps and your camps are on like quicker timers. So your base there with Ghostblade means something because at least you're going to run to like maybe Dragon or something around here, right? Mm -hmm. But yeah, I would actually just let her get ganks. Seriously, I wouldn't even give a fuck about that lane. I would actually just let her get ganks because right. it enables you to do something maybe potentially down here. Yeah. And yes, you might get mm -hmm. pinged and stuff, bro. But that's why, man, you pinged over here. I even said, like, your pings are great. Like, you pinged here. That's all you need to do, bro. And if she dies, then fuck her. Just because you're top, it doesn't yeah. mean you have to react to this. I say this all the time. So I'd actually just let mm -hmm. her get ganked because it enables me to get this, Ghostblade, and then run out here. Now, Viego might yeah, base as well. But all I'm saying is like what we've done beforehand has led up to this point where it's probably even and he just gets like a free gank off. Because in another game, maybe yeah. your bot side or maybe you're actually here with Ghostblade. But after you cover your bot, maybe you're actually here with Ghostblade now and I'd be more than happy you fighting. Because I think you will just yeah. like carry it. Okay. okay, yeah. So like I think this game on like at this point, I think we've been through enough. But yeah, like yeah. you happy with this? Because we can quickly maybe go through like another early game if you're down. Yeah, maybe we can take a look at the the other game. You know, the the one with Trash Draven. Uh, I I think I see I've seen the, the the arrows here. I think again, this these are the small details. Some things that I are taking. Maybe the first thing that you mentioned that I maybe I go into the game with such a a plan that 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 the the, the thing is when things don't go the way I think they're gonna go, uh, I just like my mental goes goes out the window and uh, maybe that's something that i shouldn't do like just think about okay i'm gonna start here and whatever happens uh yes that's uh, I, i'll say that that's the, the biggest thing I, I, that i get so here the plan is completely different uh, in the sense that okay i really don't care too much about top side mid lanes should be safe uh, a beggar should probably play under tower uh, I, I, until six i don't think there is anything that we need like to care about in in, in the in the mid lane, and I, I want to play for both sides because I know that uh, Kogma and, and Nami are gonna scale. Mm -hmm. So I, again, I have this plan. And, and maybe it's <laughs> like looking too much into the future, but the plan is, is okay. I, I don't want to wait for a scale uh, the game to, to, to go too long because I know that Trundle will lose the one v one. Like he will never be able to split push against Jax, and my both side will will be outscaled. And maybe we can play around Vega or something like that, but I, I, I cannot put the like I cannot bet that, that things will go uh, sure. like, yeah, exactly. good with, with midway. So here's the plan, man. We start top, because of course you have to think like where am I gonna path or like late invading. So I look at late invading here, but if you like late invade is top side, which actually might be okay, but you're gonna split, you know, for a trundle. Mm -hmm. So even if you even if that ward's good, let's say, you're leaving your Draven and Thresh like other side of the map. If you can late invade bot though, it might be interesting. But Still, like, I don't actually know. I mean, you probably actually do win, but PTA Cogmore might be useful. So again, like, if you're not 100%, you don't do something, right? So now we think, right, yeah. if I'm not going to lane invade, what am I going to do then? Well, it's just going to be starting away from the lane I care about. So if you care about bot, you're going to start top, and then you'll be like, yeah. right, okay, so I'm starting blue this game, and now I just listen to them the whole game. Mm -hmm. And if you Makes do, sense. like, what we're talking about, you will diff jungle and diff the game. That's it. <coughs> If you do that, man, like you diff jungle, 
Eel Nate is going to be super happy. Because you give them breathing room, they won't have a jungler. That's how you win. Well, you there is an actual like game that I, I, do, I, I do something <laughs> like that, where I, comp I, I play ag only against the enemy jungler. And it's, uh, I think the guy was playing Shen, something like that in the jungle, so I tried to abuse that. And then there is also a game where you know, I was playing against the brand, and the plan was mostly the same. Uh huh. Yeah, just same these, thing. Just ask for these games here, are, uh, if you can. Just do it every game. I know this game there was like some level one stuff, but it's still worth it. Yeah. Like you never know. Mm -hmm. Okay, so she wards deep here. Um, okay, so Martin, can you remember what we talked about last game? Now this game you don't need to do it. I don't think. Or maybe, I mean, you still actually could do it this game. So what do we talk about here? So you've got two clears. Let's just say you do clear these camps. I'm going to talk about something yeah. else in a second. But let's just say you do clear these camps, right? What order do you do them in if you're not scared of getting invaded? If I'm not scared of getting invaded, I will say I will go Raptors Red into Crux. If I'm scared of being invaded, I will do Raptors Crux into Red because Red takes the longest time. So I, I want to like, delay that one. Right, very good. And what but I about... don't think that Diego is... I, I yeah. was not thinking at all that Diego could try to invade me, honestly. I think I, I, think <clears> I actually <throat> do the, the, the safe clear, but I always thought, okay, maybe this is like a very long shot. So uh, I think he, he might when I see this. Okay. I'm thinking to myself, it's an Ari who's obviously infinitely more useful than a Vega and she'll yeah. hit three soon. And why the fuck would she go and put that deep of a ward down? Maybe that Viego's pinged on the way, and that's why she's done that. Okay. Maybe they were a duo, and they're going to hit you. You know what I mean? Like, there has to be, like, a reason for mm -hmm. that, and it might involve yeah. doing something to you. So, like, that's what my brain is yeah. telling me, right? My brain is also telling mm -hmm. me, this is, like, why it's super useful if you do have any wards early game. It's because in this, like, game state where your bot lane is absolutely fucking destroying theirs, like, their Nami is going to be level 1 if you ever do anything bot here, and your bot lane is going to be level mm -hmm. 3. It's just to do red into that. Okay. Yeah, it's the same thing, right? Like I was saying before. Mm -hmm. Like, it doesn't even matter about mid lane. There is such a huge diff bot that that, and if it is up, well. there's no way that Viego should be farming, like, any camp there. It's just annoying here because you don't actually know exactly where he started, right? Mm-hmm. So imagine yep. if you knew that he was just, you know, all his bot camps are up here and you've got that bot lane, like you don't even think about it. Maybe if mm -hmm. I was like warded here, yep. it's annoying. So maybe you go red and then you come over the wall like that. Yeah. Yeah, it makes sense, makes sense. And yeah, like if you know, if you know Ari's warded this area, right, man, just do the Raptors in the brush. Auto attack this and just queue it like that and just do it mm -hmm. in the brush, right, so they don't see you. Yes, they will still know okay. if they're good that you're here because they'll see the Raptors symbol on the minimap disappear, but they won't actually see mm -hmm. you until that's gone. Okay. So you might like, you know, bait people into thinking you're, you're somewhere else. Ari <clears> might be <throat> bought. This is the only thing here, right? And Draven doesn't have flash. No, actually, actually, they, they, they try. Oh yeah, Ari was here. Right. Yeah, so I think all this, man. There's no way you clear any camp but red buff here, and you just run into Viego's bot side. Hmm. Like just like when you move bot here, right? And I see this. That is like the best picture I've seen. Like, oh my god, I'm salivating as a jungler. This enables you. Even if you dive, by the way, like this guy, you could easily just go bot and dive him. Like that's that's actually the main yeah. thing here. So fuck your camps. Doesn't even matter if Diego is here or isn't here. So if he's here, great. You kill him as well. If he's up here, then you just kill Cogmore and then probably Nami afterwards and the game's completely over, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So this should just be, I think anyway, red buff and then you can go. I think you have enough time right. to do red buff. Yeah, I, I think my plan was actually, um, I thought that, I don't know why I remember thinking that uh, Vigo started topside, so I thought, okay, I'm going to wait until the Vigo tries to gank. If he tries, I'm going to uh, do the counter uh, counter gank, and maybe we can like pull it off. That, that I think, was my thought process at the time. Yeah, it's just weird though, right? Like, the, the counter gank thing. Like, I would just be going there and just killing the Cogmore. So, I'm also trolling, First, by the way. Yeah. Like, you don't have enough time to do red buff. Why is that? Just look here for me. Mm. Why can you not do red? If I do red buff, they will probably like put, uh, like completely push the wave. It's gonna bounce back, and I lose the opportunity. I Good, guess. right? You needed gank on that wave, like dive on that wave, so yeah. you can't do red buff. Um, yeah. Which is like a really important thing, right? So, so here you you will completely skip uh, yeah. everything both side and go yep. directly to dive in. 
I would probably like go like this and then E over just in case like huh. that's randomly but they've, they've, they've already been fucking killed so yeah I would probably just do yeah. that hmm. All right. and you'd go around here and it's useful because you might see his Grom oh my god he's bot side but it doesn't matter because he's like 5 seconds behind you you'll kill the Cogmore before yeah. he reacts mm -hmm. yeah yeah mm -hmm. Yeah, I think I will later try to do something like that. Uh, completely different situation, but where I skip everything, I try to do the dive, and well, things mechanically mm -hmm. go completely wrong. <coughs> yeah, it's just unfortunate, like Ari's here, but like this should you should be here, like this should be there, but like you should just be here. No, that's all I'm saying. Mm. Probably auto attack one more time there, because you'll have your E back up. Like Ari charms you here, man, but I reckon. Oh, maybe not. Yeah, Sorry, I, I thought it, I thought it was two seconds. My bad. No, you're right. You're right. Now here yeah, I remember. Yeah, I actually like this yeah, because like, my, they have to stay for this wave. Exactly. They they cannot crash the wave like this. They don't have summoners. And here I, I fuck it up. And oh like my goodness, man. Look at this man. All right, okay, right. Yeah. I actually had to do the Q flash and Yeah, and Q flash, exactly. Nah, it. Yeah, it's, it's completely wrong. Yeah, I was lagging a bit this <laughs> game. I was extremely tilted because that didn't work out. And here you will see the most oh. lucky thing. Oh. Because I fucked up again an auto attack and that, that didn't like... Still not That's bad though, you're not going to lose the game because of that, but you should just easily kill the Cogmore there. Even if, yeah, yeah, think about it, like, if, you just, if you just wait, he's going to move up further for obviously the ranged minions, right? And the cannon and stuff, so you might be here. Yeah. That's just a Q flash and you just kill him, probably before they react. Mm -hmm. yeah. So yeah, you'll get two kills and won't die. Mechanics as well, man, don't just think, oh yeah, you know, I'm like pretty high elo now, like my mechanics are perfect, never think that. Like, mechanics no, are a no, huge no, part no, of the actually. game that, yeah. Yeah, I, I, there are some th small things that I know, you know, these kind of details that, that they usually yeah. bite me. Uh, oh, especially in ways, you know that. Oh, this is chill. So, like, what do you think you should do here? What is this guy doing? So, oh, but Draven's still here. The Sorry, guy, okay. I, don't, I don't know, maybe he's trying to do this. So, um, I know he's wasting time. I'm, I should think that I'm going directly to Raptors. Uh, yeah. So, yeah. I, I don't know what I do. But now I you should know that go mom, right? to Like, yeah. But you should go like this anyway, man. Like, you should be. Let's just say his yeah, route is on up. You should be going like that route. A different or route. One of these. Yeah. yeah. Into here, where you go crab, and then you come back. Mm -hmm. I don't know how good, like, taking his Krugs are, because it really isolates you. Um, and it means, like, if he knows. Let's just say he yeah. runs to Raptors and they're gone. He can just take yours now when he runs out of base. So I think that's, like, too greedy. So it should just be Raptors here, yeah. and then you just kind of, like, secure and then your side. Back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know why I usually, like, Scuttle is, like, my bait. I usually fall for it. Because now if you go, he could be, like, close to being here, you know? Like, that is the same as... Like, it's it's getting there. Like, RETPs and he sees you here, runs in the brush. Like, mm. that's why we have to do Three. that first. Yeah. Because you'll be here. I, I, could save, like, I, I could save, like, five seconds, and that, yeah. that makes it, like, a safe play. Mm -hmm. Exactly right. We don't have much time left, man. So, like, everything yep. we've talked about, bro, does it make sense? Mm -hmm. Like, can you, can you, does it, do you understand it? Could you explain it to yeah, someone I, else? Yeah, I think the the biggest problem is that sometimes I, I go with, with this, like, big plans, and, and that mm -hmm. makes it, like, a bit harder. Like, I'm, I'm a bit too rigid when it comes to the game plan. I, I'm not flexible enough, uh, so I cannot react to what is going on. Uh, then there are some things that need to improve, like mechanics. This is always something that you need to improve. But maybe regarding pathing and and, and maybe not assuming that much uh, regarding <laughs> uh, what the enemy jungler is gonna do. Like instead of like doing again this this big plans, mm -hmm. maybe I should be a bit more flexible. Uh, again regarding grubs, I, I said maybe I, this is not something I thought. Maybe the, the plan is to actually like always try to force it uh, just to diff the enemy jungler and. I don't know. Uh, that's the the, the the rest of the things. I, I would say that there are these small details. Um, I don't know if there is anything like big that I, I could say. Maybe just uh, if my lane is fucking it up, even though I I, I ping that the enemy jungler is near, uh, I just like let, should let, let it die. Uh, that's something 
uh, maybe you know to work on and i don't know i'm trying to think of any other detail i would say um, um i would say man like all the small details we talked about whether it's waiting for him to go for arrangement in your q flash i'm just remembering that one or whether it's um hmm. Little things like, I don't know, the crabs spawning at 6.10 and they spawn every 2.30 or raps as if it's like their yeah. third camp being five minutes. Like whatever it is we've talked about, right? And you can obviously go back through yeah. it and I would if I were you. Maybe even you watch these mm -hmm. games on your own in real time and say out loud what mm -hmm. you should do. You've obviously got your replay, yeah. so that's what I would do. But these small details, bro, are fucking huge. Like, yeah. don't just yeah. think there's small and big. Everything is like a detail. Everything here is like an yeah. improvement. Don't just think like if it's small yeah. or big because then you might get like complacent. I'm not saying you uh, will, uh, uh, but yeah. At this point, I'm looking for these details because I think I got I have the like a general grasp on the on the, on the game. You know the, the general concepts. I know what I need to do. Like you've seen, for example, where I'm going uh, when I need to counter the uh, jungle or where I'm being in the enemy jungle because I'm tracking it. But these these are like the small details. I, I would say that like prevent me from being consistent and 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 winning those games. You know that are. A 50 50 at the moment that i i don't know if things go go south and i i cannot control it maybe if i i i learn this kind of things and i work on mm -hmm. them i can you know get this those wins that I, I'm, I'm missing <laughs> for sure yeah i think so um but yeah that's what i would do bro if i were you i would go back through the games um mm -hmm. just on your own and then maybe yeah. write down like everything you can remember and maybe watch the session back because obviously you can just like go on the stream yeah um and then right. just like if you missed anything write it down as well but it has to be something applicable like um i don't know whether it's um yeah all right let's just say like the q flash thing just because that's recent in my yeah. memory like just remembering that or um maybe in another game like just timing as raptors or going out to in not doing yeah you know something closer to you first and then something further away because you're giving them more time to get there yeah, going like I, this I'm other gonna, base as well. Even that route. one thing that I'm, I'm gonna remember is the one you just said, like going Raptor Crux into red and then uh, mm -hmm. to the top grab. That that's something I I think I've never done. So it's a good path when I know that I cannot get the bot grab. Yep, uh, exactly right. That's that's something that I, I will practice, uh, like keep in mind because th <coughs> this is something like completely new. I, I never thought of doing that kind of path just to go to to to, uh, to grab. Just make sure though, man, like when you write down those things, it doesn't say like for that, for instance, like some people might just type jungle pathing in their notes and it's like, what the yeah. fuck? Like, how are you going to... Very generic. Like, it's a, yeah, it's yeah. just impossible. All right, let's apply that yeah. in my next... Jungle pathing, right? Let's apply jungle pathing. Yeah. It's like, no, we go Raptors, Krogs, Red. If your bot's fucked. Or mm -hmm. e even sense. like this side, right? You just go walls, grown blue normally anyway, but you finish at the buffs, so you're closer to that. What are you thinking? Okay, so here, uh, what I'm thinking, I mean, I told my team, like, you don't have the chat, but I said, like, uh, careful, uh, Nunu, Burger Flip Champion, this guy is uh, the one trick. <laughs> He's probably going to do, like, maybe two, level 2 gank, level 3 gank, and since we have uh, Syndra and um, Kanda in mobile bot lane, I told them to be careful, and I, mm -hmm. uh, I said, like, I, I, I am not planning to play for top side there, because I don't think Seth is the win condition against the enemy team, like, he can be kited really easily by Kale. Uh, Lucian, Nami have a lot of disengaged, a lot of CC. So I really want to put my bot lane ahead or my mid laner ahead so that um, we can just uh, get prior for tricks. And uh, like my mid lane, like to be honest, like my whole team was good. Like everyone here was like just like way better than their opponents from mm -hmm. this game. Mm -hmm. But I just want to see like what I could have done better this game. And uh, like for example, I'm going to get to be stopped by uh, Nami for my recall after full clearing both side. And after that, uh, because I'm scared of like uh, losing my top side jungle, I'm just going to like go back clear uh, Raptors, uh, Gromp, I mean uh, Raptor Cracks, recall, and uh, then I will see Nunu on the uh, grabs and I will take Drake for it. Dig but on. I'm mostly low. Yeah, okay. Huh? That's that's like five minutes. That's like a five minutes MSM. Goodness me. Um, yeah, like I um, we'll see what happens, right? Um, but yeah, okay. I, I agree with you. Just going bot. I think set with TP against Kale. It's not like he's um, if you have a really passive bot lane, right? Let's just say you have Smolder and Lulu. Honestly, like yeah. you pathing top is absolutely fine because that lane, like, who gives a fuck? Honestly. Um, yeah. And you, um, you telling like your teammates to care and Nunu is really, really smart. It will mostly happen though if they have Dark Harvest. But even Phrase Rush, like you're right. Like it's a Tindra, I have a LeBlanc mid. You never know, she might start chain and do something fucking weird. So that's really smart as well. Um, and yeah, you pathing, but I just agree with this. So this is all good.
The first thing, like, I got the other thing. I got another RNG there. What's that, MSM? Say it again. Oh, I'm just going to get better RNG there, and like, I'm going to lose my stocks. Yeah, right, okay. Stocks, so, like, it makes my clear a bit uh, longer, but it's fine. <laughs> yeah, the, um, what was the other thing I was going to say? Um, yeah, like, level one invading, but I don't really think you can, to be honest, like, with both sides, so. I mean, I don't really like level one invading, especially since, like, I have Syndra and Devil Blank. Yeah, of course. Yeah, I don't think it's good in this game. I'm just saying, like, as long I just want you to think about it. Like, in some games, you might have an insane level one, like mid and bot. Um, and oh, if you I do it map, against the Yeah. Yeah, this is all good. Now you know that that tri brush is warded as well, which is kind of nice. E gang's top lane as well. This is so good. LeBlanc is yeah, doing some weird shit mid. mid. Coming from mid because he's trying, he's trying to dive my mid laner and my mid laner has twelve. And there, I just don't want him to be denied the wall wave, so I just uh, didn't make sure. What the fuck is going on here? She's level 2. Yeah, I... yeah, because like there is a wall wave uh, under the turret. Like he got, he took a bad trade and he lost uh, the wall wave a bit. That's why he has to <laughs> my health there. I tried to move, so in case yeah, like, even if he died, he still gets like really something fucking weird. Out. Yeah, I think this is fine what you do. Um, oh, you have two points in Q as well. Yeah, okay. I'm also fine with that, by the way. Emerson, I actually don't think that's bad. I mostly do it when I uh, see like my wave states are okay-ish. I would just like, do it like if everyone's full HP, bro. Like if everyone's full HP, I don't even know if like mid lane was that volatile. Was it when you were doing walls? Maybe it is actually. Uh, she, she took a bad trade level one. Like on level 2 transition. Yeah, okay. And she's out of pots as well. Yeah, still, I would I would honestly just put two points in Q as well. I actually think it's fine. Alright, yeah, all this is good. Yes, 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 yes. Nunu's top, okay. And you know Nunu, MSM is gonna go like Red Raptors, right? Pretty much every game. Uh... Red Raptors Gromp, is that clear? So like, you should know his Raptors are at like 4.15ish around that time. So if he does anything else top, like if he was to regank set, you just always take this. Okay. I mean, I'm not sure because like, I thought he started top side to be honest. Wait, For me, like he say? started top side. You, you thought he started top? Yeah. Because I don't really be know. I, 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 I mean, I, we, see him, we see him there, but like, uh, I guess so, but if you think about it, if you click on him, you'll see his red buff is like close to expiring. Like that's really recent. So he has to have started bot, right? Okay. So even even like if you didn't know 100%, but yeah, the typical new new clear man, just so you know, is just like that, that, and then Gromp. One, two, three. Okay. It's quite unique actually, but yeah. Just so you know, it's useful. And yeah, like, all I'd be thinking, man, about, you know, playing against that Nunu player, so, like, when he has 16, he's just on blue buff as well, right? Which is, like, true. But all I'd be thinking about, MSM, is that's a 415, and his Krogs are probably just sitting there. Yeah? Yeah. So even here, if you wanted to take his Krogs, I don't even think it's bad, honestly. I mean, the thing is, like, there, I don't really want to flip Krogs, because, I mean, yeah, here, I'm going to get cancelled by Nami. Yeah, I mean, like, when you see yeah. Nami hit this thing, right? You can probably assume that's watered. So if you're going to do anything bot, it would have to be like this. But you've got, like, the shittest support of all time. You've got Soraka, Lulu, you know, any champion like that. I just wouldn't even, like, really gank that lane. Unless MSM, like, let's just say that this mid lane thing didn't happen, and you've got your blue buff. And you do this crap. Yeah. And you're versing a jungler who you know has cleared these camps. You've got nothing to do. Honestly, like, you might as well go through vision and try to gank. Or you can always like E around, but you've just got to be careful about doing it on your Krug's timer. Especially your Raptor's timer, right? Because you might just like lose the camps. Um, yeah. Yeah, hopefully that makes sense. Like here it's fine to just let my blue buff alive and invade, but uh, I just didn't know like... Yeah, so here like I'm Bro, like... what the fuck okay, is I he doing? <laughs> yeah, it's straight up side from like here. I'm like, okay, my camps are respawning, but I have my blue buff off. I'm just going to take blue. Raptors and my uh, Grobs in my crux. So I would run to his Raptors. Like, I even called this, right? If he is going to do this um, yeah. MSM, you just run here. It's 4.15, right? 
Um, so yeah, maybe yeah, you didn't yeah. actually like know what Nunu does, but now you know, right? Like as soon as you see him top at like 350 onwards, just go like that. It's very hard for him as well, by the way, to like invade your crugs and stuff. It's a level three Nunu. He knows you're going to be level four. You haven't like really done anything. Um, apart from show mid, I guess, but you had like 20 CS. So he knows you're going to be level four, maybe with serrated Dirk, like running out here. So it's very hard for him just to run in, you know? So you probably yeah. just get his Raptors for free. And then afterwards, maybe you base and go Krugs, Raptors, and yeah, you don't even do your blue buff after that. Just his Raptors, base. Maybe you have to run to yours to cover them. Depends like what camp you might think he's invading. But yeah, that would just be the sequence, right? Yeah. Unfortunately, I can't see items anymore. I'm actually just gonna restart this so I can like see gold and stuff um, or CS because I need it for early game to full track them. Yeah, yeah, it's fine. I can just say that I recalled on Dirk and Boots. You recalled on Dirk and Boots, did you? Do you actually have that much gold? Yeah. Uh, yeah, because like because Nami cancelled me, like there I'm like okay I'm going to do blue, I'm going to do like yeah here, unlucky she get ganked and she dies. I should have pinged it. Yeah, you definitely should ping when she doesn't have flash and stuff. Like, you um, I should have pinged it. this is yeah. an easy one MSM as well because the hardest one you've done is actually ping like you know before he hits level two, like at level one just care of loot and is level two. That's what like lots of people won't do. But here this is like an easy one to ping, you know. So you should definitely ping this. Goes without like saying. Yeah, yeah, I sent my body in chat after that. Like, I did two mistakes. I mean, I died uh, one time for nothing and gave LeBlanc uh, a kill. And, uh, yeah, this one was my bad. Yeah, and his Raptors should be taken, by the way. Like, obviously, like, his Raptors are gone here. And when he ganks mid, maybe your Syndra can, like, you know, bait towards you in a way. Yeah, that's fair. Um, but yeah, like, his Raptors should be gone here. And if that mid, like, let's just say he doesn't gank mid, you just do his Raptors and base. I can just go like that. So yeah, you now doing your top side. Um, just looks fucking weird to me, bro. Because also here, you're going to have to path top. Because you're going to run out of base, and you're going to go one, two, like this. I mean, here what I'm doing is like, okay, like here, I just want to do Raptors and my Krugs. Because I'm not going to go top side again for now. Like, I know uh, Grubs are going to spawn, and Drake is spawning too. So what I want to do here is like I want to clear my top side and then I want to go both side. <coughs> so if Nunu go for grabs, I can just take Drake instantly. Yeah, I don't I don't really think it's like bad oh, now just because you're on top of the camps, right? Like you're running through mid. I'm just saying MSM, like you should have based after his Raptors or something. And um, you'll just be passing bolt with a Dirk. So yeah. yeah, does that make sense? Yeah, 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 of course. Also here, just one more thing, man. When you both do yep. crabs around like, do you know the crab timers? Uh, 3.30? Yeah, so they spawn at 3.30, but like, you know, let's just say you do a crab at 10 minutes because there's only one crab, right? Let's just say you do a crab yep. at 10 minutes. Do you know what time it will spawn? Uh, not really. So they're like two minutes 30, right? So as soon as both of you kill these crabs, they're both dead they'll spawn or one of them will spawn right 2.30 afterwards. So you can always like add that to your clear. So if you want to think about it, like you could have even put in chat, like, I don't know, 6.15 for a crab or 6.20, 6.30. Around that time is generally like when um they'll respawn, yeah? Okay. Um, so like when you, all I'm saying MSM is like, you obviously know he's done this crab and you've done yours. So you can even just put in your head like 6.20. So if I'm on the side of the map where that gray mark is like here, yeah? You can just yep. add that to your clear. So like walls, gromp, grab, and then maybe just straight through mid to grubs. Looks pretty good. Depends on lanes, of course. I'm not saying like you 100% do it, but yeah. Yeah, makes sense. This is still good. Yeah, it looks like you're you're doing like a gank bot lane challenge, and I don't know why because you've got a Lulu support and they've got summoners or not. Or what's his face? Um, Lucian does anyway. So I would just be like hitting crab here, MSM, and it's really up to you what you want to do after that. Like the the set killed the kale. Let yeah, me just look at this. Very, very good. Wow, she didn't actually normally like when people have an item here, right? They've used TP. So she's just like ran back to lane, which is kind of weird. And your set's TP'd, like this, right? Syndra has items, so she's TP'd. These two actually haven't TP'd, that's really weird to me. Anyway, um 
Yeah, so like after you do this crab MSM, like in another game, if you have prior mid and you know enemy jungler's top, I would never want to give him like all these grubs. So if you think you can get there and like contest at least two of them, or maybe even one of them, it's actually probably just worth to run straight there, right? Because you're never losing dragon. Yeah. So I'm just like trying to cover all the bases here. Yeah, so you should, like just should be hitting crab here, like all the time. Don't know like what bot lane even is. Even if you want to hit dragon MSM, like I'd be happy with that, right? Honestly. Yeah. <coughs> the Lulu Graves combo, how broken. Yeah. So, yeah, like, so I'm I'm amazed that works, bro. Like yeah, absolutely like, amazed. But, uh, but like, like okay, information that I didn't say. Like, my Caitlyn said she played with this Nami yesterday. And uh, the player was just completely shit and was like holding, like keeping the spells from next game and would just like play super aggressive randomly and move randomly on the map. So like she called that like, she was terrible and that uh, she inted a few times in lane and that we should abuse it on bot. Okay, so I get what you're saying, right? But this play, MSM, is just based on hope. You don't know 100% if she's going to run from here to here. And to be honest, like the evidence yeah. so far, she's actually playing really far away. Right, like, look at this. Like, that movement there, bro, is enough for me to think, oh, they're probably suspicious. I'm going to crap. So the fact you stay here after she runs back that far is kind of like... I'm really surprised. Like, I would just be hitting Drake, probably. Yeah. Okay. That's what I'll be doing here. Because you can never really run through mid, right? Because LeBlanc is six. And uh, with Pryo, of course. So it's very difficult for you just to, like, run through here, which I actually think is a good move in certain games. Um, so you just have to say, look, I can't do this, so let me do the next best thing. Obviously, like, these are great, and even diving bot is good. So in another game, your bot might be, like, under this tower, right? Just pressuring them. And these guys are half HP. Of course, that is better than doing Drake. Yeah? Yeah, yeah I get it, I get it. But here, yeah. like, because, I mean, they're both full life. I just know that Nami has no life at all. Look and, like, at I don't know person, what she's doing. Man. Oh, my God. What the f Yeah, yeah. Wind Casey was right. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's like you've gone on Porofessor, and it says like, they, I don't know, really troll, and you've like trusted I mean, the Porofessor. Yeah, like, uh, my whole team was just uh, like 10 times better than enemy team there. Yeah. Um, if I were you here, by the way, I would always just um, take his red buff and stuff, because you're more than happy splitting the map. So if he ever does take your top camps here, MSM, which I think is really difficult still for him. He's going to do it. He's going to take uh, my um, red buff and, uh, and uh, Raptors. After taking a uh, grub. Yes, okay, Basically. so you doing like Drake, you doing like Dragon, bro, means that if you get like after Dragon, you've got maybe, you've got two options. You either do this or you actually cover them. Like you actually run straight there. Those are your two options, right? So if you know you're stronger than enemy jungle after Dragon, if you think like he's gonna do this, you should obviously just like run straight here. But it's quite hard to know that right in this game. Because the Nunu was like half HP fighting set. Maybe he's lower now and stuff, right? But yeah. he's going to have prior, right? Because your laners are all the way over here. So it's actually still difficult for you to run over here and actually like win that fight. Maybe you can get like set to check and he chases him off and scares him off while you just take all these. So before doing Dragon though, MSM, like, I would just run into red buff and take okay. that first. And then you can always come back out to Dragon, right? Okay. Also like his camps are going to spawn as well, I'm guessing. So like his Raptors and stuff. I reckon they'll spawn in like 10-20 seconds time. Yeah, I didn't really do much of uh, Costa juggling this game. I was just uh, really really scared of uh, like LeBlanc. I mean, LeBlanc is like one thing bro, but she's never gonna run towards you if like... Like you've already done red buff here, right? And you could even sit in here and like chunk her when she face checks you. I don't know, anything yeah. like that. Like you're never gonna get one shot by her. So. And you'll be red yeah, buff raised uh, and you just chase her down. Like, even here? Like, like you should be here and yeah. eating over. Okay. You know what I mean? Like, she's just isolated on her own. Like, I look at this and think, what, are the, what is that person doing type thing? Does that make sense? I mean, yeah, the thing, like, the thing is, like, here, I just want my bot lane to be able to recall. So, like, they can abuse their gold, so I don't really want them to be there for red buff. Like, maybe I should have done it before Drake. But after Drake, like, Okay, the thing is, like, I'm really, really scared of, like, uh, giving a lead or kills to champions that can really snowball the game or just invade me on CD. So, like, here, I I know, like, uh, I could have maybe taken red buff, but I just know, like, my bot lane wants to recall and my Cinderace at base. So, like, 
I just go for the safest option, which is like maybe give my top side camp so that at least we get Drake and my bot lane is recalling on power spike. Like she can um... recall like and the Lucian has like BF sword, my Caitlyn has like bow. Oh my god. Yeah, I'm not even talking. I, I'm not even thinking about bot because the gold spent. Like, all right, you guys might be like at a bit, a bit of a diff here, but the gold spent is still close enough for you guys to like lane. You get me? And like you are playing bot side. Um, so I'm not even thinking like about bot side or bot lane here at all MSM, like whether they want to base or not. Like they can sort themselves out. They're fucking big boys. You don't have to like, you know, full accommodate them and stuff. And like, if they run out of a dragon, it's because they're more than happy to. You get me now? There are certain times when like enemy jungle is missing and you don't know if they're top side or bot side and your bot lane comes over and starts hitting this and you're like, what the fuck? Like, we can't do this just yet. You need to ping them yeah. off. But if they run over here like this, when you've got this no matter what, it's like, yeah, okay, whatever. Help me do it a little bit quicker, but I, I wouldn't think about that at all, man. So when you know Noon is top side killing your set, I would just think about his camps first and then you always come back to your side. So you always just go out to in. Yeah. And okay. after red, I would check Raptors, just get a timer. And uh, I guess you could always like sweep to see if the outliner Krugs are up because Krugs give you like more experience than fucking red and raptors. Um, but yeah, you get my point, right? <laughs> yeah, so like, yeah. are you starting yeah. to fly here, bro? Like when I see LeBlanc, my reaction is, what the fuck? Like enemy bot lane's under tower and she's literally like, you can just run behind her so easily here. And if she just W's back here, Syndra hopefully will get here in time, like maybe at that choke, and she might have to use her ultimate, right? And you might be like, yeah, but you didn't get any gold for that. It's like, what else are you going to do? The crab? At least you got like her ult for free. Like, it's really not that bad. Maybe enough after, after that, you just run straight through mid. That's even an option, MSM. Because you'll be so close to like top side there where you can like cover at least two of your camps, right? If Nunu takes Raptors, at least you're covering red buff and Krugs. Yeah, I get um, what you mean. So yeah, I'm not, I'm not thinking about that like now. I'm just saying like, the LeBlanc is honestly trolling like where she is. Like, why is she even warding Dragon? Like, wh why does that even matter? Just stay mid and keep prior. Like, that's what she should be doing. Like, what the fuck is this? So, run, E, W here, and yeah. Oh my god, look at her go. And now, MSM, like, you should run into his bot side jungle. Like, if there is ever a time to run into bot side jungle here, it is now. Because, yeah. remember, you've just shown doing Dragon, right? And he did grub so long ago. So the worst thing that can happen to you is him taking these camps. If you recall, yeah. right, you don't get anything for it. He got grubs and all of these. Oh, my God. Like, it's it's a big difference. So you almost yeah, have to going, trust him here going, to be doing that. Yeah. He's going to have it and he's going to gank top lane and kill set. Yeah, Why if he kills set, I'm happy, man. Like, he's playing top side the whole game. Like, I would honestly just be, like, fine with that. Yeah. But, um, yeah, like, but like I don't know, you like, have to Yeah, he's, he's going to... He's going to sit on a ward, like on the pink, and he's going to gank top and he's going to work for some reason. Oh my god, you joined the party as well, MSM. Look at this. Yeah, I'm just griefing. Yeah, you've turned into set. Unlucky. But yeah, bro, like, you shouldn't even be here, so I don't care what happens, okay? Like, you have to... Yeah, I know, I should have just taken his bot line, so like, uh, we cross map. Like yeah. he takes my top side, he takes his bot side, so he doesn't have XP or gold. Yeah, exactly. I've probably got so many examples of this, but um, it's almost like the the main point here is that if you recalled after Dragon or Crab, whatever it was, like if you recall here, right, and you're saying, look, um, I don't trust myself to go into it. Well, how do I put this? If you're gonna try cover your top camps here, MSM, like most of them are gone. Like Raptors and Red are now gone, 100, percent because he did a grubs like 30 seconds ago, 40 seconds ago. Yeah. So you're not gonna be able to get there in time to defend like at least two of them. You might defend Krugs, but why on earth would you just want to run like that? It's just Krugs, and you can just take his and stuff. Um, so, yeah, it's almost like you have to trust him here, that the worst move for you is him doing that. And if you base or just, yeah, if you base, I guess, or just do anything on your side, you're not countering him, right? Yeah, like he's um, taking gold and XP or nothing, I mean, for free. Yeah, exactly. Like, he's just taking your camps. And all his are going to be up. So the only thing I'd say, say to like Nunu here is like after maybe you take red buff, um, maybe there's a world in which because the Graves was like, you know, fighting LeBlanc and he's clearly going to do the crab, which is like a nice bait. I would honestly be telling Nunu like after this red buff, maybe you base and run like that and you catch the Graves here. And that would just be like both of you, I think, playing really well in terms of jungle. Um, but you have to run into his bot side here. 
You have to. I don't care like what lanes are, you have to run in there. Because it's too big of a diff now. Like he's just like caught up. Like this here, like after his early game where he's just like perma ganking is not really like that much of a diff. Yeah, yeah, I wait, I do flash bomb nothing. Mm-hmm, yep. Doesn't really matter, like you can't do anything there, you just put yourself in like a awful position, so it doesn't matter like how good mechanically you are. But um, uh, like yeah, like he's just perma ganking but then he's going to work for some reason this game. Look at this MSM, right? So you know this kid, right? Has all his camps up pretty much, yeah? Yeah. He's done grubs, he's done this, he's ganked top, like my god. And he also doesn't have blue buff, which he would have, because he would have done blue at like, let me think about it, 245, 250-ish. So 750, eight minutes might be the respawn for blue. So you should know, like even if I go back right here, mm -hmm. that's gonna be up. So whatever he does top here, he might again get like baited, like lots of junglers here by his top camps, right? Okay. But what he really should do, I mean, there is an argument here, is he should just base and run here, which is what I want you to do out of base. So if you recall up to Krugs, which of course you're gonna do, you should just run like that, man, and just trust that he's got camps up here. Okay. Yep. Pressure his Raptors, and then if you're like, you know what, I've got insane prior mid and bot, you would also pressure his red buff too. If you don't, then it's just Raptors and you get out, yeah? That's all it is. Okay. Yeah, can you say that? Yeah, yeah. And you can easily just like E over, auto attack for fleet and run there. Don't even do walls, but you have to run there right now. Because now, MSM, you let him base exactly like he's done, and there he is, right? So, yeah. in another game, like you should have already done these and you're running out. Yeah. And you'll be like, wait, what? Yeah, he's getting his bot side off right now. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, lots of um, junglers, bro, like what I've seen so far, and I've coached like. Most of them have been junglers anyway. It's like at this elo, you guys don't think at all about enemy jungle and like actually diffing the 1v1. Everyone talks about lanes and win conditions and, you know, really like superfluous, like, what's another word I can use? Like, it, it doesn't actually matter, man. Like, you're playing in an elo where you can gap everyone you play against unless they're fucking smurfing from like high challenger, right? So if you yeah. create a, it, you, like all your game plan, bro, is just diffing this person. They are going to make mistakes. They're going to give you camps for free. And when you create a diff there, it's the best like game plan because you will just ripple that lead, right? Whatever it is in jungle across into lanes because they don't have a jungler to help them and stuff. And you're going to be pressuring them. They have to back off a wave. They have to respect you. And you just kind of like indirectly win lanes without even ganking them. Right? Okay. That's like the best way to win a game, man. So these junglers you play against are always going to make mistakes. It's just like if you're aware enough of their camp situation and what their future is going to be. So if you know here that Nunu's blue buff is up and he's probably going to get baited by these camps because he will, like just trust me. And if he is a challenger jungler, MSM and he recalls and he runs here to cover, you might like meet him at the same time and it's like a coin flip for Raptors. It's just both of you playing well, right? And then you yeah. can just run out, but both of you are playing well there. But this guy... It's just logical for him to do this, right? It just is. So therefore, you can exploit him for it. Yeah? Yeah, I guess. Yeah, yeah. Same thing with like Dragon, man. Like before Dragon, like Dragon, you might think, oh, it's so good, you know, Dragon this game. You even told me like, you know, you just want to get Dragons this game. I get what you're yeah. saying. Like, who doesn't? Like, of course you would want to get every drag. Like, so do I. But I also want to destroy that Nunu. So if he gives me any counterplay and I'm happy with... You know, how do I put it? If I'm giving him some camps, I'm more than happy because I'm splitting this side of the map or, you know, maybe in another game, like I was saying, if you can just run straight to grubs or cover your top camps because, I don't know, maybe Syndra wards this and you see him run in. Maybe this brush is warded and you see him run through and you're like, right, he's taking Raptors, but there's no way he's taking Red and Krugs. Maybe as like a no-flash jungler. You just go in there and kill him, right? Just kill him for free. So I'm saying, bro, like you can do everything you're still doing, but you can create a much bigger diff in terms of that. Yeah. When that's like what I used to do before, I mean, of course, like I was, uh, I started playing Grace in the mm -hmm. level 3 gank meta, right? Mm -hmm. When uh, jungle XP was just completely shit and you wouldn't really get much with it. Mm -hmm. So like, I just got used to like doing three, three camps into gank, in, like almost every single game or like level 2 gank, right? Mm -hmm. But this, I mean, here he's jumping to int. And I intend to, but it's fine, like he's doing this alone with like no vision. He's just you like, should probably hold your... um. Do you have to hold A here? 
Hmm? Yeah, you have to um, E away, don't you? Yeah, that fucking sucks. I was just thinking, like, if you had enough space, just hold your E for when he ults, but you actually have to. I mean, yeah, I just played, but I'm, I'm just lucky, like, Sandra saw it and moved to Venus. Yeah, exactly. Like, that's the only... Like, MSM, you're not saying, like, oh, yeah, I know this is going to happen, right? Like, I think this is way too close type thing. Um, like, you're relying on Syndra to Q and E perfectly. Um, so, yeah, like, I this mean, she is played very both. close. Like, uh, I, I know, like, here, uh, it was my mistake, and I expected to die, to be honest. <laughs> I'm surprised you tried to hit the blast cone, by the way, because you know you don't have prime in two lanes. So, <laughs> I actually think it's good you didn't hit it. Because Nami would just tidal wave and you're dead. Okay, basing is good. I really wish they put like Grub's timer and Dragon timer somewhere in replay, but. Alright, set's winning, let's go. Big. Yeah, I know, like, mm -hmm. I just completely did. I mean, to be honest, like, I thought to like, my whole team was just 10 times better than enemy team. And, and me, Nunu ended with, like, 4 level. So, like, it was 4 level down, so. Mm hmm. We almost lost because uh, Seth DC'd and he came back to safety. Yeah, that would be a rip. Like here, I must die again, but my uh, my lane, I mean, I just take... Uh, no, I don't take one, I just move away. I'm surprised though, um, MSM, like you would even run in here, right? So, all I'm saying is like, if you're gonna go to Grubs, because I'm looking at the timer here, the really good thing here, by the way, is that you know Nunu's bot, but oh my god, you even see him here. Oh my fucking god. Yep. I didn't even see this because I'm like skipping it. But um, even if you didn't see him, LeBlanc moves off the wave down. Therefore, Nunu has to be bot, right? It's just logic. If he's not bot, if he is top, then Syndra's going to be here first, which is nice for you. Um, but with that info, bro, like you shouldn't even be thinking about clearing vision or anything like that. It should just be do one grub and get out. Because you haven't had mid, you haven't had prior mid, by the way, the entire game. Like, I actually think this LeBlanc is better than your Syndra and has been gapping her. And she probably could have done a lot more at level 2 or level 3, 4. She should just, like, W here when Syndra's in the open, land her E, and yeah, GG. Like, she won't take Tower yeah. Aggro in that position. So, like, there's certain stuff that LeBlanc could do to actually diff that lane. And thankfully, she's got, like, free kills because Nunu's ran it down or something. Um, but, yeah, here, um, MSM, like, it should just be one grub and that's it. And you wouldn't okay. E, by the way, you would just save your E. So obviously, yeah, you're over. But like your next E, do not use it. Okay. Yeah, does that make sense? Like, would it, like this doesn't even mean anything because your set's not TPing, your Syndra doesn't have Pryo, and um, this is a likely yeah. warded area, which sounds like really hindsight, but it just is. So I'm just thinking, just E over and just do the scrub. That's all you have to do here. Then you run out, and maybe you play for these when they respawn. Maybe you play for this, maybe you play for that. Yeah. But the, mo the moment I was in on the pick, I was like, okay, let's get out. Like, I know Cinder, I mean, LeBlanc and Lulu are coming. Yeah, but like, all I'm saying is like, one of them should be gone, and now you still yeah. do this. I'm okay, surprised you don't... I, I mean, I'm amazed your bot lane is basing here, because like, you're active bot, right? Or how do I put it? Nunu and you are active here, MSM, so like, you're on the map, you're active. And so is the Nunu. He's doing grubs. So you need to counter grubs. And Dragon, which is spawning in... You did that at 7.20-something? Spawning at 12.20. You got 20 seconds. That's ages away. It's not like it's up right now, you know? So, like, your plays have to be around here somewhere. So if these two base, bro, it is super troll. Fucking ping them. You are pinging on the way here. You are pinging on the way down here. You want them to stay. You want them to stay in lane right and start a fight. That would be the best scenario for you. But instead... They just recall, and I'm like, oh, that feels really bad as a jungler. Yeah. Does that make sense? So just ping, man. Make them stay yeah, in yeah. lane. 3v2 their bot lane. Because now you're in a position where, like, you are kind of strong. Kate 6, Lulu 6, you can poke them under tower and stuff. You can do stuff like that now. So yeah, uh, just, just to, like, run off to your like... Gromp is sad. I care, like, no, no, they I'm like, okay, free drink. <laughs> Well done, Nunu. Good job. I mean, he's just, he, he's just running down the game. Like, he tried to do stop lane and he just died. The whole game he did that. Um, doing drag is actually potentially better here than doing his Raptors. But can you see, MSM, like how I'm really trying to fight not doing this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's always just... Like, my, I see I just, what, like, like, the thing is, like, I see what you mean by... Uh, I mean... I obviously see like what's happening, like of course, like we see Nunu top side first time. So like 
camp bot side should be gone. There we know mm -hmm. he's dead. Camp, uh, I mean his bot side camp should be gone as well. Look at them go. And you should obviously ping here, the noon is coming here, right? Because dragon's up, he would just run here. So you should be pinging here like snowball or something. Oh, this is good. They targeted Syndra. Yeah, both of you here, MSM, have to target the same person, right? So whoever Syndra yeah. goes on, bro, you hit them. Right, Nunu, no W. I guess she hits like the Nunu there, so it's like kind of awkward. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As soon as this happens, bro. Yeah. I mean, I switched maybe, the, maybe the two actually do. Me. Yeah, I actually think like what you do yeah, is fine, honestly. And, and I hear she's over, it's like she's going to get back W. <laughs> it's fine. Maybe you could have smarted it. I actually really don't mind how you play that. I think if I like talk about you targeting the same person, it's um, it's really hard to fucking coach that. I think that was fine. But I, here, like, I, I think it's even on. I, Sorry, but I think it's even on Syndra there to like hit the Nunu. Cause like she's hit the Nunu once, then you hit him and she stopped hitting him. So I think it's more on her there than anything. He just runs it down again, does he? What is he doing this guy? No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> He's Nunu OTP by the way. This guy is must have every season. <laughs> just, just goes over a Kate trap. Oh my God. Let's go, man. Yeah, this is all fine. I'm absolutely fine with this. Mm-hmm, LeBlanc might be back, so you have to run off, yeah. Right, okay, right, right, right. Stop, 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 stop. LeBlanc here, right? MSM is gonna run straight bot. I guarantee you she's running like this, maybe? And then she'll just W to mid lane, right? Any mid laner yeah. here, actually. I don't even really care who that is. But, um, yeah, the point here is, like, after that, you've zoned them off a little bit here, and now it's like, right, if we're now running off, we are running off. We're not running back in to try to dive them, you know? Because LeBlanc will be even closer to them here. So what should you do here, do you think? Uh, I think here I should just recall and take my wall camp top side. I'll just rush to Herald on spawn at 14. Good, yep, yeah, exactly right. I don't think Herald, like, you can really ever start because Nunu running through and LeBlanc and stuff. Like, remember, just LeBlanc has had perma prior this game. But, yeah, like, if it was Grubs, yeah, let's but... say it's 12 minutes, you would just run straight here and do one of them and just come back. Yeah, yeah. Um, but Rift Herald, I but think, here, is like, too I, I know, like, I think it's like, uh, I mean, Obviously, like, I'm, I'm greedy, right? Like, here, I'm just trying to get a kill. Mm. And it will work, if I remember right. But I don't know, I know it's not the correct play, like, from looking at it. I just know, like, uh, I don't know, like, oh enemy bot lane is just... They died anyway, look at like that I... MSM. Like, yeah, I should just have, like, recall. I take my top side jungle, and I should do a world on spawn. This guy's really I should nice. Do. Look how nice that guy is. Doesn't even take your top side. Just does blue buff. Genius. I mean, even no one trick. He's just a master jungler, can't man. Like, that's all he is. Yeah. Like, they won't do it, so. Can't. I mean, just can't expect much from, like, Nunu player. <laughs> that is true, but still, like, a challenge in Nunu there is definitely going to take your shit. And to be honest, yeah, Nunu's really good at farming, so. Alright, what like, do we uh... do here? Lulu's top, Kate's bot. Oh my god, why is the Lulu bot here? Okay, so. Yeah, Kate is going to get she gets stove by, uh, she gets uh, LeBlanc plus bot lane there. Yeah, it's so bad if Kate dies. So, when I look at yeah, this, it doesn't even matter, like, if your Caitlyn's on her own here, right? The point I'm making here is that I would much rather get bot tower than Rift Herald. Like, Rift Herald okay. to me, it's, it's definitely not what it used to be, right? Remember, like, 8-minute Rift Herald and it was just fucking everything? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, it was really good. But nowadays... I think it's so shit because it's not active when tower plates are there. And all right, okay, a tower is a tower and it's still really good and even a lot of gold in some cases. But it takes a long time to like kill and stuff, right? And at this point in the game, you're going to be so fed and kind of dynamic that you can make lots of plays happen in terms of like invading, diving champions, right? Yeah. Does that make sense? Like I would much rather, so just envision this, I would much rather just go like this or something and again, just dive their bot lane. All right, you get Rift Herald, bro, but guess what? We are so strong now, like I've got major items and I'm pretty fed, where I would just rather get 600 gold from champions and you get a Rift Herald. Like we don't even need a Rift Herald because we'll kill them under tower, get this and get that one as well. Does that make sense? Yeah, of course it does. So like in terms of macro MSM, like whenever you look at towers, when Rift Herald is up, if you have an outer tower, right? Especially if it's towards your strong lane, 
you should always just be thinking about playing for this. Because if you deviate your path to Rift Herald, now you're losing this, but most likely that. Because remember what I said, like, champions become more dynamic later in a game. So Nunu, for example, in level six can just turret dive basically anyone, right? And especially now, when he's a little bit tankier with steel caps and stuff, it becomes a lot easier to execute those plays. So a Caitlyn, yes, she's fed, but she can't 1v3. It doesn't matter like who the enemy team is, right? At like 14 minutes, she's gonna get dove. And that's what you should be thinking here. That's close to me and it's bot tower. It's where my like, you know, prior lane is or, you know, high priority lane is. So I'm just gonna path down. Now, whether you do walls or whether you run in here and you do the same move, like it's completely up to you, right? What you think and what's um, okay. happening in the game. But you should just be clearing your top side, like you said, and just down here in some capacity. Okay, so here, my reasoning is like, I mean, like I have winning top side, and we have auto turret top, right? But like, I, mm -hmm. I mean, I don't know why Lulu is here, like she wanted to move, I guess. But here, I want a role so like we can open mid turret, because it's a low blank, and my mid laner, I know like she was under turret for the world duration of the game, right? Mm -hmm. So like this role there, I'm just using the fact that my set won, he got she won uh, turret, and like we have an advantage. So like, of course, like my Caitlyn is going, I mean, it's unlucky, like my is going to die, like she's going to get trapped by like uh, LeBlanc, Nami, Roshan, and like we lose turret uh, bot. But to me, I was like, okay, this arrow would be good, so like we can open the mid turret, and we can actually like play in that jungle for the rest of the game, right? Mm -hmm. that, that was my reasoning behind it, at least. Yeah, sure. Can you see now though, MSM, like how this would be better? I mean, it would be better because like, okay, I mean, LeBlanc still has prior, of course, she, she is going to have it for like quite a long time, but there are no other turrets to play. My Caitlyn is 3 and 0, she's bot, and she has no flush. So like, if there are people coming down bot lane, well, it's GG. So like, mm -hmm. okay, Lulu shouldn't be top, but I shouldn't have done, I mean, for me, I still think Herald is good because we can open mid, but, uh, Okay. I'm conflicted here, because so, like, the thing is like, I really want mm -hmm. to get a role so like we can get the free mid turret. And at the same time, like, I really wanted for my, I mean, I didn't even think about taking T1 bot, right? I was mostly like, I don't want my Caitlyn to die. That was mostly like what I thought this game. I don't want my Caitlyn to die, because like, she's fed, she has the kills, she has a, she has a good CS lead, she got four blades, but, yeah. or three, I don't remember. And like, I really, really want her to be strong, but I also want us to like play in their jungle because we have so much catch potential, like sin just like a small Syndra E plus me, just like result in death of anyone on their team. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. And we have like, and like we have insane range from Caitlyn plus Lulu. So like we have insane peel as well. And we have a super, super fed set. We completely won his lane in one versus two for the world version of the game. So like here, I was like, okay, I want to get a roll, so like we get mid, and uh, so like we can just have a, like we can just play in the in the bot side jungle. Okay, so I would say you can still play in that bot side jungle with or without mid tower. Um, the other point here I'm just gonna make is I don't. It doesn't really matter how fed or not fed your bot lane is here, right? If it's the lane you care yep. about, yeah. In terms of just macro at this point in the game at 14 minutes, you should just always be pathing bot here. Like, always okay. be pathing bot because that tower is going to be more valuable than what it leads to. Also, in terms of macro as well, um, MSM, like, getting out of tier towers weakens the same corresponding tower, you know, like, mid. So, if it's a tier 1 mid, that gets weakened by getting this. Yep. Because now you can enter like this, and all of a sudden, like, you send 5 mid or whatever. And the funny thing is, man, is, like, I reckon if you did this... It's not guaranteed you lose Rift Herald, by the way. Like, if your strong set is still yeah, yeah. top, it's hard for Nunu just to run into Rift Herald and do it. So the funny thing is, like, you're probably not really going to lose anything. And if you lose Rift Herald, like I'm saying, man, their bot lane is just out of the game. Your Kate is just going to carry you to that. So you getting, mid yeah. you getting like, Rift and getting mid-tailed, bro, that will happen a lot easier by just doing this. You know, like, if you get Rift Herald and then you go mid and you share experience with Syndra, in other words, you stop her from scaling... It, it actually slows the game down a lot more rather than you just saying that's the objective that's who's fed i want to fight near this person as long as possible but when you say a rift held you're away from them for too long and if she gets dove or doesn't get dove i'm like where the fuck is my team if i'm like where are you like look how fed i am come here come here let's kill them let's dive them yeah if nunu gets rift held who cares yeah that should be like the mindset yeah, I get 
Yeah. I get the frustration of like of my ADC if he dives there. Yeah, and I mean, it should he never happen, right? Because right? Rift is not as worth what as... He yeah, Rift just isn't as worth, man. It's like his whole bot side maybe, and you know, two two kills like loose tsunami. Um, doesn't even matter about the champions again. Like yeah. you should just always be doing that move. MSM like moving towards bot lane, no matter what. And yeah, like this, like you killed the Kale who is you know, still kind of okay in this game. Like, I've seen a lot worse. I had a 1 in 15 KL in, like, one of my last ranked games. Let's go. Um, this is, like, so bad. Like, this is a huge throw. Like, you're operating yeah. here rather than here. Rift Hell I mean, should not change, is, like, like your... Yeah. The thing is, like, here, even if I am bot lane, uh, they trapped in the dodge, but I don't think I could have done much on this play, on bot. But Lulu wouldn't be here. But that's should, the but, point. But, like, but you would should. ping Lulu off, and you'd ping this. Like, you would ping that, that's the objective, bot Lulu. Okay. You can even type if you want to. Like, you can just stand still and do the camps, right? So if you really want to make sure someone, like, gets your message, just type to them. It's not being toxic, it's just okay. wanting to win. Um, but yeah, you're Lulu, I would be doing this, right? So I press G. MSM and then bottom left of that like wheel because that's the ward ping right so I'd be asking for wards here That's where I'm playing like that's what I want to look at here Like I want wards okay. here and I'm on the way pinging here. No, no, if you do rift held bro Oh my god, I'm gonna 3v2 your bot lane and you're gonna ff Okay, but like would you say mm. okay like it's not a mm. but you say like it's okay for me to like to macro I mean to try to macro manage my uh, my players because sometimes yes uh, I'm asking like something from like my uh, my mid or my bot laner, and like they get tilted at it, right? Mm -hmm. So at some point I stopped trying, but they're telling me like I should just like tell Lulu what to do in the game. Like I should, uh, I mean of course like I'm I should be moving with her. Like it's not on Lulu's. Uh... It's not only on Lulu's, you know. Um. So like, would you, would you say mm -hmm. like? Even if I'm not like super super fed in the game, because like people like, I mean, they're gonna say, oh, like, uh, you're not doing much this game, uh, don't type, type to type yourself, uh, solo Chulo Buster. <laughs> but would you say, like, I should still try to communicate with them on like telling them what they have to do in the game? Yes. Okay. I remember um, I coached, uh, he because... was ranked. Sorry, yeah, you go ahead, keep going. Oh no, because last time I yeah. asked myself something, he told me he shot the fuck up stuck, master stucker. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean like um some people will say I, I, that, mean, he, if... I mean he's not wrong, but <laughs> Yeah, he he might not be wrong, but he will be wrong. He won't be master for much longer, I'm saying. But yeah, no, um I get what you're saying, right? I remember coaching rank one over here at the time and uh, I said like why don't you just ping your Viego here to come with you to dive bot? So he's playing Arcali, he hits level six and he's got a roam. And his Viego's doing his raptors, and instead of just going bot and diving their bot lane, right? And that, this is when grubs wasn't a thing, so it was just dragon, right? Top side like there was nothing. Yeah, yeah. So Viego does raptors thing. and then he runs here, and it's like, bro, like you're super fed level six, why not just ask your Viego to 4v2 them? And if enemy jungler's here, you four v three, you still hard win. And he was just like, I can't be fucked. And I'm like, yeah, that's a really good fucking attitude. So I'm not saying you have that same attitude, MSM, but of course you have to micromanage people. You guys are a team. Whether you like it or not, like you are in a team every single game in League. And for me anyway, like I know I talk about like, you know, jungle and you want to diff them and stuff. The most fun I have in League is like when you actually operate with people at the same, like you elevate them. And they play at a level yeah. and tempo and pace in a game that's as quick as you. And you're, they're always with you. And they understand and they like listen to what you're saying and stuff. Like that's when League is like the most fun and rewarding. Um, so of course you have to. Like I even said, right? You're Lulu and Caitlyn are basing when Nunu's doing grubs and your bot side. You want to 3v2 them under tower and you let them base. You need to spam ping them there. You need to spam ping Lulu here that you're playing in his bot side jungle like Nunu's. You need to ask for okay. words. You need to tell them what you're doing. Jungle is heartbeat of a team. Think about later in a game. It is literally about jungle camps. Baron, Elder Dragon. They are where Grubs are, they're where Dragon are. Everything's about jungle. So your support is gonna ward around those objectives, right? In other words, jungle camps. They're gonna ward in jungle. So you just have to pick the right part of the jungle that you want to play in. Rift Herald here is not okay. the right place. Make sense? Okay, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just a question, like, in which scenarios mm -hmm. would, like, consider attacking Herald? If like, your if nothing is top, for whatever reason. Like, if nothing. Nothing is happening on the map or... Okay, so that tower is already gone, right? And let's say Caitlyn's running mid. You can easily do Rift Herald. Like, you know okay. what I mean? Like, the, like if Set goes bot or Syndra goes bot with TP, yeah, yeah, yeah. it's not really that bad because then you would just go mid and drop Herald. But I'm saying, like, because in this game, that's a good question, MSM, like, that tower is up. 
that is more meaningful you know like that out of tier tower is so easy for you for you to get and it's where your caitlin is okay right? so if she got that tower before right let's just say before she based or whatever just happened and then she runs mid of course you can go rift held yeah yeah because as long like as my, you, just don't lose that that's my, what i'm saying don't yeah, lose all of that because my, because my fetal dc is uh, mid lane so. <laughs> Yeah, like he's near you. Like Caitlyn's never gonna die if you're there, right? Mid lane. Like you've got wards here. Like look at this. Oh my goodness. Like that's scary. Yeah, I have, I have my wall both side up plus the map is dark. Yes. It's winter. It's the winter already. It's night. It's <laughs> yeah. Are you French, by the way, MSM? Yeah, 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 man. Ah, uh, très bien. <laughs> All right, we got Rift held now. <laughs> I love how you say you get rift held and drop it mid and you just go like this and then base. <laughs> oh, I said that it was my uh it was something I wanted to do. Oh okay, right, fair. <laughs> I just like, like, like to I it. Yeah, no 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 I wanted to have arrows so like uh, we could open uh bot. Oh, okay, fair enough. Yeah, look at this though man, like how is this happening? Oh, like if they get this bot they're actually gonna get the bot tower before you guys get theirs, that's crazy, right? Like that's like this MSM, like I would say that that can't ex like that's just not possible. But it happens just because you get a rift held. So back here, MSM, right? Like after all this, no, we even talked about it, right? You just base and you just go top to bot. So if you were to okay. tell me here, look, um, watch. If you were to tell me here, these two are gonna get that tower before you guys get that, I'm, I'm gonna think you're crazy. Like you need help. <laughs> you need a doctor. Yeah, so that's how you end a game quicker, man. Don't get baited by Rift Hell. The only reason you do it is because Caitlyn just got that tower, right? She's shoving one more wave and you're thinking, right, Caitlyn's going to run mid, so I'm just going to go one, two, three into Rift. And I'm going to start Rift when Caitlyn is able to be here for a fight. If you start Rift Hell and she's here, it's troll. Yeah? Okay. Does all that make yeah, sense? Yeah, I get what you mean. Yeah, yeah, I get what you mean. <laughs> all right, very good. Because my ADC is fed, so like, I should just bear on her. Yeah, that's it. Like, Rift Herald is not playing around your AD carry because she's not here. So here, MSM, like, you yeah, see, yeah. like, she's actually kind of going mid. Yeah. But, but she's like, not. Uh, she's she like, yeah. I mean, Syndra had TP, so she could just have went mid lane, but yeah. Yes, exactly right. Like, Syndra has to use TP because you're not bot. So it's kind of like a knock-on effect, right? Or a domino effect. Yeah, yeah. Like, dominoes have fallen here. Shut down to whoever killed Caitlyn. They get tower as well. Syndra has to TP. Like, it's it's quite a lot, yeah, you know? Yeah, and she's going, she's going to die as well. Nice, Nunu. What is this Nunu doing, by the way? I don't know, man. I told you, this guy is just sure about running the whole game. <laughs> it's quite funny to watch. I'm inspired. Oh, here we go. There it is. Don't be, don't be inspired by this guy, like, big. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to drop 1k LP or something. <laughs> Hey bro, if I'm playing on North America, I think I'd gain LP playing like this. No offense to NA. Yeah, I don't know if I really like this, like you're just running bot here. But yeah, yeah, this, is, yeah. this is where like, this time here MSM in this game, is all, I guarantee yeah. you it's all because you did Rift Held. Yeah, yeah. Like this should just be gone. And you should have got this, and then you keep Rift Held. Like maybe if you get Rift Held in the future, but then you're just going to be playing for mid anyway. Like that tower will just go because you've got Caitlyn mid, and you're like near her too, like operating here or here. That tower is just going to go naturally. Okay. So it's like you zigzag it, right? You go out to in, out, or like one of the outs, yeah? Then the other one to in, outs to in. You just do that for each like tower, or like rower towers, whatever you want to call it. Okay. Um, but yeah, no, man. Are you happy with this MSM? Like, do you have questions about what we've talked about? Like, what, what are you thinking? I mean, like, everything you said so far, like, it just makes sense. Mm -hmm. Like, I know, like, I, like, I don't know, I just played, uh, I just auto-piloted at some point. Like, for me, I was like, oh, Rift World up, we can Rift World, let's Rift World. Like, I didn't even think of, like, oh, yeah, we, like, uh, I mean, I expected my bot lane to be mid and my... Uh, yeah, so like here, here I'm dropping it and we're getting mid turret. Uh huh, yeah, this is fine, but you should have, like, that bot tower should be gone. The fact that they have your bot tower, by the way, is unreal. Like, that's kind of amazing. Yeah. Nunu's gone full. Like, just, oh no, he hasn't, sorry. I just, I just get, like, I should just prioritize better my, like, what I want to do in the game. Yes, bro. 
Diff the jungle. This is not a diff. Yeah. I diff should... jungle here. Like here, I should... The thing is like here... Like I'm kinda pissed at myself because... I told you in the game. At the beginning, right? I want to play for my bot lane, I want to strong side my bot lane. I strong side bot lane and then I I stop playing for them for some reasons. Like uh... I'm, going, I'm like, oh yeah, I, I'm assuming like they're going to do well alone. Yeah, I think you only did it once though, MSM. Like you just go into Rift Hell, it was the one time you weren't like kind of naturally pathing bot, I guess. Because every other time you have, like you did Dragon, you um... The only other thing is like when you ran to your top camps, you should have just ran to his. Um... But yeah, like that was just one thing, man. So don't just think like, oh yeah, that one instance means that, you know, it defines the whole game. No, like most yeah, but, of the time you've been yeah, passing bot. Like, okay, but like this one is mm. like, let's say NBA ADC is Jinx. Mm. Jinx here kills my Caitlyn. The mm. game is completely different than if it was just like a Lucia. <laughs> yeah, it's true, but... Because it's Lucia and Nami, so oh, okay, it's yeah. strong, but like he basically has no range, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and here Lucian gets double kill. Oh my but... god, look at this, Lucian! Kill me, you'll see. And yeah, that might exist, MSM, because you let him yeah, get shut down on tower. Own. Yeah, like that's probably why he has two items and not one and a half. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, like this Rift Tail play, where you give up all of this, is just going to stall the game out so much. Yeah, I just thought of what you mean. <coughs> and, because, and because like we are stalling the game more, like we can make more mistakes. Yeah, you just have less gold and they have more. That's it. Like, that's why the game gets stalled out, because fights are closer and you have to be more careful. Rather than, give me your fucking jungle, Nunu. I've created a massive difference. You can't even, like, run at them. Or get near me. Yeah, I get the trim. Yeah, it's whatever, to be honest, like, at this point. But MSM, are you happy with this? This review or whatever? Like, going through this? Mm -hmm. Excuse me, I didn't hear you well. Are you like happy with what we've talked about here? Like, do you yeah, 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 yeah. I absolutely, I absolutely like see what I did wrong there. Like my decision to like take a role because it's like, oh, it's an objective. <laughs> I'm a juggler. I should take the objective mm -hmm. instead of just like turning. I mean, like That's I don't know. I just turn my brain. Off. Sorry to cut you off. That's yeah, an yeah. objective as well, right? Don't just yeah. think like it's just that and that. That is a big objective too. Yeah, 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 but you get what I mean, right? Like, yeah, jungle sure. brain uh, turned on, like, you oh, can, big you objective. Can smite uh... it, so, you should just do that. Yeah. Okay, so just remind me what we talked about. So, right, so Nunu. Nunu, most of the time, they're just going to do Red Raptors Gromp, which means MSM, their Raptors are going to spawn at what time? Uh, you told me that, like, uh, it was. Wait, give me a second. Uh,. <laughs> Two, two, wait, 240 you told me? Or was it 250? I don't remember. <coughs> so, <coughs> if, he fin if he starts red buff, right, and then does raptors, he's going to clear raptors in like, what, two minutes? <coughs> so uh, what time will they minutes, respawn? Two minutes, two minutes, uh, yeah. <coughs> uh, wait, raptors are like, what, one minute, one minute, 30? I don't, I don't remember. Oh what. my god, see, this is what I mean, MSM. Like, you are in this elo, which is, I'm complimenting you here, by the way, without knowing, like, stuff like this. Like, this is a big reason why you're not going to diff jungle. So if he I goes mean, red raptors... To be honest, like, yeah. I don't even, like, track it myself, because, like, I have a professor doing oh, the job for my, me. I, I knew it, bro. Uninstall, yeah, yeah. I'm being serious. Uninstall that app and send me a screenshot. Yeah. Let's do it. Go. Uninstall everything, you everything you have. No, like, uninstall the app. Get rid of it. Like, bro, get, okay. get it off your PC. It's going to vegetalize you, which is like what I mean, I'm finding out here, which isn't like an offense to you because it baits a lot of people. I mean, but yeah. Only useful thing is like, it's useful for me because it's it not played, integrated. So like, it helps me like uh, right. review my pose. Okay. But yeah, I get what you mean. Yeah. The thing is like, I was, uh, okay, so before being a juggle, right? I was actually top playing one trick. So oh like I was just playing top, and um, I got master first time, by the way, playing Akali top lane, uh, 78 LP something. Mm -hmm. And uh, then I was like tired of like just uh, playing tanks and breathers who would rush uh, extra every single day. Mm -hmm. So I got coaching for like water meter, maybe you know the guy, maybe you don't. He's like a challenger, grave player. Right. I mean, he, stopped, he stopped playing, right? Like he, he coached me like... But uh, I, did, I, didn't, I didn't even really have like the, the jungle fundamentals, right? Mm -hmm. I just know how to play Graves. And like, I'm like, oh, bot lane. <laughs> I should kill bot lane. 
uh, that's pretty much it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I see. Um, like yeah, I'm not I saying that. like it, I'm not saying like it's good, right? I'm saying like I think I just didn't really focus enough on the fundamentals of the general role, like uh, just the camp timing and stuff. Like I just know when it spawns, and I know major buff respawn timing. But aside that, I'm like, oh, I don't know like every single jungle respawn timing, and uh, maybe yeah. that's why I I don't really like respawn accordingly, except if I have vision on it. Yeah, because of the so like, professor or whatever. Uh, no, because of one mostly. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> like if I have a one, like obviously, like it's strike, right? But the thing is. Like okay, no, okay. Like just for Nunu, like I don't, I didn't really know it was uh, the classic Nunu thing. Yeah. But but yeah, like I should just like uh, focus more. Like I mean, focus more. It's going to be not that long to learn. Like uh, jungle respawn timers, not going to be that hard. Mhm. Mm yeah. So like, but yeah. they will respawn MSM like every camp apart from buffs is two minutes fifteen seconds. So if he finishes Raptors at two minutes. It will be 4.15, but it's the same with Krugs. If a jungle starts a red buff or if they start blue and they do Krugs and then Gromp, that will be 4.15 yeah. as well. If they start Raptors, it's four minutes, which is a big timer these days because any like jungle with AoE loves to start Raptors. So if you just happen to path down here and they path like this, if they make a play up top lane at like 3.40, you know that you just have a free Raptor camp. They can never get there in time to like cover it. Stuff like that is huge. And if you can somehow like play for the respawn of those raptors, so let's just say you took them at 4.15, 6.30 they respawn, you can maybe do a clear where like you come back down and hit them here again. Yeah? That's how, yeah. You, that's how you diff jungle. Like if you think about it, jungle camps are your minions and they're his minions as well, if you guys were laners. So how you diff him? Yeah. By getting more minions, by getting more waves. And you've got to do it yeah, by I tracking get, him fully. More, yeah, I just get more XP and gold. Yep, exactly. Um, yeah, man, right. I just have a question. I yeah, just yeah, have a question yeah. that is related to this game. <coughs> so like, obviously, like fated ashes is a disgusting item. It should be completely rewarded for junglers. Mm. But like, I often play against Lilia, Brand, Zyra jungle, and I just don't know what to do against, uh, especially Zyra, because they just clear faster than me. They scale better than me. And uh, I'm like, okay, maybe I can invade, but it's not every game, right? Like some games, like I just don't have prior mid, don't have prior bot or top lane. Mm -hmm. So like, I'm often like, okay, what am I supposed to do if there are like uh, no obvious plays on the map, and if any jungler outscales me anyway, considering I'm playing like great, which is like very very good uh, at all stages of the game. But the thing is, like, I often get myself completely diffed by some junglers that are just farming way faster than me. So like uh, Diana, for example, Zyra, Brand, Lelia. And I often end in spots like where they're like one, two, two level ahead of me, just because they are like champions that just instantly clear every single camp in the game. Yeah, so so... Against, against those kind of champions, what should I do? Should I like try to just go for every single like camps that respond in my jungle. It's not. Or should um, I like maybe try to to play for there? Of course, it's not a a world answer. Like it's not the answer to everything, right? Yeah, of course not. Um, but like the because every single game is different. Yeah, the only answer I can give you, MSM, is like I would have to look at the game, bro. But just because they pick Zyra yeah. doesn't mean they win every game. All right, they clear quicker, but in terms of like. Um, skirmishing, they might be worse. Yeah, they clear a little bit quicker, but they're not like that great in 1v1. And in terms of skirmishing, like they have to make sure they land skill shots. Whereas like Graves, yeah. auto attacking is easy, queuing is really easy as well, let's be honest. Like if you can play Graves, I think it's a lot easier in terms of like skirmishing than Zyra and Bran and stuff. Because as soon as you're yeah, on cooldown, you're fucked. And you can also E their stuff. Um, but yeah, bro, like that's all jungling is. If you don't think you can kill someone, you just farm the jungle camps all of them on the minimap, including theirs, as best you can. That's all it is. Yeah? And just because they... If you think about it as well, MSM, like... If a Zyra clears quicker than you initially, it's not like she can just always clear recall, clear recall, and have fucking, like, double your CS. She has to wait for the camps to, like, respawn, right? So when you're playing Graves and you full clear, let's say, and then you do one crab, you can still get your Krugs at the same time she gets to hers. They're respawning at the same time. And when you scale, well, like, probably better than anyone, because you're great, is when you have Dirk, you might clear at the same pace. And now you're starting, like, catch back up, right, in terms of clear speed. 
So it's not like it's not like you know you just like automatically lose against those champions. The only annoying thing about those champs, like Carthus, for instance, if you start red and he starts blue, he can actually like do this at like three minutes, three ten, or whatever the fuck it is. It's really stupid. So if you're playing Graves or someone who doesn't clear that quick, he'll actually invade your blue buffer. Like that's the annoying thing about those champions. But if they just clear, man, I'd be like, whatever. Like. Congrats, you can clear a little bit quicker and you might have like a 10, 20 second window before crab to do something, but you should be aware enough to ping that stuff and so should your laners, right? So it doesn't mean that Zyra has a 100% win rate. It just means she clears no, a little no. bit quicker I'll, initially, I'll, that's I'll, it. I'll just that, but like, when Zyra full clears in like a 3-3-3 or 3-4 with like double smite up, uh, yeah. I just feel like they have more opportunities than the other map. And uh, sometimes I feel like, oh, if I want to match the gank timing on both lane, I have to skip one camp, but I'm one level below her. Yeah. Because sometimes I, of course, like I try to match their ganks, like I tried various things. I mean, for Lydia and Brand, it's not that bad. But for Zyra, which clears stupidly fast in the game, I often like find myself like skipping one camp and just flipping kind of the game on like the the bot play i would have to watch your msm like honestly i'd have to watch your game like if i don't really have any uh, games uh, recently i mean not on this account at least yeah but but yeah like every single time i've had zyra i often like find myself like skipping one camp to match uh, the gang timing yeah okay i mean like if you if you ever have a game like that bro you can even just send me a screenshot or whatever in the future and we can like i'll like just yeah. send you a little message or whatever but I can't, I can't like answer the question now. It's like impossible apart from me saying like yeah. they clear a little bit quicker, but that's it. They'll do that initially, but you still start the same time as, you know, at 4.15 when your first camps respawn, you're both starting there at the same time again. It's just that she might be able to, you know, like run to bot lane a little bit quicker or gank mid lane a little bit sooner, but it's your job to just be aware of that and ping it. Um, but yeah, mate, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to coach someone else some um, MSM, but yeah, we're chilling, yeah? You happy with all this? Yeah. I just have a last question uh, for yeah. item, like just a question, mm -hmm. uh, or like of course I got with Creed Grave, but I've started to think like against some comps that I can't really one tap and where like uh, I can get uh, killed really easily. I've been thinking of going Black Cleaver second item because Graves is like the best Black Cleaver player in the entire game, one auto and it's fully applied. And at the same time, it's a good item for Graves. It makes me a little bit more supportive of a jungler than just like a one shot with collector and stuff. But yeah. Um, okay, so I think I like just, I you just, going. I just didn't think of it. I didn't try it yet. I think if you have a crit AD carry, um, you going crit okay. is kind of troll because they just build randoms. If you have crit AD carry, just go lethality. And of course, you can build Black Cleaver if they're tanky. And that's about it. Okay. If you have lethality AD carry, you can just go crit. You were the Raptors, and I like lost all my HP for it. So yeah, that's one mistake already. Okay, um, but what, what are you thinking though? So you're thinking just path bot or? Yeah, ju just full clear bot. Yeah, cool. That's what I do usually. I mean, I'm a hacker. I full clear fast, you know? <laughs> yeah, you're going like a little bit yeah. later against a volley bear is risky. Because if he's sitting here and he ease behind you, like you're going to have to ghost already, you know? Um... Yeah, something yeah. like this. Like, even when your mid lane is not active like this, just chill. I would also, um, mm -hmm. Shay, like, try to get your mid laner to do this ward. <laughs> but yeah, I guess if they're a Yasuo, like, it's more difficult. But if they're a ranged champion, it's a lot easier. Um, yeah, I, I don't really know what to say, apart from obviously don't do that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Great of course. <laughs> I realize that. What an insane coach. Let's go, though. You won mid. For real. Jungle. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, this is quite interesting. One thing I also don't do is ping. Because uh, I know since my bot lane is pushed up this far, I kind of expected Volibear to just skip his bot side and just gank. But mm -hmm. I just don't ping. So yeah. they got ganked and I think they died. I'm not sure. I would want them to get ganked as well because they're like winning lanes so hard. Like Braum's HP here, like, is a really big diff, you know. Especially if you guys ever like three v three or crab or something like this. Like, this is a big difference, and they have no pots. So, um, mm -hmm. I would be really happy if Volibear ganks. But you're right, Shade. Like, 
the mindset like you'll start pinging bro when you want to like fucking destroy this person you know yeah. i mean like you don't like you want him zero kp and he's gonna retire like he's never gonna play jungle again that should be your mindset uh -huh. Lots of Hecarim players, because you're playing Hecarim and fucking probably every Hecarim guy says to like full clear. I'm even thinking here, like if you can run bot yourself and kill them, but like that's my thought process and I'll ask myself that question, but obviously it's too risky because Volley Bear might be doing this, yeah? Mm -hmm. And if you run into Volley, you just hard lose. So your, your goal here is just to like ping and if you see Volley Bear, then you can react. You get me? So you're really just like yeah. kind of reacting if Volley Bear ever ganks here, right? Um, but it's just about denying this guy, man, the whole game. And you kind of like try to do it even at level one. Just please don't do it against like a, a Volley Bear when you're mid lane. It hasn't got like vision on mid lane because even mm -hmm. like Lulu or whatever could think, oh yeah, this guy, you know, he's a Hecarim. He'll love to ward. He might even cheese the Volley Bear starting Raptors. Uh, and yeah. Yep. So yeah, just be, just be careful about doing that shit, level one. And if you have a ranged mid laner, oh, any, just, just always do it to your mid laner. Like ask them to ward as soon as you spawn into a game. Okay. And yeah, obviously you should be pinging here. Um, the other thing I'd say here is like Volley Bear could easily just be like invading you and you would get. Also, you know, um, do I yeah. lose against Volley Bear if I have two points on Q and Ghost? Definitely. Assuming like, I'm will, not tanking. This guy will get you to like one HP, you know? So even if you have W, bro, like this, this champ does like so much damage and it'll be Red Buff Volley Bear mm -hmm. PTA, right? So even like Extended yeah. is pretty good. Um, I have so Conqueror, like, keep in mind. I know you have Conqueror, and even, even if that. you have W, like, it's not gonna, you're, like, you're literally gonna be this HP, shape. Okay. And it's not like, yeah. like, even after damaging you first, like, you're obviously gonna click back and pop your Ghost, he might just chill mm -hmm. and wait for cooldowns again, and then what do you do? Like, you've just used this for nothing. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. So yeah, like, what I would do here if I were you, because that is real, like, he might do that, and another thing here, by the way, like, I would probably never ward, if you're against something like a Volley Bear, Lee Sin, or any early game jungler that might be able to beat you, which is a lot of them, right? I actually think saving your ward is great, because if you get Yasuo to ward here, what can you do if you have a Trinket? Uh, I can ward my the other side of the jungle. Right, yeah, so like level 1, you might just invade yeah. down here, right, if he invades, but at yeah. level 3 here, because I don't think Volley Bear would really do oh. that. Oh, um, I'm doing grab buff? You want me to ward over the bush? Or... What do you mean, sorry? Like, if you're doing red, did you say? Yeah. You want me to ward over the bush if I... So like, like I know if I'm getting ganked, yeah. Yeah, so there's two options, right? You can either... I think the best option is for you to, like, leash Raptors and go like this and ward. Oh, okay. Um, because it, like, also covers bot lane, right? Yeah. If he goes like this. I think that's the best one. The other option is, like, you just do Raptors normally or whatever. You come down, you ward red, and you do Krugs, which is what I think you should do here, by the way. Because you don't have a wall okay. that is, though. I think you should just go to Krugs first, and then you come to red. The other reason you would do... So just like telling someone, if you go Raptors, right? So you're always going to do Raptors. And I'm just talking mm -hmm. about jungle camps, okay? So let's just say Volley Bear shows top, and their bot lane's 1 HP. Honestly, you can just stack off Raptors. I mean, fucking your, your stacks will run out anyway. But yeah, you could just like kind of do Raptors and just run bot, right? But I'm just saying, like, if, there's, if you're definitely going to do your bot camps, right? If your bot lane's getting fucked, you should just do Krugs and then red. Because then you can go okay. here. Does that make sense? Yeah. If you finish at Krugs, like, then you've got to run all the way back. And maybe as Hecarim, you have, like, time to do that. But still, like, it might be the difference between um, you, you know, face-checking someone here, maybe. Or getting there five seconds later. Mm-hmm. Right? Makes sense. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so I would just do Krugs here and then come back to red buff and obviously, like, pinging bot. Like, that Volley Bear being in any kills, shade is all on you, right? Mm-hmm. Still not bad though, like after this just run at his bot side because their bot lane has to recall, right? Like look how fucked they are. And you should also know like Lulu has no flash, I don't know like if anyone pinged. Lulu flash heal, there you go. So that was ages ago, Shade, look at this. Yeah. So Lulu no flash, so if you can ever like run through here, so if you run through here... Oh never mind, they've ordered that, right? Is that your ping? That is, yeah? Yeah, it yeah, because it's not your fucking ward. Yeah, okay. But if you ever was the, if you were to like ever run through here and the Lulu doesn't really react, let's just say you don't know if anything's warded. If you ran through here and she doesn't react, she's on the same line. Just go and kill her. Yeah. Um. But yeah, because it's warded, right? That now, I think you should do this. Oh, I ran straight through. Oh my like, god. At them. Yeah, if this is happening, I think this is fine, right? Because the yeah. bomb is, like, just doing so much for you here. So, of, of course, if this happens, you do it. But I'm just saying, like, if there's no kills bot, I would just never run through here. I try to get here first. You've got prior mid. Yeah, so it's really good. Like, look at the difference you've, you've got here. Yeah. 
So it should just be this, and you would just like wait here, try to get vision maybe. Maybe you could even like pressure him if he's like not running through here. Like check his gromp or something. You could even do something like that. Yep. Mm -hmm. Just because you knew his HP as well, right? Like you know here, all the way back here, like he's half yeah. HP. Does he have a pot? With no pots. But if he had a pot here, I would probably just stick to crab, you know? Because nothing's going to happen anyway. But you kind of want to force a fight here with his bot lane and mid lane. Like, these are the... Even though you don't have a Jinx here, like, who, who fucking cares? But yeah, this is obviously good. Cogmo's fine, I yeah. I kind of screwed that up, but... Do you have to eat? No, I, I shouldn't. Oh my god. Yeah, I swear, like, I've coached, like, a couple of Hecarims so far, like, doing this thing. And <laughs> I swear, like, you guys just, like, press E. Like, your finger is attached to it, and as soon as you're kind of in range, you just always press it, whereas, like, you can just use Ghost. So if you save E here, you'll always kill, kill um, what's her name? Lily, right? I did kill her. I oh, you did kill her? Looking. But still, like, E just makes it more, Yeah. you know, 100%. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Run, yeah, running's good, yeah. Recalling's good, yeah, okay. Right, now. Let's see. Where'd you go to base here, Shade? So, top side, right? Yeah? Yeah, of course. But where top side? Because I would be clicking somewhere um, that is probably going to be different to you. Uh, let me think. Uh, think about that. Think about this guy. I don't doing? know. I'll, I'll just click top side and... Uh, you want me to go straight to Krugs? I'll just click top side and see see what's going on. Not here. I would not go here because it's way too like isolated. But what other camp maybe? Crab. Okay. What other? Okay. So right. You are looking at the map shade as if like, I mean you're you're not really because you're saying like Krugs right. But what's the other camp? All right. So Crab is up, of course. But like, what's the other one? Camp. Yes. Oh. <laughs> I, I don't know. There's no other camps if you, unless you mean Volibear. Just Raptors. You know? So oh, did he if, start he starts, if he starts Raptors, which Volibears like to do, it would just be like four minutes, maybe 355. Oh. So any champion with oh, AoE, okay. it's worth it just to go either or and then check Raptors. If they're not up, then you come back. Then you know that Krugs oh. are a coordinate for yeah. him, right? But this guy, because like he ganked bot, he's got four camps to farm. And if his raptors are at four minutes, it's very difficult for him to actually get back. And the funny thing here, Shade, is like junglers have to if they start raptors. After like ganking bot or making any sort of play really that takes them yeah. a bit of time, they have to go like this. They can't do crab. Yeah, I actually do this often. I just didn't know a volley bear starts raptors. Sure, but it's important to know, right? Um, yeah. I was coaching someone yesterday and he like didn't know, which is fine, of course, like if you don't know, you don't know. But like Nunu go or Nunu players go like red raptors to um Gromp. So raptors are at, like mm -hmm. 415. But here at a base, like I would just always go here, see if they're up, and then come back to crab, right? Because your camps are not going anywhere. Yeah. So instead of just doing this, you can add that onto it. Yeah. Which is another 200 gold, maybe, whatever the fuck it's gonna be. Uh-huh. Obviously, like, look top when you're running out of base. Yeah, so here it should just be this. And he's here. Oh, my God, bro. Look at these players. <laughs> Shane, look at this. Yeah, I don't think I end up doing anything yeah, about it. Yep. And, and by the way, if you saw this, it depends how quickly you are here, right? Because out of base, he should definitely run like this. So I would not actually do his Krugs here, Shade. Does that make sense? The only reason you would do his Krugs is because you, like, I don't know, for whatever reason, he legit, like, shows here. Okay. Right, but because he's basing right now, he will be here in like maybe 20, 25 seconds, which is too much. It's it's too quick, right? Like you can't do Raptors and then, you know, by the time you even get here, before you even hit the Krugs, he's going to show, right? So you can't do that. So just Raptors, right. we come back out. And this is how you can like diff jungle. Yeah? Yeah. So these kills like fucking don't even really matter to me. Like, of course, like you should kill them. Just save E, maybe. Um, but yeah, like your reaction there is good. I'm just making sure that you cover jungle. That's it. Oh my god. If Jinx W's that, by the way, and stops his base, like, their shade, like this, now you go. That is a green light. Yeah. And by the way, at the end of that, if you dive the Orn, great. Yeah, very stupid mistake. I just ganked mid. I mean, it was Oh crazy. my god. Does she have W? Actually, it was You no, have no, no, like, ghost or anything? Like, yeah, man, like, just do this. Yeah, yeah. 
Like, see that? Yeah, I agree. Like, even back here, though, like, I'm playing as if I'm you, right? Which is why, like, my mouse goes here. Right, that guy's actually, like, kind of killable, maybe. It, it's, it's, it's still difficult. I still don't think you can dive. But if he gets lower, right, you're just putting it in your head. Like, he's more killable than fucking that. Yes. Do I die here? I hope so. Alright. <laughs> yeah, I do, I think. <laughs> Wait. I forgot. <laughs> yeah, and you need to wait out a shroud before eating. Just like you're E there, you're just eating. Now you can't yep. push it back. Oh my goodness, kill this Hecarim Volley Bear. He does. This Volley Bear is going to make a YouTube video. How to stay on the map for five minutes and win the game. <laughs> All right. So oh, even even okay, here, bro. Like, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Never mind. Yeah. Here we here we go. Oh. Oh my God, that yes. Okay. Thankfully he does it. Right. So same thing here though, bro. Oh mm -hmm. my God, he didn't actually fight that. Right. Same thing here. Shade, like, just do this. Like I thought here he was just gonna run off. By the way, but Yasuo actually like kind of does this nice. And then doesn't fucking knock him up for whatever reason. But why not just run to his raptors here? I have no idea. I'm just not looking at the map. Bro, you're playing with like, you've just got music, full volume. Like <laughs> yeah, Dante's that's right. like hard style playing. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, man, you just gotta have a want to destroy this guy, right? Oh my god, mm -hmm. I'd be so fed. I think I'd win in 10 minutes. <laughs> yeah, and it's not even like that difficult either, right? I don't think so anyway. Like you just have to think about that. If you know that side of the map the whole game, it adds another six camps you can farm show. And as Hecarim, you can be like really oppressive when you know that shit, right? Rather than just doing your side, like it's always gonna be here for you. Right, let's have a look when you pop bot. Right, mid's unkillable, fucking bot lane, yeah, okay. And they have no summoners still, right? Your bot lane is kind of destroyed, so I'm guessing they killed Cogmore. Right, so Cogmore's back full HP. You can't do anything but, okay, whatever. <laughs> and this yeah. Holy Bear, where, where's he going to path shade, do you think? Uh, to Dragon, bot. So, my bot, no HP, so I full clear, I back and go to Grubs. So I can, like, take his top side after as well. Yeah, I think the, um... Found faster than him, because, yeah, he didn't back. Yeah, I think that's actually like the optimal move here. If you can do Krugs and still get here, you get me? Like, that's great. Yeah. Um, if in another game, like in another game, bro, the enemy jungle like might be making this play already, or you might see them doing Dragon and your bot lane's like all the way here and you just can't contest this. So let's just say like, you know Dragon's gone in 20 seconds. If you do this, right, you're going to be basing by the time, right, that's now gone. Yeah. yeah. So what's the mm -hmm. issue with that? Uh, you can't take grubs anymore, or Good. their camps. Yeah, exactly right. So you, you can't just take grubs, right? Grubs, right? Yeah, you would just run straight to grubs after raptors. That's if though you know they're like super active with doing this, or they're like now ganking your bot lane. Okay. Because even even if they gank your bot lane, they might just base and cover grubs, which is probably a thing, honestly. Yeah. Yeah, I've done that before. Yeah. So like, I'm just saying here, like, just making sure, like, you know, in another game. Um, you might just want to, uh, yeah, just run to grubs after raptors. So, like, your sequencing doesn't fucking matter. Don't think about that at all. Just think about beating that guy, and he'll tell you where to go. But yeah, I think this is definitely optimal. And here, just same thing, Shade. Ping Dragon. Yeah, I don't ping at all. Right, here we go. <laughs> oh, beautiful maneuver. Oh. I think I waste time here. Can you miss? I think this is fine because like it's fine. It's clearly one v one, you know. Like once you, I think this is good. I think this is fine, show. Okay. There's clearly an intent there for her to go nuts, right? And yeah, you have ult and stuff. If she ever fucking, I don't know. Well, she doesn't Did have flash because she used it before. Uh, depends if it will freeze. I mean, it doesn't really matter too much, but yeah. Yeah, I think it's fine because like you know, volley bear's bot, right? So you're still getting grubs at the end of this. Like it doesn't change you. The funny thing is that's not going to freeze, by the way. So you could just leave it. Oh, I, I wasted like 20 seconds taking another wave. 
Yeah, they, <laughs> these were, <laughs> it's pretty greedy, but like these would have to be full HP shed. And also like this lane will eventually push back to Yasuo. So when he comes back, it might even be on his side. True, I didn't look at the HP. Yeah, um, if they're full HP, I still don't even think it will freeze. Um, like if these red minions are gone, right? And there's a fresh wave here, these would have to be full HP for it to freeze pretty much. So yeah, mm -hmm. like this, this lane is still chill. Like you don't have to get the minions or anything. Um, but it's still fine too. Like, let's just say that situation existed where the fresh wave is now here, right? And it's like that and your minions are, and he pings it or whatever, like good laners should like ping that shit. Then you can just stay and get it. And it's good because you know Volibear's just down here somewhere, right? So you're yeah. not you're not losing like what you really want to do here anyway. Um, so yeah, just point that out. Just again, make sure you ping fucking bot lane because you don't want to do grubs. Oh, my bot lane dies, and you're like shit. Like if Volibear doesn't actually do anything here, grubs are obviously better than Drake, and maybe you get his whole top side. Like that's what you really want. So don't give him a sniff. So please ping zero gotcha. KP. All right, Shay. Like that's your goal, man, for enemy jungle. That's the game plan. Yep, so there he is doing this, yep. And he might always recall here, Shade, right? And then run here. So now you've got to ask the question, like, if I do invade and fight the volley bear, maybe with items, is it good? Yeah? Mm-hmm. I don't even think you can, yeah, by the I way. Yeah, I see him. Yeah, you see him, thankfully, but, like, another person is going to recall and run here. So I don't even think you should run here if you don't see him. Okay. I think it's, like... I guess you have Yasuo there, man, but... Mm, it's actually probably still fine, eh? Mm. Mm -hmm -hmm. Yeah, I think it's fine, Shade, if you did this. Just because you have Prime on two lanes. But I don't think 1v1 is, like, good for you. To be honest. Maybe you go... Yeah. Yeah. Don't even know if you can use ult. So I'm just thinking here, like, you know, what the future is really going to be. So when you see him, thankfully, it, um, you know, really frees you up. This is just, like, game winning, though, no? Like, you getting all this? Yeah. Uh, why do you do his Krugs first? And then to dive uh, top? Cause, uh, no, uh, because I thought he did, uh, I still thought he did Krugs to Raptors. So, uh. I thought oh, this was right, okay, yeah, you know? sure. Well, even though you saw this though, right? I would still go like Raptors Krugs because then you could always come and then just go down yourself. Yeah. Um, but yeah. Now you know anyway that some Volibears like to start Raptors, but even against any jungler, um, Shade, unless it's something like, I don't think Zyra's and there are certain like Graves Kindred that don't, never really start Raptors, right? So there are some champions, it's important to like um, know that, right? Like the distinctions, yeah. but yeah. Okay, and like the reason I don't like you even ganking top is because now you ask him to do this. If you don't show top, like this is the funny thing, Shade. If you just did your Raptors here, right? Or his Raptors, sorry. So let's just say you go red and then you go Raptors and you see him do fucking this. He's going to know that you're probably doing this, right? So what can you do after you come down to Raptors? There's a move you can make that really like ruins jungle. Uh, Go to my bot. Exactly, yeah. Yeah. That's all you do. Just cover your bot side. Like, there's so much, like, gold there. And you might be like, yeah, but what about my top count sequencing? And, you know, some people might ask that. Of course not. Like, who cares? Again, this guy's going to yeah. tell you what to do. <clears throat> and, yeah, like, you'll catch him doing these camps with a Braum and uh, GG. And, yeah, also, like, you showing on the Orn lane... Shade, which is already losing, don't think it means anything, bro. Because you're, you're losing too much, right? Like, if this guy doesn't show mid like he just did and takes your camps, even if it's just Raptors, he's kind of traded, right, jungle camps. And because you're, like, stronger, I think anyway, um, you never really want to just be, like, trading with a weaker jungler. You get me? Like, you want to shut the map off. Yeah. Oh, my God. What an E, man. All right, here we go. I can't believe you've gone mid, by the way. Like, I would just be clearing these because I don't think Yasuo ever dies, you know? Like, when the lane is like this, Shay, and you yeah. ask for a ward here or whatever, like, I'm never going mid, man. It's still 15 seconds away. You just used your E as well. If he dies, <laughs> he dies. Like, that's honestly what I would say. And yeah, just make sure you ping. Just make sure you ping again because, like, you asking him to ward here 
it's obviously drawing him away from mid whereas like you can just ping like you don't need a vision you know, you know like you don't need a trinket to know he's there that's all i'm saying yeah so you just like ping exactly where he is and then you can chill and then you can farm your camps with a clean conscience never mind shade great move <laughs> <laughs> Basically, I just good. decided to back here because, uh, yeah, I had full item and. Okay, I, I wouldn't I base for like back. that, but I would base. Um, I mean, honestly, like you still like staying on the map and clearing might even be better. Um, because you, we never really like recall shade for an item. So you're right. Like if you have an item here, it sounds great. But what are you really using the item for? Is the question. And all you're going to be using it for here, I think, anyway is just clearing like you're either yeah. gonna go this most likely right yep. top to bot or you're gonna go like this right if you want to path top so all you're doing with that new item is clearing camps you are right next to raptors you will clear these right these two camps if you were to run out of base here before you even get there right so because you're so close here <laughs> and the main point here shade is like there's nothing you're fucking like playing for in terms of jungle, like you, you, I, I think this is just weird because his Krugs aren't up. Like, I don't know, that just looks really weird to me. Um, Grubs aren't up, Drag's not up, right? Yeah. Maybe Grubs are up like sometime soon, but um, let's actually figure out Grubs, man. So what I'm saying is like, if there is a resource on the map, right, that you really care about, and a resource can be like a whole quadrant of his, if you know it's spawning, you're like, right, I'm really fucking fed here. Let me just run there. That will happen later in a game. It's Hecarim. Obviously, early game, it's probably unlikely, but still, you should think about it. Let me just get Grub's timer. Okay, so... Oh, should I do those Grubs? There we go. All right, so 11.35, right? So, Shade, when you kill yep. mid, 11.35, that is just under two minutes. So you can easily just clear these camps. It doesn't matter fucking the order. You're right next to Raptors. Get Krugs, get these. You put them on a quicker timer and you can base and just run anywhere you want to. Can you see that? Yeah. So like, you never just base, but right, I have an item. Let's just recall. You have to use it on someone. Otherwise, if you're right next to your camps, you might as well just farm them again and you get another longsword. And it's not like, all right, that longsword is going to make a difference. Of course it's not. But your camps, you're going to get more camps in that game. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, so if Grubs are spawning in 30 seconds, honestly, like, you could even think of just clearing Raptors, by the way, so he doesn't have any counterplay. Then you base and run to Grubs, right? If the Dragon is up, right? Shaden is, like, I don't know, 17 minutes in a game. And Dragon's up in um, 45 seconds. And you're in this position. Maybe you even just recall. If you're over here thinking about Dragon, maybe you clear, like, Blue and Grompen base. You get me? So it's all about just, like, timing your attacks, I guess. But there's no attacks here, right? Like, there's nothing you're going to do here, I don't think. Yeah. So because you're so close, just get rid of your camps, put them on a on a quicker timer so you get more of them in a game, and out of base, I don't know, I guess you just run bot. And if Grubs just happen to be up in, like, maybe 60 seconds, you get me? Like, maybe you can run here and check his top side. Don't think it's really that bad, but yeah, just please don't... <laughs> what is it? Please don't forget to ping. Like, other side of the map or something. Does all that make sense? Yeah. I feel like I should have went back there after basing. There was a play bot right after I recalled. Uh, oh, yeah, shit. Sorry, I'm just like forwarding this. Okay, so he shows bot and your bot lane. Jinx doesn't have flash, but you do have Braum. Yeah, just stay flexible here, Shade. So I would just run like this, maybe. Yeah, so like if they do really go nuts, you can still maybe go like that. You can still go like this. You can even still go like that, right? Yeah. But you can also go like that. Maybe like that, right? Because his Krugs, I'm guessing, are going to spawn like really soon as well. I should have like tracked the timer and probably would like in a game. But when you take like his camps, Shay, just always add like two minutes and a little bit. So if you kill them at like, let's say 7.30, it's going to be like 9.40. So 9.30 plus two minutes and then just add like a little bit extra, like 9.40-ish. Okay. So that's something like you could think about here, right? If you're not going to be bot, same thing. You should be thinking about this first rather than these. So once again, you're adding that to that already. That's always the foundation, but try and add something to it. Oh my God. Oh, she ate. Never mind. Worth. 
Oh my god, here he is, the Demon King. <laughs> I'll get him. Get him. There we go, Shade. <coughs> yes, it's great. Nice. Shade, are you sure you want to hit one of his camps? Are you sure? What do you mean? I was just trolling. Yeah, to be fair though, you did take his Krugs earlier. But I'm just saying like, now you're thinking about his camps. Because you're like, you know, fed. But you should be thinking about them at level 3, 4, 2, 1. Yep. Here's oh the mistake I did. Oh my god. <laughs> oh shit, that actually killed him. <laughs> yeah, I think like when their bot lane's missing, it's really easy for me to say in hindsight. Because I'm playing this as if like you're going to get these camps. But when you run through mid shade, obviously like their whole team knows this. Um, yep. so yeah, just like be a little bit more respectful. Like, this is again, like just really loud volume, hard style music, heck room gameplay. Yeah, just not paying attention, you know? Yeah. Would it be Canyon, bro? No music, just then like immerse yourself in the game, in the jungle. Oh my God, look at the volleyball mechanics. Inspirational. But yeah, what do you think, Shade? Are you happy with this game? Like what we've talked about? Because we can all no. always... Oh, like, oh like with you? Yeah. With your coaching? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because we can always look at like another game now. if you want. <laughs> no, no. No, it's fine. You don't want to look at another game? No. Why not, Shade? It's fine. He's scared, bro. No, I just don't have any games. I don't play at all. Oh, okay. Fair enough. All right. Let's just go through this one, yeah? Just quick recap. Yeah. So you can tell me like the stuff. So this stupid mistake. Yeah, just ask your mid laner to do that because yeah. you kind of like want to save your ward for your board camps or whatever, like we talked about. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Right. <laughs> when you move down here, look at that. That is a volleyball. That is a Zinzel. That is a Rexa. That's an Elise jungle. Whoever it is, right? You should really be pinging shade, all right? Zero KP, yeah? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Volibear PTA as well. Because this side of the map is open, right? Him invading your red buff isn't fun for you. It's not fun. Like, if he plays it properly, he yeah. gets your ghost for free and potentially kills you if you, like, try to ego or, or whatever. Or if you're not sure of the matchup and you fire, just think you hard lose, okay? So to avoid that shade, like, what do we do? We go Krugs. First good. we ward the mm. entrance, I guess, and then go Krugs. Very good, bro. Excellent. It's really hard, right? Like, to kill you here. But you, you'll already, because you're Hecarim as well, you'll probably be past this point before he even gets here, and you'll just see him sitting in the brush. I do this against, like, Kendra, Drengar, or, like, Nidalee, but I don't do it against Volibear. I don't know why. He's probably but like yeah. scarier than most of them, honestly. Like his burst damage is kind of nuts. Um, yeah, this is all fine. If there's no kills here, knowing that, well, it it's even goes back here, right? Because Num Nuts runs away from bot lane on like half HP, so there he is. So he's got three camps up, bot shade. Yep. So let's just I say like you can't I... kill bot. Yeah, yeah. I uh. Recall and go his raptors. Oh my god. No, no, no. Okay, right. You're thinking oh, like oh, later, later. Just think about this. Just think about this situation. So you're finishing Krugs, you're oh, hitting four. Yeah, yeah. And he's half HP running oh, yeah, off, yeah. obviously here. Yeah, yeah. You want, yeah. You want mm -hmm. me to go uh, <coughs> not not from here, but from like there, because he has no HP and I can look for something. Yeah, does that make sense? If yeah. their bot is not fighting, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean, like, even if bot was just chilling, like, look at them. They're so low, right? So let's just say you can never kill bot because as soon as you show, they just run off, right? And you get peeled. So if their bot lane's unkillable because Cog has flash, then you've got to think, well, what about jungle, right? Well, it should always yeah. be jungle first. Like, in terms of jungle, what am I doing? Oh, there's a free kill there. Let me just fucking quickly kill them. And then you ask, mm -hmm. can, I just, can I still do this move? Maybe you can. But yeah, if there's no kills here, Shay, like, you should just be going like that. And it's not scout. Maybe it's scouting the volley bear, but there's a legit like chance that you can really pressure him and take his camps before again you have to worry about crab. The crab is always there for you here, and it's not like your gromp is spawning anytime soon, right? So, well, it kind of is, but yeah, you don't have to worry about it just yet. 
Um, mechanically here, what do we say? Uh, I have cancer. I mean, uh, <laughs> yeah. Bro, I don't every use every background player fucking just presses A. Just ghost, man. Ghost is the real cooldown. Right. Here he comes, Shade. Now, this is where you can really gap people, right? I don't know if you saw my yeah. last like, YouTube video, bro, but like all of those games where every single jungler looks like this and they show like this. Oh my God, man. Like it's, you just gap them. So tell me how you gap them. By taking their raptors. Good. How do you know his raptors are up? Cause uh, of the timer and Volibear sometimes sorts raptors. Right, very good. Excellent. Uh, raptors usually spawn like four to four ten, I think. Yeah, it's like four minutes, yeah. Maybe even earlier for some champs, but yeah, four minutes is um, safe. Okay. Alright, gank mid. Why is this bad to gank mid? Not only is she, like, healthy, but the real big issue here is what does she have? Proud and flash. Good. Fizz has E, Zed has W. Yeah? Even if Zed uses yeah. W here, he has flash, and he's going to run towards his volley bear. No. Nah. Just no. Nah. Here first, by the okay. way, before crab as well, yeah? Same thing here, Shade. The Volley Bear feels sorry for you, so he's gonna just like, you know, win trade. So <laughs> instead of doing your Gromp, what do we do? I, uh. <coughs> go kill him. Exactly, you just run at him. Yeah. Beautiful. Look, bot lane, Cogmore dies, okay, but it will be back full HP, so we can't. If Cogmore was really low here, Shade, I would actually be happy with you, like, clearing Raptors and then just going here, right? Because you should know you're ahead of Volley Bear. If he's clearing his Krugs, he's going to base and run here, but when he's basing, you're, like, kind of moving here, yeah? So if the Cogmore was the yeah. same HP as Lulu, I would just do Raptors and die bot. Although, looking at your bot lane, it's kind of fucked. I'll probably still do it just because I'm a lunatic, and I think, like, you know, we're going to kill them, and, like, basically, there, if you kill the Cogmore, he's going to miss that whole wave. It's more meaningful than like, you know, trading one for one, if that sounds bad. Like, I think it's good because he misses so much. Yeah. Um, all right. Remember this shade? So after Raps is here, it's close to six minutes. So if you think enemy jungle is active here, which he isn't, I know. But if he is active in another game, after Raptors, what do you have to be careful of? Sorry, say it again. I'm so it's close to six minutes, right? Uh-huh. And you know this guy's going to be bot, but let's just say in another game, he's really active, right? Let's just say he, um, I don't know, you just know for a fact, like, he's running quicker here. Like, let's just say he didn't do that thing with Yasuo, and he just ran to his Raptors Krugs, and he's, like, 20, 30 seconds quicker to be here. So, whatever play he... To... Yeah, yeah, go on. Yeah, yeah good, bro. Uh, exactly. I mean, do I clear, like, my Krugs? If no, you right. think, because he might... Remember what we said? Like, if you clear Krugs, right, you've just cleared Krugs. He's done Drake, though. You never know. He might be a lunatic and just run straight here because the time is like six minutes and he's just finished it. And he's like, oh, maybe I can actually get him and stop him from getting maybe even like two grubs. And in another game, he might have good lanes for it, right? But in this yeah. game, like what you do is perfect. I'm just saying like in another game, man, I just want you to be aware of that. Um, same thing as well, by the way, like I was coaching, it's all timings, right? But I was coaching, um, who was it? A master Hecarim over here. And when you he was like doing this sorry so he was like clearing up like kind of you are towards raptors and krugs and his top lane was getting destroyed right and i even think the enemy top was like here proxying right and it was like 5 30. so basically like at this time he knows that he's going to lose grubs because enemy jungle is pathing here as well he's got a hard winning top so just because it was 5 30 though shade i said look you can actually probably try to do your krugs and then you can always come back down to drake yeah because he actually has enough time but i told him if it's 5 50 you just have to come down to Drake. Okay. Does that make sense? It's like the same thing, right? Just yeah. if you have to do Dragon instead. Yeah. Just opposite side. Yeah, that's it. This is fine. She has no flash from earlier, right? So it's good. This is good. This is good because you have double prior and stuff. Just make sure you... See, I like... If you don't see him, Shade, I'm just going to say this, like, just try to do the red buff in a position where you don't get ambushed. That's all, that's all I would say here, yeah? Yeah. But because he's bought, you don't have to worry. Now, next move is, we, we kind of touched on this, but as soon as you know that he's just going to, you know, like, fucking do this, and he's obviously going to do this, um, remember, 
winning, right? And you've got this guy out of base as well. And I think you're stronger than him too. So, what move yeah, do we make here? Go, uh, take raptors and go to my own raptors. Very good. Even if his raptors aren't up, you know what I mean? Like, just, that's it. In some capacity. If you want to, like, quickly drive by, no worries. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's kind of like a little throw, to be honest. Like, you showing top there and actually killing that guy because you're losing too much. Like, if he doesn't gank mid, he just, like, takes all your camps here. Um, don't really... You don't have to worry too much about asking for a ward. Just ping. Because you okay. know he's doing it, so... Yeah. Recalling here. Shade, you don't actually really have to. Why would I say something like that? What do we say? Uh, uh, there's no objectives up. Nothing to play for, so... I'm close to Raptors as well, so might as well just farm. Very good, Get perfect. Them on reset. What about if um, Grubs were up in like, I don't know, 60 seconds, what would you do? 60? Yeah. Uh, I guess I would take Raptors, Krugs, and reset. Not perfect. Sure. Yeah, very good. You see what I mean? Like, it's all about, just because you have an item here, it's not about that. It's about these. Yeah? Yeah. Oh my god. What are you doing here? Wow, I don't remember. The Swash? Why would you ever do Raptors? Are you going Raptors Gromp? Are you going, uh, I don't know, Raptors Krugs Top? I think it's dead. Oh my Raptors. god. Krugs? Yeah, just do Krugs Chasa. Yeah? Why did I do that? You're gonna base longsword and run bot? Yeah, no. Yeah, like, I think you doing this is just bad, right? Even yeah. even though like the enemy jungle is probably clearing towards top side, I still don't like it because um you've got so much kill pressure bot, right? Like Leona onto the Nami, she just dies and fucking like it's already close to being over. Yeah. I don't know. Like, I just like you doing this. If if the Nar was pushing into Talia and he's like. A quarter HP, like there's already been a lot of fighting already. I would kind of understand, but this like just looks way too forced when he has flash, right? Yeah. Yeah. So this guy has flash. There's no way you're gonna kill him. So yeah. Wow. Yeah, you see what I mean? Like it's just uh, such an effort. And the funny thing is, like Talia there loses that trade because you're like pinging on the way so she like just runs into a nar q and full tanks it and what's also annoying here charter is now you're a camp behind zach which might not sound too bad but they have a yasuo with ignite who's a lot better in a skirmish yeah yeah and yeah bro, yeah bro like this so this move just to do rats as crogs i don't know if you saw this from someone and you're like wow that must be good but i think it's just bad Mm -hmm. And he just flashes. And here comes the Yasuo. His wind wall's on cooldown, unlucky. You didn't get a mark though, right? No. Oh, FF. Yeah, can you see though, shot like how this here, um, even if it works out, bro, like, it's just so flippy. Because I don't know exactly what's going to happen, but I'm pretty sure it's not going to be like 100% winning, yeah? So you never really go for it. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah, so like you're trying to gank a flash, a Gnar with flash. When you invade, because Kindred's actually quite slow at clearing, you're invading someone who's going to have four camps to your three. Right? So you, you've really got to like hope that your lane is a good there and you're against a Yasuo with Ignite. Who's going to run over and be more useful than Ryze, yeah? So... I don't know. Bro. I don't know why I did it. And I can understand why I shouldn't do that even in game, so mm -hmm. I guess this game's really bad. Yeah, let's keep watching though. Yeah, that's good. Okay, so you see Zach here and he's got 16 CS still. So what do you think this Zach is gonna do here, Charles? So let's because this is what jungling is about, right? As soon as they show, you've got to be good enough to know what to do. So based on this and based on what he's done already, right? So he's got 16 CS still. So what do you think he's going to do after this? 
finish clear and back. Okay, he's going to finish his top side, right? And he might base, but he'll probably finish his top camps and then eventually come down here. Now, because it's a Zac as well, who's got good AoE at level one, what camp might he have started at? Raptors. Right, yeah, so yeah. Raptors are probably just sitting here. So my brain is just saying, what the fuck is he doing? Let me just go like that. If his Raptors are not there, what would you do? Um, My camps? I wouldn't. Think. If he doesn't... So his Raptors are not there. That means that he did not start at Raptors, right? And what time do you think it's going to be, Chasa, when you go here, right? So here I come. What time is it going to be when you go like this? 4.40. 4.40? Goodness me. Well, you're probably just going to run like this, yeah? Like, even, even though you're going through mid, it looks as if you're just going to your camps, right? You can make it look like that. So yeah. I reckon that might be 15, 20 seconds. So let's just say it's like 4, 20, 4, 30, right? So if it's 4, 20, 4, 30 and his raptors haven't spawned, what camp will be up? Krugs. Krugs. So you just go Krugs afterwards. Yeah, and if you have insane mid prior, you could always come back and contest him on raptors. You might have to be a little bit careful, right? Because he might be there in time. But you get his Krugs out of it. That's great. Then you can always come back to Crab or whatever. And his Raptors as well, like, might even be the mark, funnily enough. Yeah? Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's what I would be thinking. As soon as I see that guy, I'm like, wait, what the fuck? Because I'm expecting him actually here to go Bot Crab. Like, you're going to get that mark 100%. So if he goes Bot Crab here, he can then do his Krugs afterwards. You see that? Like, I would never go to my blue buff here if I'm Zach. But this is why, like, it's not challenging, yeah? So now you've got to try and think, why the f oh, wait, he's top side. And I know that's a mistake, right? Based on what we just looked at, because now you can take his bot side. Does that make sense? Yeah. Like I know here that that just looks really weird to me because 4.10, even four minutes, his Raptors are up. Okay, his Raptors aren't up. That means he started a red buff and then did Krugs after. All right, well, I'll just take his Krugs then. What's he going to do to me? Like nothing. Yeah. So we're doing that because we have Mipriel, right? No, we're doing that because you know he's doing blue and gromp. I wouldn't even care if I didn't have mid prior there. I'd always do that. Oh, it's because he's late. <clears throat> yeah, exactly right. Like, he's got two more camps, right? Because he's got 16. He doesn't have 20 or 24 or whatever. He's got 16. So he's got blue, which you know. You even saw, like, you know, your team was, like, hitting this. So he's got one, two... So here he goes, one and two. And by that time, you're gonna go like this. Check, not up. Yeah, then I got it, I got drugs. it. Yeah. So it's not, it, it has like nothing to do with mid prior. Even if Yas had prior, I would still walk like this and make it look as if I'm just doing something here only. And then all of a sudden I've done that. And Zach will be like, wait, what the fuck? Where are my crugs? Yep. Yep. And Mark will also be his Raptors, right? Chasa, so... Yeah, double body. I'm pretty sure his Raptors will be Mark, because again, like, he's got to spend time. You see what I mean here? Mm-hmm. <coughs> here he comes, ganking mid. Or oh, the Crab, yeah, fucking... Oh, yeah, you don't have a Mark. I'm, I'm fucking drunk. Oh, no, you do have a Mark. Wait, what? Am I cooked? Oh, yeah, you got top crab. Sorry, Charles, oh. forgive me. Forgive me. Everyone forgive it's a, me. <laughs> it's a coin flip. It's a coin flip. Yeah, it's a flip between raptors and crabs. Sorry, I was like, wait, what? But yeah, okay. Um, but yeah, I'm just saying, bro, like, you should have got his Krugs before. Because now, like, you know, he could be active. He could be running down here, and his bot lane might be here as well, right? That's why you have to react, like, instantly. Because, again, if I'm Zach here, like, I'm going to eat you out of the brush. Yeah. yeah. Let me just rewind it just to make sure I know what's going on. Okay, so he shows. The funny thing here is like he might even be running to your Raptors, by the way. <laughs> and you might be like, yeah, but Eeks, isn't that bad? Like I'm taking his Krugs and then what? Coming back to Crab or something like this? And it's like, if you think he's doing this, just run straight there. You've got mid prior. Just go kill him. There's a Zach with no flash, yeah? Like you'll just kill him. Yeah, so he actually did do your routes, as you say, Chasa. Yeah. So that's why, bro. Like, you've gone Wolves, Crab, and then you've gone in. 
if you just did like cruds and let's just say you come back to raptors you could run straight here yeah but because you've done your camps bro and then you've done the actual move you should have done first it Why gives him time to like do whatever he wants right this looks good if nami has no flash just kill nami yeah did you know this chasa and you mark nami no. as well yeah good oh no so yeah, whoever you mark, bro, just ping them, yeah? So if it's if it's Nami, just don't ping on the way. Oh, you did actually ping, my bad, my bad, my yeah, bad. Yeah, but even even here though, right? Like you ping, maybe you ping like, you actually do ping pretty well. Or Caitlyn pings the Nami. Yeah, I just want you pinging the Nami though, like when Leona goes in, right? Cause I don't think you've pinged yet. Yeah, like I you guess ping I did it. Know? You ping here at 39. So it's 38 here. And Leona's obviously in range to do something. But just ping the Nami, mate. That's all I'm saying, okay? So on the way is good, but ping the person you want to go on. Because if you mark that Nami, it's everything, yeah? But you didn't know. Did you? Wait, hang on a second. What the fuck is going on? Who did you mark? Am I drunk? What's going on? So you mark Kaisa, but you go on Nami. Is that right? Yeah. Chasta, tell me. Am I, am I tripping or? Yeah, yeah. Okay, right. When you know, right, that she flash, surely they would have pinged this before. Again, like I know I skipped stuff, but if I was actually full playing the game, I would know. Right, so they ping this here, yeah? yeah? So there's no way, bro, you should not know that Nami doesn't have flash. Like you should know she doesn't have flash, right? So based on in that. The game, I guess have, I thought, yeah. uh, in the game, I guess I thought like if hmm. I mark Nami, we will kill her too fast and Mark will you know we're going to pop off. So that's why I mark Kaisen. Okay, but then like you can't Okay, I get what you're saying, right? But can you see like how if you mark the Kaiser and don't go on her, like you might as well mark the Nami and people will know Charles, like you can ping them off, right? Like I think people at your ELO are kinda smart enough anyway to wait like eight seconds. And by the way, you can mark her like before the the engage even happens right like she has no flash and i've got a leona with flash you could honestly mark her when you're here like you could give her three seconds you're still going to kill her in that time right when leona has flash like there's no way she lives when she's up here does that make sense yeah. see i'm just saying bro like if you mark someone bot or in a fight and you don't go on them like i i know what you're saying like if the mark doesn't activate you still don't get anything but remember, like, it's much better to have the mark on her anyway, because you might kill her again in, like, the next 60 seconds. You never know. Oh. So, yeah, mark the Nami here and hit the Nami. She has no flash. If Kaisa has no flash, you definitely kill the Kaisa, right? That's without question. That's easy. But look, the mark is close, by the way. So if you mark the Nami here, Charles, like, look how, like... All right, you've got to wait four seconds, right? Four seconds. All you've got to do is dodge that. So if she throws that at you, click to the left, Q to the left or whatever. And all you have to do is just wait, right? That's it. I think this is actually like one of the easiest kills I've seen, like based on your mark. Yeah, like that. Like three seconds now. Yeah. So yeah, imagine if like, you know, I don't know, fucking Leona went on the Nami or whoever she went on because they healed, right? So Kaiser's back to full HP. But does that make sense, man? Yeah. <laughs> okay, cool. But yeah, most important thing like in this early game is you doing your wolf camp when Zach shows top and he's got two more camps to farm. I think it's actually been like a big trend in the people like I've coached so Why far in Master Plus is like they don't actually know 100% what the enemy jungler's camps are, right? Like I want to know exactly where that guy is going to go and how long he's gonna be there for. Because camps dictate that, right, Chaser? So if he's got two camps to farm top, that's 40, 45 seconds he's got. If he's got one camp top, let's just say he had 20 CS when you saw him here, it's blue buff, right? He's only got blue, and then he's gonna be here quite quickly. It makes a massive difference, right? When you know stuff like that, when you're specific around things. And when you think about this first, 
this side of the map first you're never going to hit your camp right if you have an opportunity just to take one of his for free because doing so, your camps like your wolf camp is always going to be there right so ideally in this game you would have gone cruds maybe you come back to raptors and then if you ever think wait hang on a second i haven't seen the zach here and we also just saw him on this ward running like that he's running to my raptors let me just run through mid and cover that's fine you've got prior top and you've got prior mid right and you'll just catch him and you shut off the map like there's nothing he can get okay, and he okay, might got it. as well yeah so the way you know exactly what what camps he has alive is by counting his ears yeah okay so you are actively thinking about that in game like always yeah like if i press tab here right i probably would have done it like instinctively earlier but i know that when you see him at blue buff remember when you invaded he's got 16 cs so i even yeah, said he's done four camps go. so he still doesn't have but he's still going to do like two more Why camps right he... yeah okay. So, yeah. so Charles, what I'm saying is like he had 16 CS when you invaded at like 2.45, three minutes, and 30, 40 seconds later, he's still got 16. He's still got exactly the same camp situation, but now it's four minutes, so that means Raptors, or it means Krugs. Okay, okay. let me write it down. So you have to, you have to press tab, bro. It's like not 100%. Go go. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks for the uh, raid. You can go. I hope it's Bardsy yeah. legend. <laughs> Alright, let's go. <coughs> this is excellent. This this reaction here, Chaser, is the best move I've seen so far. Yeah, like this is really good. Oh my fucking god. <laughs> it's over. See, Chaser, if you mark the Nami, who doesn't have flash, it's a lot easier, right? I even, bro, I, I even called this, you know? I even said, like, if you mark the Nami and, you know, you kill her too quick, she'll be marked again, so you might be able to kill her again, which is exactly what's happened. Yeah. Rather than the Kaiser with Flash. Like, all of this, pointless. Like, I guess you zone her from the tower, but yeah. What I would want to do is... After this... Go like... That, and then like this. If you stay here, she's gonna run off. So you want her to move up, so if you run off, she'll be like, Oh, Kindred's leaving, let me run up, and then you trap her on the next wave. Yeah, it's not better. Yeah. Even though she has TP, so like the kill is a little bit less meaningful. But she's still missing. You're still getting gold. She's still going to miss a few minions. And yeah, it's still really good, right? Obviously. Yeah, like that movement there, like, isn't actually that bad. That's kind of smart. <coughs> and I'm guessing this guy's doing grubs. Like, did you get information on this guy? Oh, he's 1 HP. What the fuck? And he's also running towards grubs. Oh my god. You should probably know this, Chaser. Can you remember playing this game? Like, can you remember that Zach doing that? So, oh my god, he's top and he's 1 HP. Yeah, I don't, I don't remember that again. He actually, like, runs towards Grubs as well. It's kind of funny. Yeah, I'm just thinking he's on Grubs anyway, right? Like, even if he was recalling here, Chaser, he has to go to Grubs. You agree? Yeah. So, even if he's, like, really low, he still has to go to Grubs here. And he'll have Honey Fruit as well, because it spawns, like, 6, 6.15, I think. So yeah, he can pick up honey fruit, do grubs, and he has to because he's just hard losing bot. He can't cover anything here. So you doing this is really smart, and going to red buff is fine. <coughs> and his bot camps as well will spawn soon. The only annoying thing is, is that you've got Kaiser who's out of base for items and an army as well. What am I doing? At least you don't show on the wave, but yeah. Oh. Okay, so Nami warded. Bro, this this Leona, I mean, I don't want to be toxic, but yeah. I don't think I would ever do that though, Chaser, by the way. I think after red buff, I would just full focus on jungle, yeah? So after red, I think I would probably just do dragon. Yeah. 
Yeah, because I think this here, like, when she still has flash and your Kate's really low and Zach's getting grubs, I don't see, like, if that's 100%, especially when Nami's going to be here again. So before, when I said, go like this, it's because Nami's not here, right? But if you do anything after red, like, Nami's going to be here. Yeah? Yeah, and I think it's bad because I need Leona to land something and that's not optimal. Even if she doesn't land something though, like let's just say Kaisa's on her own, this person just has to run up and queue. Even if she misses everything, you just kill her, right? Like she's half HP or was. Like this person's half HP. Even if she has flash, like you can just follow her with your Q, right? It shouldn't be hard to kill her, even if this person trolls, honestly. Even if like she dies and you get the kill or Caitlyn get the kill, sorry, like that's so good, right? Yeah, so the point is Nami. Yeah, exactly. Like, Nami's gonna be back here, and can you dive them 3v2 when Caitlyn's 1 HP? I don't think so. I do not think so. Okay, okay. If you guys are full HP, I think you definitely stay and dive. Like, honestly. Like, just kill the Nami. Leona will just run up and change CC. You just kill the Nami quickly. And then, I guess, like, you can't do anything to Kaiser afterwards, but yeah. Or Kaiser, like, one of them. <laughs> Kaiser's obviously better, but yeah. Um, when Caitlyn's, like, that low, I don't think you can do anything. So yeah, after red, just go to Drake. Yeah? Yeah. And then, yeah, unfortunately, like, you just have to kind of accept that, but yeah. Doing Drake is always, like, kind of annoying early game, but it is what it is. Oh my god, Charter. You're making me nervous. Yeah, see what I mean? Like, doing this, even if Leona lands her stuff there, bro, like... The Kate's like kind of low and they're so fucking close to their tower at that point, right? Like they're here. Before when you gank, they're like up here, right? And you're operating in fog the entire time. But Nami obviously watered that, so they'll see you if you're here. So they've got like a good three seconds, right? If you start your gank here and they're here, they just run off like that and what are you gonna do? Even if Leona lands E, they still run down here and you can't do anything, right? Yeah. I think you clearing blue is fine, and um... Yeah, it's actually kind of interesting here, because if Zach is smart, he'll do like two grubs and run to his bot side. Um, so I'm just thinking here, actually. Because Chasa, you know his bot camps are up, right? Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to be honest, I actually think you doing blue is fine, and then afterwards I'd run to his Raptors and Krugs and just try and kill his bot lane again. Because what do you think he's going to do, Chasa? Just tell me about Zach's future here. I think he's going to steal my Raptors again. Yep. And what else? What? What? Like, let's just say he doesn't even do this, right? Because he's scared of you doing that. Let's just say he's scared of you doing this. What's he going to do after Grubs? Mm. Base and go to his Krugs. Or? Well, well, I mean, I think it's just because you're playing Kindred. What about that? Oh, yeah. I think he'll probably just come back to this mark and take it. Oh my god, I can't leave this up. So I think what you should actually do here after blue is this, this, and that. Now, I'm saying like, you know, you gank bot lane as if it's always going to happen. What I really should say is like, you go to Raptors, and after Raptors, if you think you can kill bot lane, go do it. If you think you can't, then just do his Krugs. Does that all make sense? Yeah. So yeah, it's just about knowing enemy jungle, bro. You know what I mean? Like, that is that is literally League. And trust me, bro, like, these junglers you verse are not going to fucking play perfect. So when they show and they give up counterplay, it's your job to punish them for it. Which is what that video is, right, that I did? Like, the reviews I did in my games? And even yeah. said here, as soon as that guy shows, let's see if we can react properly. 16 CS and he's topside. He's obviously just going to do these camps, and therefore we can exploit him for it. Now, we know that he's done what? Maybe he's even been smart here and left a grub up, but I'm pretty sure he's going to farm this. Maybe he invades your top side, and you're more than happy with that, really, because you're splitting the map, right, for your Caitlyn. Like, I would be actually happy with trading the map here because my Caitlyn's going to carry the game more than your Nar is, and it's like, look at that. Like, who cares? Yeah? Mm. I never think about those stuff. Like, yeah. splitting the map and... Fitting my my better lane. 
Yeah, even here, even though your Caitlyn, like, kind of needs the base, she really doesn't, because you're losing, you know, like, stuff top, whether it's Grubs, whether it's this mark, whether it's your Rapses again. Um, it's like you're just farming your camps here, Chaser, when the enemy jungler is active on your side of the map. So he's doing, think about it from Zach. These are ones, and that's a two, right? He's doing, like, twos and ones here. You're just doing threes, bro. You need to think, look, if I'm going to give up a one to him, I'm going to take his one. I'm going to take his ones. You see that? Like, this is quite passive. Now, I'm fine with you going back to Gromp because you were one HP. Yeah? And I'm fine with yeah. you doing blue because you have enough time, I think, anyway, to do blue and then you come to Raptors. I think you've got enough time to do it. But Wolves? It's like, what are we really doing Wolves for here? Like, if you know you're losing ones and Zach is getting shit that you care about, you need to do the same to him. Yeah? Yeah. You don't get like, um, like, I don't know like what elo these people are, but you don't get like scared, do you? If you see like master or GM borders or whatever, like. Do you get like anxious if you see like maybe higher elo players? Like, do you think you played differently or? No, I played against challengers and. Yeah, okay. I win against them. <laughs> yeah, cool. I'm just asking because it is real. It does happen, so. Yeah, so you being here, Chussel, I don't actually agree with. I would be more than happy trading the map here because um, you care more about bot lane than you do top lanes, so. Go to Grubs here, by the way. Instead of Raptors. When you see Raptors, right, you don't have to worry about Zach taking them. So the Grubs, I think you should just run there and take them. Then you come back and do Raptors or like Red Krugs, Raptors, like whatever you want there. Just clear your fucking top cans. It doesn't matter like the order really. But I think you should just do Grub here. Because imagine Chaser, if he's doing the last one and he gets it in the next like 10 seconds and you could have stopped him. Like he could actually be doing them still, right? Yeah. Yeah, like he could be on them. He really could be. So I think you should just go here anyway and then you can always come back. That's what I think. Do you remember the... The objective discussion I made in Discord? Uh, maybe. Was it? What, you Remind me. I was saying that object, objectives <laughs> are really not that good because uh, its goal efficiency is pretty bad. Remember that? Um, I don't know if I do, but yeah, is that what you're asking here? Okay, so... That shit I actually brain root my, my head so bad. I got that concept for the Spanish content creator challenger. He said, no, objectives are bad and sh you should never do them. Oh my and God. I, and I, in, in games, sometimes I forget objectives even exist. All right, Charles, you're not going to watch anyone, all right? And I'm not like egoing or anything, but you're not going to watch anyone unless it's I'm, my, I'm already like, doing it. my shitty YouTube or if it's Canyon and Kanabi playing jungle. Okay? Yeah, I'm already doing it. Like, uh, like, no disrespect to, like, anyone in, like, Western regions, man. But <laughs> some of you West junglers are really good, and there might be a couple of, like, NA players. But as far as content creators go who you can learn from, they say really weird shit. And I can probably, like, make out what they're... Or, like, why they're saying what they're saying. But it will be really general and stuff. Like, never do an objective. Always do your cancer. So that's just absolute fucking rubbish. Like, absolute rubbish. Yeah? Um, like here, you're going to grubs because he might be on them, and obviously you don't want to give up that many grubs because, yeah, your camps are not going anywhere. Like, I would rather get one grub and three top camps rather than three top camps and zero grubs. It doesn't make sense, right? Like, what are you saying? Yeah. So you go to grubs here, and then you come back to your top camps, and then you base, and then you run a bot crab or something, right? And happy days, we can play the game. Um, but yeah, does it make sense to you here just to go like this? Yeah, shaking the grubs. Yeah, 100%, like... Just want to make sure. Yeah, mental is a very big thing, man, in the game, right? Like, what you're thinking about is going to determine what you do. So if you've heard some fucking rubbish like that, you're probably not going to actually make the right move anymore, you know? Because that's in your brain. People as well, Chaser will say shit like, oh, that dragon's not worth to get. As in like, you know, oh, why, why do you want Cloud Drake this game? It's really bad for your team comp. 
I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> it does not mean anything, bro. Like that is not, that is not even a thought. It's a resource, right? Like I, I treat like every camp on the map like barren. Like every camp on the minimap for me is barren. I don't care if it's a fucking cloud drake and it gives me movement speed or if it gives me attack damage or whatever or armor. I, I couldn't give a fuck. Like the enemy jungler wants that shit. That's all you need to know. Okay? The enemy jungler wants all like all the grubs if they can do them. Yeah. So you always start out, and then you come back in. Oh my god. <laughs> oh the Leona. Oh! Oh, look at that combo, man. Oh my god. Oh, here we go. This is a game I want you to see also. You, you've got another game? Yeah. yeah I think it? I played that game almost perfectly. I want you to prove. <laughs> I want you to know if I really played that good or not. Okay, all right. Did you, um, I'm guessing you can mark the Nah here? I think, um, how you move here, Charter, is kind of troll. I think you should mark the Nah and run like that. Yeah. Like, you're just running straight okay. at him as if he's here. Like, you would run like this if he's there. But because he's up quite high, you need to cut him off. Like, his escape is probably here, you know? So you need to get to that point. Yeah, now you got a flash, and look, you're behind him the whole time. <coughs> yeah, that's AIDS, right? Um, so yeah. This is good, like, how you wait, by the way, and I'm like, oh yeah, this is great, like, he's actually... I would, I would wait even more, by the way. Can you see that guy's intent? Like, he's just running into Talia Q's. And he's obviously going to, like, flash on this person. I would just use this guy's bait, Chasa, because even if you were to say, oh, yeah, but your top laner dies, I'd say, good. The Kindred, who's pretty fed this game, gets another mark. Yeah? Like, it's yeah. so worth, I think. If Noah burns, burns, like, flash and stuff, I'd, like, it's so good to get a marker. So I would actually use that person as bait more, but if you're going to go, you go like that. And you mark him. Yeah? Your W as well, like, if you know he has flash and stuff, like your W is just like, you should probably even like hold on to it in a way or put it like to the left of him rather than on top of him. Yeah. FF. Right, this is good. Have you marked him? No. Am I trolling? Yeah, he'll recall, right? That move, by the way, to go around Chaster is really good. Like, this is great. But I can't believe you haven't marked him. I don't know, like, if I'm trolling myself. Fucking Kindred. Yeah, you yeah, haven't marked. You actually don't mark him yet. That's crazy to me. So just tell me why you don't mark. Did you even think about it? Or maybe you can't. Maybe you marked Kaiser, like, too recently. But I swear you've just done this. Like, I reckon you've, you've easily got your, what is it? Like, you can pick the champion again, right? Yeah? I think you can. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Mechanics, man. Such an important thing. Like, here, you have a free kill, I think, anyway. But you kind of just troll, and now you don't have flash. All right. Charles, are you happy with this game? What we've been through? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so if you played it again, would you 1v9? I guess so. <laughs> Bro, you've got to say, yes, I would destroy this Zach who shows with 16 CS and he's got blue and gromp. And I'm going to take his bot camps and then I'm going to cover my raptors because we see him run there on a ward and I've got double pry. Oh my God, what is he doing? And now he's tilting and now he's pinging with his teammates and GG. You win in 15 minutes instead of losing in 30. Okay, okay. All right, next one. Yeah, send me the send me the ruffle. Do you have questions, by the way, about this? Anything? No, I agree with everything. Okay. It makes sense, yeah? Like, you've got to... Uh, like, understanding is the most important thing. Even most of the things you said, I could say I... If I review the game, I could say that those mistakes, except the, the split one. Like, yeah. the... 
that's that's something I would never thought. All right, let's have a look. I told you though, Charter, right? Like that game, you're like, I'm waiting for a good game to review. You see how much we get out of that one? And you're probably like, nah, it's not that good. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Twenty five and two. Here he is. The weird flex, Chaser. Weird flex. <laughs> <coughs> I've never got twenty marks in my life, and I did that game. This is the post eggs on eggs, fucking yeah. Li literally, literally, that's the post eggs on eggs seven game. Oh, number seven. Yeah. That's like a twenty minute one, right? I think I went through two of them. The, the three box box. Wait, what one was it? The oh. three box. Bots. Oh like, right. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Eight, seven was. Ah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. There was like three parts. So. TP top. I would definitely path top. Um, couple of reasons why. I could ask you, Chasa, but we don't have much time left, right? So I just want to like go through stuff. Um, this is not that interesting of a support, and neither is that. Yes, they both have ignite, but can you give me like two supports here that might make the lane like more interesting? Not there, just lower now. Bye. Right, very good. Yep, excellent, good. So like when I see this, I think okay, kind of chill. Okay, like pretty aggressive early game, but still. In terms of kill threat, right? There's no hard CC for him to land everything. There's no hard CC for him to land everything. Actually, kind of looks like a sh pretty like shit lane. Um, make sense? Mm, yeah. Yeah. So like, if you have a Riven with Ignite, I think this is a lot better to move towards <clears throat> than like a Bard. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Um, so yeah, I would have just started bot. The only reason you wouldn't start bot is because you're like scared of a late invade from. Graves, Karma, and Jin. But if Graves has Dark Harvest and you have PTA, I don't think he's ever going to do it, right? And you also have PTA Kaiser, who will be good. First mistake, FF. <laughs> oh, yeah, this is the 25 and 2. <laughs> um, I also think you should have a health pot here. I know lots of people talk about, like, not buying health pots, but when you're against, like, these early games, you know what I mean? Like, there's double Ignite, there's an Ignite top, it's a Graves as well. Yeah. Yeah. I think health every game is or, super important. Or it depends. Games. It depends. Like Shaker might never take early. one because I'm always full HP after camps. Like always. But as Kindred, you're not. <coughs> right? Especially like after your first clear here. If Graves does something really weird and you want to like do something, maybe you run into him later and you're like 75% HP instead of full HP. Or any skirmish around Mark Crabs, you know? I think about that. When that crab is marked, there might be a fight. And health okay. pot will actually probably mean something, so. I like that min maxing. Okay, so all I'm thinking here is like summon a spell, so like if they use stuff. Okay, so you can tell here, right, Shasta, like just by looking at minimap, because if I'm playing as you here, I'm just like. Right, auto attack, look at map. Auto attack, look at map. And you'll see like the gin flash, yeah, like three seconds ago. So even if they don't ping that shit, you should know. And you can even type here like summoner spells, right? Or summons, question mark. Yeah? But look, no one has pinged it, man. Like, why the fuck has no one pinged it? Like, it's criminal. Let me type it out. Why'd you do red here? Um... I don't remember. I think you're scared of getting invaded, right? Because you're also pulling it towards raptors. Maybe. All you have to do, bro, is raptors, and then you just come to Krugs. Don't do red, just leave it there. Yeah, and the good thing about that as well, 
Chaucer, if you think about it. Well, you can tell me. Why is finishing on this line... So remember, the map is like slanted, right? Like this. So why is it better finishing on that line than this line? I don't get the question. What is this line? Like, if you finish at red buff right here, yeah? What is red buff closer to? Bot. Than crows. All right. So what, what do you mean, like, bot? Like, what, bot crab or...? Um, bot lane. Krugs. So Krugs is closer to bot lane, right? Yeah. Okay. Red buff, though, is closer to that crab. And it's also closer to this crab if it's the mark. Yeah. You see this? And by the way, if that Jin, who has two kills, I think, but he's obviously more fed than your Kaiser, if that Jin bases in the next, like, five, ten seconds, he will be at that crab if there's a fight. And Karma's out of base as well, right? Probably first. Yeah? So, like, this bot crab is actually going to be very difficult, I think, anyway, to contest. Kind of depends if he gets a base off or not. But still, you get my point? Like, here, you just do Raxes, Krugs, and then finish it red. If you've got a hard-winning bot char, so, like, your bot has prior, I'm kind of more than happy, or not more than happy, but I'm probably fine with you just going Raxes to red. Yeah? And then Krugs. Because if your bot is up here and just crushing them, you can just run through, right, and get the mark. Yeah, got it got it but like because you'll you've got like a losing bot here i would actually just skip red and finish towards the middle and then i can actually play for like either crab you're flexible you don't really want to like go like this oh my god i didn't get this crab and then graze runs up here and gets both crabs that would be really shit and you've lost jungle yeah yeah <laughs> so yeah finish on a buff so if you're pathing here you go walls, grunt, blue, towards the middle. If you're a pathing like this, raptors, crugs, red. You're towards that. Yeah, re reverse in the clear. Yeah, pretty much, yeah. That's fast. I mean, their Jin didn't recall, which is like good for you, but he's going to have higher level and stuff. And, um,. Yeah, this is the issue, Chaser, if you don't have his Raptors warded early game. If you have his Raptors warded early game, right, you know exactly where he starts. Yeah? Yeah. So I don't, I don't really think I've ever done it, man, where, like, I just guess where they start. Because everyone these days is going to start leashless, and thank God, because they should. Um, but, yeah, does that make sense? Like, I just think this is flip. Like, you're just hoping here. You've got no real information that he's done blue or hasn't done blue. You're just, like, hoping he's, you know, going to be here, like, 1 HP in the brush or something. But also, like, being a graze, he's never going to be that low. And he'll have grit stacks. And he's got, you know, a winning bot lane as well. So you're never going to one-shot this person. So the fight's going to be a bit extended. And I think you just lose because of bot. Yeah. Yeah? So, yeah, you were thinking then... Because that's really the other option here. If you're just going to like skip Raptors, you're going red into this, which I've done on Shaco, but you need like, how do I put it? Shaco is different because I can Q over, right? And get the jump on him if he's doing this. And yeah, I would also probably want their bot lane before doing that, right? Okay, okay. It's not like you have great lanes for it. It's not like so obvious where you can say, oh my god, like both lanes are crushing here. Let's just do this. This is so good for me. But you should even be saying that back here. Like here, you should be saying, right, if I'm going to do that, it's because my way has insane prior. Victor's under tower. My bot lane as well. Like, let's just say everyone's alive, but they're doing the same. Then this, Chasa, I would actually agree with. I think it's good. But this map here, man, when your bot lane is dead... And Jin is going to be level 3 and, you know, he's still really healthy and stuff. Can you see what I'm getting at? Like, I just think it's really just flip. Yeah, yeah. Like, you don't know, you don't know what the future is going to be there, bro, so. Looks like Karma Water Tri Brush or something, so yeah, you just keep... Right, here as well, when you see his bot side gone, I would immediately do something. So if he's not here, where is he? Oh, I'm right. Being... Right, exactly, yeah. Like, there's nothing stopping him. I'm not saying it's good or bad, but there's nothing stopping him from ganking your Riven. In another game, she's going to die. Huh. Yeah, good, you ping, excellent, very good. But you should do that first, though, yeah? As soon as you see those camps gone, Chasa, you ping top. D 
Did you just mark them or? Oh no, he is marked fully now, right? Yeah. Yeah, okay, cool. And you're hitting the Karma Chaser. I guess that's actually good, eh? Because you'll kill him anyway. Alright, this is good. I'm happy with this. <laughs> nice. You can never go for that crab, right? Because Graves might have done that. I guess he killed me. Oh my god. <laughs> That's so funny, man. Like, you being able to get this is the most troll thing ever. That Graves is so slow as well, by the way. Look at that, Chaser. Okay, right. You can actually do this, yeah, because I didn't see this, okay? So like, let me just play for you in a second. Okay, so obviously you're gonna send him a focus here. Yeah, I'm gonna be honest, man. Like, unless you know that Graves um, was fighting the Riven for a little bit. Bro, what the fuck am I doing? Yeah, this is a thing, Chaser, right? Like, you're never gonna look at your minimap here, right? Like, no one is. You're always just gonna be looking at these two, yeah? And focusing. So no one's looking in bottom right here because you've got to focus on micro. Yeah. All I'm saying is like after you kill the Jin and look in the bottom right, funnily enough, the Graze happens to show on vision while you're fighting. So it's like kind of unfortunate in a way. But there's nothing st like that's what I'm saying in my head. Like if this guy knew that was the mark when he finished Krugs and you show bot, he should just run here straight away. Yeah? That's what I think. Yeah. And also you don't have to like full greed for this mark. Like you just killed the Jin. So you've already got one. So I think yeah. like you running there, unless you had info that, you know, Graves is going to be here for another 10 seconds. You need that info to be able to do this move, right? But I don't think anyone there is ever going to know like that Graves was hitting Riven and he warded over here and, you know, he's like delayed his clear, I guess, or doing crab by five seconds for hitting Riven. And you should just be running like this. Like if you're going to do the crab, don't hit the wave, just run straight there. Yeah, like, fuck bot wave. I don't care if you were trying to thin it or anything. You've got such a small window there to do the crab. Just run there straight away. Just like that. Basing is good, but you should know, Chaser. I even said this before, that Karma ran like this back to bot lane. So one of these is warded. So if you're basing here when Karma's out of base, you have to be careful, right? So if I were you, I would probably just run back over here. Cover your eyes real quick please um <laughs> bro I've, I've already called it but yeah I, I would even probably do krugs here by the way i reckon this graze is going to take raptors so think about it oh my god you know the the crab is gone i'm really mad now and i guarantee you he'll take your raptors here but there's nothing you can do right char so you like you can't protect your raptors yeah yeah so i would just take krugs because if you don't take krugs now he's going to go raptors krugs and take both and you'll be like that's kind of shit so I would just take Krugs, base, and then you can like play for next mark, which will probably be his Raptors. I'm not saying you 100% fucking run in there, yeah? Please don't take that uh, advice like that. I actually that. thought to, to do that, and you will see what happened. Yeah, here he is. <laughs> oh. Oh, this Graves. Look at the mechanics on the Graves. When you see this going on, run to mid, all right? Why would I say that, Chaser? Because when you run top here, you're locking Raptor. yourself into this. So why would I say run mid when that's happening? It's the Raptors. Wait, your Raptors? Oh, I, I say mid is still his Raptors. Oh, okay, yeah, because they'll probably be marked. Yeah, okay, so I understand that point. But all I'm saying, bro, is like, you can still do this, right? But you might want to just run bot. If these guys dive, Chaser, like, there is still a good chance, I reckon, you can get kills here. Yeah? Yeah. I think so, anyway. Like, when the Jin does, like, if you're running through mid, you can still go like that. If you're running like that, it really doesn't make sense to then click all the way to bot lane, right? So I'm just saying, when you see this shit happening, just stay flexible. You can still do... And by the way, if you're going to his Raptors, it's a lot better to do this. It's a lot quicker. And they're going... You see? Like, that's quicker. 
So you should be yeah. clicking through mid anyway. I don't know if you got a Gromp, but that should be what you're playing for. You know Graves went bot to top, so what time will his Raptors spawn if he started here? Um, 5.20? Yeah, like five minutes, right? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Graves, Graves will never start. <laughs> Graves will never start at like Wolves or Raptors. It would just be blue and red, yeah? So that means 4.15, 4.30-ish, five minutes. Okay. And if he did Krugs afterwards, maybe 5.20. If he did them after red buff, maybe 5.40 or some shit, right? So yeah. Makes sense, Shasta, all that. So staying mid, so you can do this, or you can do that still. Yeah, mate? Yeah. That mid, mid move, like actually clicking mid, I've never seen something like that. Like, actually, Challenger, Challenger concept right there. Unfortunately, like, that's the mark, but you should still take his Raptors. Like, you should still do this and this. Oh my fucking god. Was he this low running out of base? Okay. Change your plan, Charsa. I mean, I guess there isn't a wave there, but now there is, and he's staying, you know? Oh, bro, here just... Yeah. Right, here just fucking this, right? Yep. Yeah. yeah. Like, even though you might have his Raptors there, honestly, like, taking his Raptors, I still think is fine, because if GP's going to stay for another wave, um, you can just smite the big Raptor right and come here, and you'll also hit four as well. So you can smite Big Raptor, and I still think you have time to get here, yeah? Does that all make sense? Yeah. <clears throat> oh my god, this GP, bro. <laughs> Alright, nice, well played GP. It's Wudon on GP. But yeah, Raptors, man. He actually did them kind of late. But yeah, you see, Charles, like, it's still going to be within that window, right? You know, like 505, 455, like whoever it is you're jungling against, five minutes, just wait. Like you'll get the gold timer as well, by the way, right? Like when you see this camp not here, you'll get the gold timer for them, so. So yeah, if I'm Graves here, Charter, I'm like, wow, my Raptors are up. I'm, I'm surprised you haven't taken these. Yeah? Yeah. So think about it, like him showing bot, again, just think about jungle, bro. Like this guy showing bot here, what did we do to him for doing that? We did uh, Grom. <laughs> no flame, but yeah. Just me like talking to myself. Like if I was to do that, I'd be like, bro, like just take his Raptors, like it's five minutes. So I don't know if you didn't know the timer, Chasa, on on Raptors, but yeah, now you do, right? So. That crab will be marked, right? Unless he takes his raptors, but yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Let me think about this, actually. Okay, so like 45 seconds right from here. Is that right? Or is it 35 seconds? Uh, we... The crap? Yeah, like the next Mark Charles. So he did he did Grand Prix like 10 seconds ago. Yes, 100% it's going to be in crap. Yeah, because he'll do his Raptors, okay. Yeah, I'm fine with this. If you were playing um, any other jungler here, honestly, like I think you contesting top or what is it, Grubs is good, because you'll have Riven with ult, who is obviously insane, right? Yeah. yeah. Like, I, th I just think like 3v3, if you were playing any other jungler here, contesting Grubs is good. So you don't do Krugs here. You would go Raptors to Grubs. But you might even do this on Kindred Charter. So let's just say like this was the crab. Let's just say this crab is over here. You would not do Krugs. Can you say that? Yeah. You would just go Raptors, and you could, and by the way, like Victor Warding here is really nice for you because they might think that, you know, if you ran off like this, oh, he's just going to Krugs and the Graves comes in and ease over. And you come in like this, you run into that brush. Oh my God, he's doing the grubs and you'll see this grub getting like attacked or something or attacking Graves and you go like this so he can't see you and you jump over the wall with Riven's ult, hopefully, and he's dead, right? Or maybe anyway, he has to burn like flash and shit. 
Okay, so in game, I will never thought about that. So, um, I should be thinking about grubs. Oh my god, look at that! That's so fucking unfortunate. Like, I, he definitely as well, just because of the elo. I don't think I'm gonna give him credit here but yeah i think it's true right like i don't think he's thinking all right let me just delay the raxes here because i know they'll be marked okay. so it's, it's kind of like unfortunate i guess but now charts are like you just have to wait for that right yeah so i should be asked you thinking about a contesting graph because he's in top or or what are you saying in this game like after raxes i'm saying like what you do here is good if i were, if I were another champion as you say like yeah, actually, yeah, if you can do go up. Yeah, I think you just do that. So the way. Okay, how I say this. So mm -hmm. if I were with another champ, I would never thought about going grabs. So the reason why you uh, were going to think about grabs is because you don't want to give grave graves the grabs, or why? Exactly. So actually, not giving him anything. That's yeah. uh, the way I should think. That's it. Okay, okay. Let me take You it have out. this that's about to hit level six. You have a mid laner that's, you know, probably more useful than Victor. I mean, Victor's ult was actually quite good, but so is Waze, right? So mid lane is kind of like even. Yeah. But you have a Riven with Conqueror and fucking ult. And you're a PTA Kindred against a Dark Harvest Graves. Like, this is, this makes it, I think, very easy for you just to, like, run there. Even if he had Fleet or something, I would still go there, Charter. But. I think that you're saying, okay, so, so what's the argument we're saying here, bro? Because remember, I agree with you going to Krugs here, by the way. I agree with this. Because I think they won't be marked, right? So what are we playing yeah. for here? We're saying if you get all three Grubs Grays, I'm fine with that, because what are you getting? Bot and break. Bot Crab, yeah, that's a mark. That's the only reason why. I don't care about bot lane here, Charles. Like, I don't care if they're killable or not. Mm. That's a mark for you. And I think it's worth you giving up three grubs to get this. And maybe you can kill bot afterwards, but still, I just want to make sure that you have jungling down pat, right? So you have the jungle, you know, sorted out. Because if bot lane's not killable, we've got to figure out like what we do in terms of jungle, right? So of course, like, let's just say you go to this crab and it's the mark and you get it. And you think, oh, bot lane's killable now, let's go. Like, of course, of course you go kill them. But I'm saying like, if you can't do that because they're in base or they've already died or, you know, they're under their tower and you can't dive them, what would you do after this? Maybe just dragon. And you're saying, look, you can get three grubs, but I got another mark and I got dragon out of it. It's really not that bad. It might even be good for you because you got a mark, yeah? Yeah, I, I still think, like, you should go for it just because it's a mark. Um, I know it sounds, like, flippy of me to say that, and you're right, Yuzuki, like, you should think about summoner spells, but if you're really aware here, like, I think if I was, like, full playing this game, you would notice, like, nor flashing. Like, you click here, you click to the right, and you're like, what the fuck, they're there? And you can even type, right, like, SS, question mark. Just, like, you need info. And if you know that nor doesn't have flash, right, and during this fight here, you see Nort on the right, like, as soon as you see that picture, I think you just go. What do you think? Yeah, I think I kill him. Yeah, yeah. We're good. Runner, 155. Five, That's what I think anyway. I don't know if I would have seen the Nort Flash. Hope all is well, buddy. Because you're, like, hitting, um... What do you call it? You're hitting Raptors, so it's hard to see, like, him flash as soon as you're auto-attacking something, right? Um, yeah. But I would definitely, like, just ask bot lane, like, did he flash or whatever, or just summoner spells, or whatever you want, summons question mark. And if you have that info, you see, like you just get a free mark there. Because <clears throat> when you do this, Ezreal's like bot, yeah? So all of this, like when you're looking at your minimap, like there's Ezreal. And Nautilus, so it's just like Rumble Nort, and it's a Rumble who's half HP overheating, so he's got no cooldowns, and it's a Nautilus with no flash. So if Nort's over the wall, right? So if I thought you weren't going to flash because Nort's here, but he's over here, right? So that's the yeah. reason like you wouldn't flash over, but here I think you actually just should flash and you just get a free kill. Honestly, I, I thought he was there until we saw him in the split second. <laughs> yeah, that split second though, like, I completely agree with you. Like, you have to be a little bit careful of Nort. But um, as soon as you see him there, you're, you're still kind of late to flash, but you can easily get in, like, another auto attack or two and then you Q. Yeah. I'm amazed he does this, by the way. It's so fucking flip. <laughs> That's no, not too bad though, no? Yeah, no, um, no worse. Red buff Ezreal. I get my mark anyways. 
still have to, like, yeah you get mark yeah i still think though like that can be cleaner and it's like um uh, how do i put it I think micro is like a massive thing that's like missed usually so like lots of people right especially like when they're in your elo or whatever if they get coaching from me like they expect it to be like some sometimes macro is big right like i might point out a couple of recalls or you know you could have done this or you could have pressed tab and really tracked him properly or you could have looked at you know like how long his buff has left to really know where he starts and there were like certain things like that right but a lot of the stuff that I think I've pointed out so far, like coaching, you know, the master plus players is like micro, little micro things. So if you know that Nort is not a threat here, it's just huge, right? Because all of that damage you just did to him and stuff, you use cooldowns and all that, it makes it worth it. Yeah, I definitely need <laughs> to kill him here. Yeah. So like, yeah, in future games, if you see a fight, if you don't know like summon a spells you should kind of like assume that they still have them but just make sure like just type in chat ss question mark or sums question mark and hopefully they ping it and yeah i think that invade by him by the way would actually be good if he waited because your bot lane's level one right so if he yeah, waits yeah. but you still can't really do anything there so that's why i think you should actually just do like walls and then maybe you can like fight him on blue buff but i guess what you did is actually like pretty good Okay, let's have a think here. Um, yeah, so you get a mark, right? So because he's done Raptors, it will be his Gromp. I'm not using like hindsight or anything there, but. So the question here, Yuzuk, is if you think you can actually play for his Gromp here. Uh, most likely not, because my mid doesn't have TP. Their top has Pryo, Good. and then he's probably going to base after next wave and run back. <laughs> yeah, very good. Nor could also run in there as well, by the way. Yeah, yeah, he could too. Very good. Yeah, that's all fine. If he starts Raptors, by the way, just run there after Grom. Yeah. And I'm pretty sure that Yone hasn't based after that fight, so I think he's still kind of low. So here, Yuzuki, like, if you know he starts Raptors, it's four minutes, yeah? I guess that brush is watered. That's the only annoying thing. I've actually just like realized that. I could technically walk there, but then yeah, I guess there's a chance there's support moves, and I'm on vision too. Oh. Yeah, I still think you could manipulate your movement though. Like you could always run to. I know this sounds like weird, but you could run towards like mid and get in the mid brush, and then like hop the wall over to his raptors. So you could always like go like yeah, this. Yeah. So I'm gonna gank mid, and then you come down, right? So if you go up like that and hug the wall, it looks as if you're just running top or something. But you're actually just coming back down to Raptors, and then you can, like, you know, cover yours. Or whatever it is. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> so I think there's, it's annoying the ward, but you can, like, manipulate it in a way. Yeah, so, like, that Yone didn't base, so he's not, like, the biggest threat in the world. Um, and, yeah, I'm pretty sure Rumble, remember, has, like, four camps top. Crab and his top quadrant. So he's going to be there for a good, like, 60 seconds. Yep. Yeah, if I did what you said, I'd probably maybe catch an Autolus there too. Potentially, yeah. You have to be a little bit careful because if it's, I always tell like supports, if you do this, like just think about jungle um, because it will yeah. quickly be a 3v2 or a 2v3, whatever it is. Um, so yeah, like if he's doing that, there's potential for like Rumble to be thinking the same thing or doing the same thing from like this angle. But because you have it warded or whatever, you probably don't have to worry, right? So you know it's just pure 2v2 with a level 2 naught. Did you mark him here, or was this like earlier? This was earlier, because he has oh, no shit. flash. And that's my next play. Yeah, okay, fair enough. Who else flashed? Trinimir flash? Did Ezreal flash in that? I'm guessing he didn't, because they don't ping it, but I can't even remember the fight now, to be honest. That's another thing, is just like, when you're watching fights, just say out loud cooldowns, or just like ping them so you know. But I'm guessing he doesn't flash. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, okay. And next, next mark, like if he's smart, right? He'll just wait for Raptors to like get marked. Because you can never go there now, right? Never mind, it's top crab. Let's go. Oh, he did something weird. I don't know why he gave me crab. <laughs> yeah, so he did his Raptors, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think if he's smart, like he just waits for... Uh, what is it? I mean, wait, what the fuck? So he doesn't do top crab. Yeah, that's oh, wait, what I'm, I'm tripping. What weird. the fuck? He left top crab. <laughs> no, I'm like, okay. 
Yeah, that's so weird, because he should just run straight there, and he could also, like, ping his Nautilus, you know what I mean, to, like, flex out of base. Like, Nort can run like this, and if you're here contesting, Nort runs it. If not, then he just goes, like, back bottom lane, because he knows, like, top secure on the mark. Um, so, yeah, that's really weird. Uh, tell me, bro, so you go all the way around like this. Why'd you go all the way around like this? In case he's cheesing. Are you really scared though? Like, don't you just kill him afterwards? Because the Yone is going to base, right? Because you know he hasn't based yet. Does that make sense? So, like, here I'm thinking, right, Yone is going to recall. Because he still has, like, D shield. Even though it's first strike run, will Yuzuki, like, I don't think he's. All right, let's just say he gets you to 300 HP or 250 HP. Like, you're just going to ruin him afterwards. Like, Fiddle Six will come over, like, in that time. And I would honestly, like, want him to be there. <laughs> Because I think you just well, like chase him and kill him. <clears throat> I'm thinking in terms of pathing uh, early game. Mm -hmm. Like after Raptors, and I see my bot lane die. Let's say hypothetically the Nautilus is good. Because their Nautilus is obviously not this good this game, right? Mm -hmm. uh, do I just walk to his top side? The, the okay, where, where are you Wolf. saying, sorry? Like here? After Wolves. No, no, like uh, my first career, right? Yeah. Let's say they don't grief. Like, let's say Rumble isn't as low. He's he has good conditions. Their support has good conditions. Maybe I just walk to his. Yeah, I think you have to split map. Um, but the game, like at that point, is over because your bot lane will just get dove again, and I don't think you can do anything about it. So, this um, when this happens, like I honestly think that. This draft is not unwinnable, by the way, but there are some drafts that you might see where you get late invaded on your bot side and your bot lane can't play the game because of it, right? As Kindred, it's very unlikely you're going to get late invaded here because, like, you're a strong level one or whatever. Um, but there are some, like, team comps or whatever where you'll just get late invaded down here and you have to be up here for the whole game and your bot lane will just be level one for, like, two minutes. And they'll just get dove, they can't touch a minion wave, and the game's completely over, right? Which is similar to what happens here. So when your bot lane dies at level 1 like that, if they play this properly because of the level diff between bot lane, obviously you don't have the strength to bridge that gap, right? So you have to give these camps up. So if you saw Rumble full HP, Yuzuki, you should just like run here. Like that's the only play you have. But because he's half HP, I look at that and I think, oh yeah, I mean you can just kill your camps then, and if he does your blue, he's fucking trolling on that HP. <clears throat> But you would have to be patient and like just play the fight out. Yeah. Yep. So what's my next play after I get the crab, I think? Yeah, so Wolves Gromp and then his Raptors here. Just like change your movement so you can still go there. And then you yeah. would just come back to blue or something. Yeah, this blue doesn't matter. Yeah, or just come back to crab, sorry, and then you just do your blue buff. Um, the only thing like you're worrying about there is if he really takes your Krugs and runs in there. Um, but I think he's so isolated after that and you'll always protect your raptors. Yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, I don't think he's ever gonna do that and I wouldn't really care too much because he's near your poppy, so. Um, okay, so after this crap, so I just think you should run through raptors because Yone's not here and if Rumble's there, he never kills you. He never like does all your HP bar, all right? And like any burst champion like that, bro, you don't have to worry about. Like, let's just say it's, uh, it's an Evelyn, right? Oh my God, I'm face checking Evelyn or an Echo. If they, like, get their full combo off, you are full HP. Like, they're not doing 911 damage, right, in a full combo. So you might be, like, 200, 300 HP. And after that, because you're such a good extended fighter, you just win. Yeah, yeah. So I would want him to be in that brush, like, waiting for me, honestly. All right, after crab, let's have a think. Um, okay, so he just cleared his camps then. So he just did, like, blue ground pools, right, and then back down. Yep. Okay. No, he does dragon here. I mean, you basically have like no option but just to like clear your camps, right? Yep, exactly. But his, his Gromp does spawn it. Uh, yep. Maybe a minute from now. Keep that in mind too. Yeah, absolutely. So maybe like Krugs wraps us into his top side. If my top does push, maybe. But then again, I know their support has no flash, so either or. Yeah, it's true, but like your bot lane is just so shit. Like, if Rumble is bot, you never kill Nort. You get me? And if Nort just says Q, like you never kill him. So there are certain conditions there, man, that are really difficult to like, you know, 
hope for i guess like they have to exist like you have to see nor q and you have to like know that rumble's not there type thing okay so at this point i'm, just, I'm gonna deny tarzan one rub but i mean i think that's my only play here nothing else to do yeah because you don't have a base off right like he's got does he have ashes he does right i think he did his top side of yeah. a base steven i don't know what the fuck he did um or maybe he actually had gold for it I don't know, bro. But anyway, like he's yeah, he's definitely gonna run top, and yeah, I think you've got one grub, and that's about it. Just to, I just want you to look top though, Yuzuki here. Just look top, just so you know Trindamir's HP and look mid. Just so you know, like you never know, like if they're half HP or something, it does change it, right? So that's good. But I'll do the same for top, right? Like before you hit this. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, and don't just okay. So here, like you should greed for more, right? So if you see the rumble, like now, of course you smite and you just get out. If you don't see the rumble, like, why not go for more? Like, their Nautilus is bot. Yeah. So I think you I should actually go for more. No, the reason why is I know 100% you'll go here. Mm -hmm. And the second reason is I don't want to give him any information. I think giving information is extremely valuable. Well, for sure. But, like, don't you think he can figure out you're on these? Like, what else is the Kindred going to be doing here? I just did Dragon for free. I know she's um, pathing top because, uh, what do you call it? Like your whole bot side was up. So you were naturally going to path top, right? In this game. Because you did your top side quadrant, had a fight, and the only, then, yeah. The only, yeah. The only thing is with that is if I can take it, I would. But I don't think there's any way, any world where I can get to, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. Let it play out. Look, look, let it play out. So all I'm saying, bro, like, I don't know that either, man. I'm just saying, like, if you don't see him on your screen, that means he's not in smite range, right? So you could potentially get two grubs. Like, of course, you just want to get as many as possible. If you can get three, fuck me. Like, you never know. He might just run to his gromp and not even contest you. You never know. Like, he might do something weird. But, yeah, he shouldn't. But all I'm saying, bro, is, like, he's not here. So just keep hitting it and see if you can get, like, one more of your smite. Yeah, and if he turns the corner and that grub is on 200 HP, of course you smite it. And it's like, oh, well, you know, I used 400 damage there for no reason. It's like, well, not really. Like, it's three seconds of extra damage you did. Like, who cares? It's not going to dictate a game. Yeah. So I would just, like, keep auto-attacking that. And then if you can, um, what do you call it? Like, smite the next one, then yeah. So that, that's what would happen, right? You'd get that to, like, 200 maybe, and you see him, and you're like, oh, my God, let me just smite and get out. And it's like, all right, whatever. That's fine. <laughs> Same thing here out of base. Like, I would just think about running to his raptors. It just depends on Nautilus, though, and if you think it's watered and shit. Because <laughs> you know he's got Gromp and Wolves, right? Yeah, for sure. So I'm just thinking, like, if you can actually get to his raptors in time. That's actually what I do here, I think. Yeah, I'm just thinking, like, what items he has, because it might matter. Like, he might actually clear his top side super fucking quick, and then you've got Nautilus running out of base. Yeah, he actually does. Yeah, I think it's even like... Oh, you have like really good prime mid there and Yone has no TP, right? Never mind, he's back. Yeah, I think it, I think like... Here, bro, it's... It's in... Mm, mm. Yeah, I, I fucked up. I don't know. Your board does have move. And Fiddle does have R, even though he won't have item. <laughs> what is it? Like gold spent. <laughs> Fuck me. Yeah, he barely has mana though. I'm wondering if this is kind of griefing my mid. I mean, either way, I have to stay to fix his wave, but... I mean, the good thing is, like, Rumble's not going to be here, right? Because he's on walls. So you doing this straight away, I'm actually fine with this, man, honestly. Yeah? Because I'm pretty yeah. sure Rumble is doing Gromp or doing walls or some shit. Does he actually, does he actually uh, do your Gromp, though? Yeah, he does your Gromp, right? So he's on walls. So, like, you doing this, man, I'm fine with. I'm just surprised you don't go nuts on, on Nort. No, I agree. I thought... I th <laughs> yeah. I didn't expect the nautilus flash so i kind of like flash after in case yone ults into ult but that was yeah, like i, I mean you're never gonna die though right because you have fiddle and milio so it's just like numbers yuzuki so like when you you know what i was saying like if no like let's just say it's jungle versus jungle here you just run to his raptors yeah and you take them but of course like you yeah. have to think about everyone else around you so it's just like a checklist so here you have here you've got like bob prior all right so like nautilus ezreal might be here as well you know what I mean? Like, if Raptors are marked, I don't even think you should go there, to be honest, because the whole fucking team will be there. 
But it's just a camp, and it's very, very hard to predict this if you're like the enemy Ezreal, right? And there's a wave under his tower, and you've got Fiddlesticks with ult over this wall, and you know that Rumble is going to do his Gromp and walls at this point. So whatever happens here, it's going to be 3v2. So if you get hit by everything, that's great. You should want to. Just yeah, like yeah. you face-checking Rumble at Raptors, like you said, you should want to. Like, you're never going to die here. They're full combo, all right? You're 200 HP, but you flash over the wall. What do they do? Milio's here. Fiddlesticks, like, yeah, you know, fears them. Room. I probably don't even need to flash. Yeah, you don't flash. Yeah, there's no way. You just stay on naught. Just chase him. Yeah. I think this and this is, too this is where it's interesting. Yeah, because like, you know, he's got two grubs, right? And uh, what would you call it? Like, even even if he's not here, bro, like the, the point is like Ezreal can be here as well. So even if like it's this was to work out, yeah, you can never go for Raptors after mid, that. My mid needs to base too. It's just great. <laughs> yeah, your mid needs to base back here though, right? But we're just saying it's 3v2. Now though, because you've shown your hand, yeah? Like, you've, you've told everyone where you are and stuff, and Nautilus obviously sees you here. The Ezreal, especially like in this elo, right, where they react to stuff a lot quicker, is just going to sprint here as well. So even if Rumble yeah. is level 5, it doesn't matter. Like, you can never make this play, yeah? And if you have flash there, you think you, like, you flash over the wall, right? And you live. Yeah. Maybe you can even flash on, on Yone. Maybe there's a world in which like that existed, but but yeah. See, I think like mechanically, man, there are certain things that how do I put it? Like it, it it's all about seeing the future, bro. Like if you start a fight, like you need to be able to see this picture. That's gonna happen if you do that. Or if you know you keep fighting the Nord and Yone there, where he flashes over the wall just here, you need to be able to see the future of that as well, which is I think you just kill the Nord. Yeah. And then you can I mean, evade Raptors. Maybe. No anyway. good Nautilus player flashes over the wall. No, I just <laughs> Of course not. He's got no jungle there, right? Like that's that's how these players, like unless it's, you know, some good challenger support player, like they're they're never gonna think about jungle. So they're like, Oh, there's um or their jungler anyway. Oh, there's a kindred, let me flash on her and chain CC and it's like, Oh shit, I forgot about Milio, I forgot about this person. Like they don't think about anyone else but themselves. They just see a mid laner pushed up and they just go gank it. That's how they always play, but um, but yeah, you you have to be like the the exemplary man, the perfect you know like player. You can't like get baited by anything or or you know kind of like if Nautilus flashes in, oh my god, I trust this guy to be really good. It's like no, what the fuck is this guy doing? Like I know Rumble's doing his top side here. This is three v two because Milio's behind me and Fiddle Six has R. Like that has to be going through your head. Where should I go after base? I think my tempo is like completely ruined. Uh, if your top cans are spawning, like, you should just go, like, Red Crows or Raptors, right? But I don't actually know the timing yet, so, like, I think you just go top to bottom. <coughs> oh, oh my god. so much time. No, this is... Yeah, I think, like, even you checking crap, like, if you just do your top camps, at least you'll be six yeah, and stuff and moving towards bot. Waste of time, yeah. Waste, like, 30 seconds plus. Alright, you can skip through this. <laughs> yeah, just go Red Cross Raptors. Yeah. And you also ran down to his... Is he showing bot or am I drunk? No, it's just a 2v2, right? Yeah, so I'm, I'm surprised you did it because I thought, like, you saw Rumble here for something. Like, you know, I, th I was just skipping it. I thought you saw Rumble here, like, bot. And you're like, oh, he hasn't done Raptors. And I wouldn't mind this play, right? If you saw him bot, but you don't, so... I'm surprised you even clicked towards his Raptors and ping on the way to it. Yeah? No, I think it's bad. Yeah, yeah, I, I agree. But I'm just saying, like, I thought you did that. So I'm trying to, like, justify, like, if you're going to click towards his Raptors there, it's because you see him bot and, like, the mark spawned, you know, before he um, had a chance to do them type thing. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah. But, like, I didn't see him bot. I just had to make sure. And I'm like, wait, what? Well, like, of course his Raptors no. are going to get taken or something, so... Um, and the other point here, like, if you don't check the top crab, maybe there's a world in which you are, like, bot lane. And you can obviously, like, ping them, so maybe they won't fight and die. So you can say, like, look, guys, like, I'm on my way. Please wait until I'm there type thing. And then we have, like, maybe a game out of it, but... You say you won this game? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah, you can just skip through all this thing, you're just farming. Mm-hmm. You do blue first here, why? 
Like, no I want to be close to bot lane in case uh, they did something. I guess so, but like if they face check that brush and someone's there, they're dead anyway. But I should never be in this position. I just should never click mid, never click to the crap, and I'll be here <coughs> without skipping anything. Yeah, I don't think you have to like skip walls to be honest, because their bot yeah. lane's like running out of base, and you know if you if you're scared, bro. Like I mean, I think you've done it there, right? Like just ping, just ping, like. If you just ping people, right? Like, because junglers, how do I put it? Like, lots of people, even in high elo, even fucking pro players, it does my head in, like, think that junglers have to, like, you know, full help them the whole time. And it's like, no, bro. Like, I'm farming fucking camps and getting gold, whether it's my camps or their camps, right? So please don't fucking troll me. Like, my camps are your minions, essentially. Yeah. So, like, if you just ping, bro, like, listen. Uh, Rumble could be here, like that's what you're communicating. If they die, man, you've got no sins. You, you shouldn't be tilted or anything, like they're just fucking running it. Yeah, like obviously you don't win 3v3. So why the fuck would you be there anyway? Like you could even like, you know, talk to them I guess and, and argue with them afterwards. But yeah bro, you've got to like have a, how do I put it? If you ping like, you're not in the wrong. But yeah, I'll just hit walls and just ping there to be careful, like that's it. Yeah, now I'm just playing for Kraken base before I do anything. You have Kraken, right? So if you just like clear your bot camps here, you could recall because you can never do drag, right? So you probably just recall here, no, and then just run to his top side or. Wait, what is Kraken? Am I fucking trolling? No, I, I don't have a that thousand one. gold. Yeah, I'm trolling. Sorry. How much is Kraken? Uh, it's fifteen hundred now with this. All right. Wait, you skipped raptors as well? I thought like you left one raptor and the map was fucking trolling me. No, nah, no, nah, I skipped. Oh shit! So hang on, you do this because you're scared bots getting dove or something? No, I do this because I'm behind in tempo. Like I should have never been there. In the next place. Okay, so if you're behind in tempo though, Yuzuki, right? it has to. Can you see like how my mindset is like? I try to reason that, look, I'm skipping Raptors here because I know they're going to get dove in like the next 30 seconds. So if I do Raptors, I'm going to be like near my wolf camp when they get dove. I can't do Raptors here. But Yeah, that, that's bro, why I like, think they're, they're playing on this next wave. Like, I think Rumble, he's at, he should be at Krug. Right <laughs> so they're going to be diving on the next wave. That's why I skip this. So this is true, but you see the Nort base and you see Ezreal. Like, even before this, right, you should know the look. When they do that and you even see Ezreal's HP here... When you see him a good, you know, I'm skipping it five seconds each time. That's like 30 seconds later, let's say. There's no way they're going to get dove within that frame, right? Because bot lane's basing and stuff. Yeah? So if they're still in lane, Yuzuki, like, I kind of agree. Like, if they're still in lane here, right? And they're full HP, let's just say they didn't fight before. You're right. Like, skipping Raptors might actually yeah. be really smart, but they're not there, right? So it's never going to happen, like, in that time yeah, frame. Yeah, all this doesn't base, yeah. Yeah, just do walls. Walls, Gromp, blue, base, go to top, like Gromp or whatever. I guess he might be doing it, yes, but still, like, that's that's the best bet you have. If he does like Gromp, then, bag. yeah. What'd you say? I'm like, can to... you? No, I was wondering if I gave this dragon here. Yeah, of course, so you can't do it. Like, your bot... Our bot lane might actually not be as far behind as I thought. Let me just see scoreboard. Oh, it's not... It's not actually too bad. Hmm, I still think you lose though, <laughs> which I think yeah. is um the point. So like, if you still think you lose, then there's no point doing it. But like Ezreal, if Ezreal has a lead, right, just think like he's got tier. So that's fake. That doesn't actually exist. That doesn't like mean any damage or anything. Um, so the funny thing is like in terms of, what is it, like 4v4, you might actually be okay. But again, like the word might, you don't know, right, if you win or lose. So that means it's just flippy. Yeah. Um... And it, yeah, thankfully, like the grubs, you can get three grubs here, and it's really not that bad for you. Like, what you're yeah, just playing for is to drag. <coughs> what do I do after this? Oh. No, just wait for grubs. I don't think you've got any other play. I'm trying to cover them. Yeah, I mean, they can just run off, though. Like, what's... Let me put it this way. Like, what's happened already in this game, man, is, like, already kind of... How do I put it? Like, um... Yeah, and this, this is the thing as well, right? Like, this... It's so hard for me to, like, justify your movement here because if you didn't do Raptors, man... Like, let's just say... If you did do Raptors, sorry. If you did Raptors, like, as part of your clear, you might still be, like, hovering bot side, you know? But here you've gone, like, back to Raptors, back to bot, and I'm like, you should probably just, like, you know, swallow pride, and after Raptors, just do all the grubs. 
Yeah, like bots fucked here because your pathing is like weird type thing. Does that make sense? Yeah, I mean, it all started with the decision to check, click mid and then check the. That's all. Oh, the poppy TP, man. Yeah, so it looks good like now, and maybe it even is good, bro. But all I'm going to say, like, you, maybe it's even better because I would probably just do grubs. But the only reason, Yuzuki, is because I want to justify, like, my previous path thing. Like, I'm not running yeah. or skipping raptors because you think they're getting dove, like, you know, a minute or so ago. You have to know it's going to happen when they're back in lane. So that means you can do raptors, you can do walls, probably even gromp and blue, and then you can hang around and just see what happens. And you've already seen, right, like how Rumble, you know, fucking loves doing this. Yeah, yeah. So, like, that's, that's just what I'm trying to get to. I'm trying to, like, make sure that you can... Yeah, validate every single movement you make. Because here I think it's a little bit weird, and you've gone like back and forth, and I'm like dizzy from it. Yeah, yeah, nah. I think my decisions were bad. I think sure. to run bot though is good because like they'll do it, but again, like I just want, as far as jungling goes, like that path thing you took is so weird. Um, yeah, no, I don't yeah. usually do that. Fuck. Yeah, so just remember, like, if they're basing, of course, it's going to be, like, 40, 45 seconds, maybe even longer, right? Because they've got to shove a wave, maybe even a couple of waves before it happens. So that adds another 20, 30 seconds to your time. So now we fight this dragon. What was used? Use ult? Yeah, but Rumble use ult. My Rumble used ult. Item. Yeah, Fiddle has ult as well, right? Yeah. Yeah, I think this is a lot better. And you look strong as well. Like, I think you probably, like, feel kind of fed here. <coughs> this is good. Right, that's crazy. Yeah, like, what is he doing? Does he forget that Fiddle 6 is just, like... That's amazing, eh? Everything you yeah, do here, Yuzuki, is like perfect. So I completely agree with everything here. Like mechanically, I mean. Like you, like how you move yeah. when you saw Nautilus, you W in the brush for vision, everything's good. Okay, drag. And Rumble's dead for 10 seconds, so maybe you just go straight grubs here. Get one of them. Yeah. I think that's exactly what I do. Mm-hmm. Yeah, nice. Maybe all of them. Dear God. Yeah, okay, so you might have to leave one or something. Got oh, two. the poppy's gone. Yeah, nice, nice. Yeah, and if you do raptors, you see, like you do raptors here. Yeah, yeah. Raptors, so you can just full clear and then base afterwards. Something like that. Kind of unfortunate my balling didn't move, but that guy's just dead. I'm surprised you don't keep chasing. Are you scared of rumbles here or something? Or you get one shot? He's on one shot, you know? Like, you have nah, I thought he was going to loop around. But... What flash, sorry. I guess so, but... I think you should, like, keep going around in a way. You know what I mean? Like, not this way. Like, towards bot. Because if yeah, you think yeah, about yeah, it, like, where's towards... his escape? Yeah, towards Nautilus. <laughs> yeah. And if he, if he does some really smart shit where he's like, oh my god, she's going to go around here and I'm just going to loop around, you have a ward there, so. Yeah, I think I miss out on this kill because of it. Yeah, that feels really bad. Fun. Yeah. But other yeah. than that, I think... So, yeah, I don't know, bro. Like, there's, there's certain micro here that... Obviously, like, I'm watching this and I'm thinking... Yeah, you just get free damage in, and then I'm like, you know, the, that like spacing's really good, and I'm just like surprised you don't just like go after him. Like he doesn't have ult. You know what I mean? I just think like, yeah, just yeah. why not? Like you're not losing anything here. Like if you're scared of Nort or something, like he's occupied already. Um, even back here, like you can see your bot lane has like prior. Like Nautilus is moving here, right? So your bot lane's gonna have like prior, <coughs> or should do anyway, unless they're fucking trolling. See, I don't know, man. And also Rumble's top, you know? Because he was doing grubs. Yeah. So it's the same thing, like, you know Rumble's top. Like, whenever these players make plays, you do, like, the jungler is fucking inactive the whole time. So you should always be, like, the plus one here, in a way. Like, the difference. 
Yeah, I think there's like a few kills you missed out on, man. Just in terms of like, um, how do you put it? I don't, I don't know like what the easiest way for me to like put it is, but just knowing the future based on like cooldowns, summoner spells and all that, right? And maybe like uh, numbers. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, basing is good. Never mind, you stay. Tell me why you stay here. Uh, where is it? Here. Oh, because I know I'm right next to my raptors and bread. So I was like, okay, I'm just going to stay. Because if I base, doesn't make sense for me to run back. And also, our next play has to be bot tower. So I want to be bot side. Don't okay. Really care about the so I would say, bro, yeah, I completely agree. The bot tower, like, rift tower, who gives a shit. But I would say, um, like, even though you're not going to get Krugs, right? You basing after this means at least you're going red raptors towards bot. If you recall, like, if you think about this, Yuzuki, right? If you recall after doing raptors and red, you're naturally pathing top, funnily enough. Because when you run bot, and let's just say, like, you know, a play happens or whatever, or if it doesn't happen, that's the worst thing. In 45 seconds time, like, let's just say, you know, when you're bot, you're Grom spawning, then you're Wolves spawn, and you're getting pushed towards or away from that tower, right? Whereas you want to be going towards it, yeah? Yeah. So this is something um, Duane all did in that fucking Brazil shit, I remember. He, um, like, he, the same thing, right? He wanted to play for this tower, so his blue team wants to play for this tower, and he had all his camps up, like, the four anyway, so Krugs, Raptors, Wolves, and Gromp, and he just full cleared like this, and then he just ran to bot. And if, a, if something doesn't happen that, like, didn't happen in that game, he has to come back to Krugs and then Raptors, and then you see Wolves spawn, and you're like, oh, shit, I'm actually moving away. So after his Krugs and Raptors, he should just base and go Gromp Wolves to bot. Or maybe even, like, leave these camps up, right? Yeah. Yeah, so, like, same thing here. Like, you should just recall here and then just go Red Raptors and towards bot. I guess yeah? the thing is with that, though, if you think about it, if I don't channel my recall here and I do raptors in red that's like let's say 20 seconds of my time whereas if i recall here and then run back to my top side so recall is eight seconds then running back top side is about like 15 20 mm -hmm. whereas if i just don't channel my recall here i kill the raptors in red and then insta base that's like 30 seconds so it'll be 14 minutes and then i run back to bot side that's 14 30 but if i base uh where i did mm -hmm. and then go to red raptors i'll be bot side maybe like 14 45 that's 15 seconds later actually yeah i completely understand i don't even think like like i begin to think man like when i watch stuff and sometimes like play or whatever that like this type of pathing is so um the Duana one is, is 10 times worse than this. Like, I don't even think, like, this is really bad. You're doing Raptors and Red. Because the funny thing is, yeah, like, you're going to miss Krugs no matter what. So it's not like you're getting your whole top side or whatever after recalling. Um, and, yeah, you're right. Like, because you, you're so close to Raptors anyway. But I just want you to know that, Yuzuki, you know? And, like, you are basing to attack or defend something. So if you're like, right, I just want to get rid of Raptors and Red here, like, ASAP. So I can, like, make any play bot without losing shit then I still think it's fine, right? Like, you're going to have a window to make something happen, bot, but there will be situations where, like, like that Duane or, like, um, example, where it's really bad to, like... I gotta see that example. I, I haven't seen it, honestly, but... I did some review, fucking, I might find it for you after, but, yeah. But, yeah, look, see? I'm here, 14, <coughs> 20, actually. A bit earlier. And then here, I do my camp, because we don't have a wave to play on yet. Yeah, of course. Yeah, but from here, we just win the game after we dive. They're just trolling. Yeah, because North's probably top right, and they might show. Yeah, so he shows on Rift Herald. Let's go. Yeah, this is great, bro. Like, everything. Oh, my goodness, FF. Yeah, that Q is. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine, though. Kill Trina, man. Yeah, it's yeah, great. Perfect. And then I translated mid. You can skip through this. Yeah, <coughs> yeah it was briefing. <coughs> yeah. Nice. Sorry, coffee. All right, so uh, if you don't mind, I want to show you this Kanavi Kendra game. Yeah, let's do it. You have... All right. Are you happy with this though? You, like, does all this make sense? Like... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I I see a lot of my mistakes early, which is what I want to review. Like the first fifteen minutes, which is good. Yeah, cool.
Because, like, I think uh, reviewing with someone else is the bias, which is good. I just. What do you say? Sorry, reviewing happen. with someone else. It removes the bias. Like, you see your oh, mistakes yeah. more clear. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I, I never, like, think, all right, Suzuki, let me fucking, you know, really go hard, or it's someone else. I just think, like, if I'm playing Kindred here, or if I, like, just look at this, yeah, it's yeah. like I'm just talking to myself. I don't really... All right, look at this. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Oh, you're sharing shit one sec. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here he is. So, so here is level one. I think they're level one stronger. <laughs> they have a Mordecai's here. Wait, hold on. Games like this, man, I don't know if I actually like too much because they're just like, it's kind of a rare game. We can watch it, but like with Nidley like dead here and now she's a lot slower. He gets the kill, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's kind of, uh... but <coughs> his lanes, like Ezreal, Leona, Jinx, Karner, uh, it's kind of strong. But yeah, Jinx snowballs harder, right? So he passed bot. Yeah, of course. Oh, but then he does a level 2, which I found interesting. There's more flash, like at level 1. It's the so. only reason you'd ever do that. Let's see. Does he flash? Yeah, no, it's just a no. scan, alright? Yeah, no, he didn't flash. Okay. Yeah, no, he didn't flash. Yeah, there's no way Let's this see. fucking works. Never mind, it works. Well done, Maud. No, it doesn't work, I was right. What a fucking troll. Right, next game. <laughs> <laughs> so I feel like this is good to look at, because the early game is fuck. Like, he showed himself. I, I just, see, games like this, Yuzuki, where there's like a level one, it's not flip, right? Because they probably know they win, you know, the, the level one. But yeah, it, it really makes I, the I, game I, I, unorthodox or yeah, like unpredictable. And um, yeah, it's not, I don't like showing like if if I was to show a student this or if like I was watching another coach show a student this and like you know oh this game is so good to look at, I'd be like this is gonna happen in like one in fucking a hundred games, you know? Yeah, yeah. Um, but like basic stuff like him ganking more when he has flash is just super fucking troll. I don't know why he doesn't. Okay, but well, here how. Like, I was wondering why didn't he go to Rafters? Because we know. I'm wondering why he ganked mid, by the way. Why did he gank mid when he knows Nid's too? Oh, yeah. Oh, that yeah, just yeah, looks so fucking risky. This it's is like a Zim terrible mid, play. man. It's not even LeBlanc or fucking. Oh my god. Yeah, it's just terrible. It looks like he's tilted. He's lost like two games in a row. And um, yeah. this is it. This yeah. is the final one <laughs> before he gets yeah. off. But yeah, don't you think it makes more sense? Actually, he started pathing the Raptors and then he just moves to Wolves. For some um, I don't think he ever loses Raptors, right? So he's probably just thinking as far as like can If he full clears bot, then he can go Raptors Krugs maybe. Wait, really? Why Why wouldn't he lose uh, Raptors here? Because I don't think, I don't think that Nidalee is ever going to do it. Wasn't she like low after that fight or something? I don't even know. Maybe no. not. No, she can definitely take it. She can, yeah, if okay, she's yeah, good, you can take it and just go back to her jungle. <laughs> yeah, I agree with this. Yeah, and, and Azir can TP back. Yeah, you're completely right. So maybe I'll go to my Raptors here. But then it kind of works out because the enemy bot lane ends. Yeah, I mean, like, this This is like, you know, fucking... If the enemy bot lane runs it down and this happens, like, he's not making this decision usually, oh, because I know the bot lane's going to do this, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just so, the anti yeah, you're right. He should go to Raptors. If Azir doesn't have TP, he might even be able to, like, you know, just give them up or whatever, but... Yeah, he's definitely tilted. I mean... Yeah, he's hard tilted this game. I think this is a shit game to watch. I'm not having a go at you, yeah. by the way. I'm just saying, like, it's, um... It, it just looks like he's fucking playing so tilted. <laughs> yeah, no. Oh. It's hard to, like, take stuff away from it. Like, that level 2 gank just... I don't even know. Like, the Mordekaiser trolled trolled him last game, oh, and now he wants to punish him. Yeah, totally. I think this one was, but well, also Graves invades. This is also kind of shit too, I guess. <laughs> oh my god! So he dies level one because he fights him. <laughs> so the Graves he keeps takes chasing his him. Raptors. Graves takes his Raptors and then chases him, and he's tilted, so he goes in tilt fights. Yeah, I mean, yeah, games like this probably just um. Uh, 
Never mind, these games are not good actually. Yeah, no. Like, the, lots of um, lots of people ask me, bro, about games like this, and um, it's gonna be very rare, right? You verse. I sometimes think about that, by the way. Like, if people know that I'm gonna start red buff, I'm like, fuck, they might do something really cheeky and take my raptors and shit. But I'm like, you know what? Even if they do that, it's just so rare that I'm not gonna yeah. worry about it too much. Like, in most games, you wanna be good in most games, Yuzuki. Like, if we just start red and he starts at a buff for raptors, like, how do we jungle after that? Like your Actually, game, right? I think I think I know why I wanted to look at it. <laughs> it was for the lanes. Yeah. So, what's his win condition in this game? I mean, he has Jinx, Garner, Azir. Porky's stronger than Azir early. I don't know, bro. Yeah. Just Jinx. Yeah, win for Jinx. Like win cons, um, you see, like win cons, you don't have to think, um, I kind of get what you're saying, but lots of people will talk about this. Like, just think, man, the enemy champs are going to tell you what to do the entire game. And like a win con will show itself. You might be 5 and 0, or Kanabi in this game. You don't know. Jinx might be like 1 and 4 at like 10 minutes. Like, you have no idea what's going to happen, right? Um, yeah, so, yeah, you just listen to the enemy champs. Like, in your game, fucking Tarzan's saying, right, I'm half HP and I might run to your blue buff, and you just kill him for it, right? Or you should kill him anyway. Yeah. Um, you just listen to enemy champs, like they'll tell you what to do and if you become a win con, if someone else does, like that's, that's just how it is But do you agree? I, I don't know if I agree with him starting red here Uh, yeah, he should start blue Yeah, I think that's where he fucked up He can just ward red as well, like, because it, the funny thing is, like, in I think anyway, like, Korea, you'll see more shit like that where they, yeah. you know, like level two fucking run in there or or do some weird shit like that. Like I've seen fucking Hecarim players do it. They'll start like a Raptors or Wolves and then just run in <laughs> to the other side of the map. Or like the same side, but they'll just like vertical at level two, which is really weird. But it does happen like more often than people think. So yeah, he could start blue and ward red if he's really fucking, you know, if he thinks Graves is a lunatic. Um, they also have like a really good late invade bot, like with Ash. Yeah. <laughs> so that could I'm even happen here. His his lanes kind of suck. I'm thinking about it. I mean, their ball, his balling wants to poke. Their balling wants to all in. Yeah, I mean, Scarlet Ezreal just sounds kind of shitty. Yeah, um, but yeah, he should start top. You're absolutely right. He should just start blue, and he should ward his um ward his red, or the yeah. entrance maybe something like that. Okay. Yeah, yep. Kanavi's so kindred. It. You can also you can also watch Yuzuki like his other games. Like when he plays Nidley, that motherfucker is insane. Like barely makes a mistake. So I don't know if he's if nah, it's like a kindred thing, but I like watching Canyon. Canyon on Nidley is nice. Yeah, him as well though. Like he he plays like pretty much exactly the same. Like I can't really tell the difference between them. <laughs> but yeah, he's like unfortunately like the only kindred player really, so out of yeah. like the goats. Pretty much. Um but yeah bro, do you wanna go through like cause we probably have like another five, ten minutes and I think this next dude is like kinda late. So if you want, we yeah. can go through like another early game if quickly. One of yours yeah. or someone else's. Yeah, yeah, sure, sure. Let me see. Find one in my insights. Yeah, you're good, man. Oh, this this is not a bad game. I think. I yeah, can't let's remember go. if I curse. Probably did. I have mental block versus Kha'Zix. Yeah, the champion is um I mental block when he goes invis three times. Yeah, and then, like you said, like this weird shit low. Oh my god, it's Kanavi. <laughs> <laughs>
Ah, uh, this is why the game went bad. Like, I hate this stuff. So annoying. Yeah, you're just like, yeah, I don't know if this is good. I don't really want to. And then your team, like, fucking... I, think, I don't I think, think it ended good. up being good, because... Who flashed? I think Talia has to flash. Jace got a kill, though. He got a kill, but Talia has to flash, I think. I know, but Jace gets first blood, and... Wait, I don't even think she needs to flash. But... Maybe he gets tear now? FF? You got a longsword, not bad. Yeah, longsword's better, so he gets dark. Huh. Do I start right. red here? Yeah, what a lane. So you got Yas, Nord, and then you got Jace... Oh, wait, I mean, honestly, like, like you, the funny thing here is it, like you going top is actually probably not bad because Jace has no flash, right? And it's Camille. So you could think, look, my Jace has a long sword, right? And fucking, I guarantee you, like that guy, and look at bot lane, by the way, like ASOL Alice to have exhaust. What the fuck? You know what I mean? Like, yeah, I, I guarantee think... you, bro, that guy's gonna fucking path top when Jace has no. Even, even generally speaking here, you might even think about pathing top. I don't even think it's that bad, by the way. Like, even if Jace doesn't flash. Because bot lane looks so, like, chill. Not chill, because you have, like, a volatile like block, but they should be fine, right? But I don't think fucking Asol, Karzix, and Alistair is really that scary. And if you are scared, then you just ping them, right? I would be... I would probably care more about Jace dying. Yeah, that's true. I think weak sang Jace is troll this game, this way. <laughs> yeah, good, and you run straight top. Yeah, this looks good. Yeah, exactly, yeah. He ganks mid, Talia has to flash or something. Hang on, just go back. He's, you just go back. Okay, so why not go to the right here? Because your wave is going to be there for ages. There's cannon. So why not go to the right and trap her? I just thought I'm, I'm like super late here, but I could. I'm amazed you guys don't go for this as well. Like, even if she has um fucking hookshot, like, you get mark and stuff out of it. One for one. Yeah, yeah, no. no yeah, I'm amazed you don't go good. for this. Yeah, she should die here. Like, I should just walk right at her. Like, this is fine. This pathing is fine. Yeah, I think I'm so late. too. I'm late for the wave. If I wasn't late, then going around is perfect to trap her. But she's going to walk up for this no matter what. Just pull but it. I've seen it walk. Yeah, yeah. So the only thing I'd be thinking here, bro, is they're level 3, right? So I'm surprised she isn't level 3 already because, like, two melees are dead on third wave for her. So whether she, like, missed experience or something, like, maybe you could figure that out if Jace was zoning her like on, on wave one or two but um you know that cannon's gonna be three so you have to go like straight away here like third wave if she's not level three and the fucking cannon's you know not dead yet when it does die it has to be level three for it um so you just you just have to go bro like even if it's one for one you get a mark out of it and so here we go yeah yeah like the fa okay so like you see the fact that Jace dies here is kind of unreal to me like in 20 seconds time, like the Jace is dead. <laughs> yeah. You still have time to go to the right, by the way. It's just like what I was saying, like the cannon's going to die. That's the thing. The wave will still be there, but the cannon's going to die and, and there'll be three. Never mind. She just fucking trolls. Okay. Akali TP, let's go. Yeah, I mean... If we killed her, it would be really good for the game. She had a TP back. I don't think you die either, by the way. Die. But huh? when you dive, sorry. I don't think like you actually die, because you can like always Q or flash A. That's what you're thinking. Yeah, I don't think I die. I think I tank it, and I just flash out or something if I need to. Yeah, absolutely. No, so that happens. What happens to Mark? So he's 1 HP and has to run off. Yeah, nice. If you go here, Yuzuki, like, go, to, go through mid, because it's just quicker. Like, go through mid, and then you, like, go where Talia is, like, near that eyebrow, whatever the fuck that is. Like here? Like here? Yeah, exactly that, yeah. Okay. <coughs> oh my god. I'm wasting a lot of time here, but... Did he, what did he do? Like, Krugs, and now this is watered, so he jumps on you, is that right? Or am I tripping? Oh, so it looks like, there? it looks like he invaded me. Does right. he have your blue? Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, he did invade you, yeah, okay. And he just did your gromp. Yeah. What the fuck? And grubs are up. Oh, this is, this is old. Oh shit, yeah, okay, okay. The five yeah, minute grubs is... Easy. So yeah, like, maybe you can do like one grub though. Yeah, this is like a... Uh, last split. 
<laughs> yeah, okay. I mean, the only thing that changes, like, jungle's always going to be the same, even if you watch something from four years ago. But, um, yeah, it's just, yeah. like, grubs timers is the only difference. Yeah, but here I have to clear... I think you can do, like, one grub before you touch any of your camps. You're just thinking, like, if I do more than that, I'm going to lose raptors and krogs. So, like, when, when Akali fucks off, if you could do... Let's just say it's six minutes, right? And it's, like, this patch yeah. or whatever. I think you just do one grub, and then you might even have to, like, um... You could always ask... Like, I would just ask middle support to ward raptors. And I guarantee you yeah. that Karzix will run in there and fucking show, and you guys will kill him or collapse. Yeah. 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 Like, that's all you should be thinking about there. Just, like, your raptors. I think here, though... Okay, so he's mid, yeah. so you are finished clearing. He goes mid. And his he... Side, I know his bot side is up. But he's walking to it now. Yeah, Maybe he I does have Dirk. But I take the... The crow. Now I'm just overseeing at this point. Oh my god, yeah, you should just recall and run to his, um, grubs. Or run to grubs. What the fuck is going... <laughs> he's doing his bot this game. <laughs> Yeah, why is he top? I don't know. Yeah, I agree with that. No, oh, first mistake, I should have dove instantly. Yep. Uh, second one was not insta basic. Mm hmm. This is fine. I think I end up giving my red because my team is late. You have Kraken though, right? So is Nord there? Like, oh, what's his face? Um, Alistair? Alistair yeah, Alistair yeah, moves. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, okay, fair enough. Okay, so just go back. Just go back, 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 back. Who is their car, by the way? He looks like half decent. I, I don't, I can't remember who he is. <laughs> Good yeah. soul keep playing. So I think like after Raptors, because you've just like lost Red Buff for free, like what about hitting his Raptors and his top side? So what I do here is do Raptors, you're saying? Yeah, go to his top side. Because like now you're going to isolate yourself with Krugs and it's like, well, maybe you can contest Dragon, but I don't think he ever does that, by the way. I think it's like somewhat troll when Talia has like push and ult. Um... So I think like he should actually just go to his top side. Yeah, I think this game golden XP matters a lot more than this dragon. Yeah, I mean, in any dragon though, you see, like I don't think this Drake fucking is gonna like change it. Like in terms of um, sometimes probably like jungle camps, right, will just dictate what you do. It doesn't even fucking matter what's happening in a lane or anything like that, right? Like you losing red buff there for nothing, right? It's just important to you. So you've got to think like, right, in terms of jungle, like, what do I have to do here? It's like, counter that. And it has to be like his top side and you've got mid prime and stuff, right? Yeah. So, it, like, it doesn't really matter what anyone else is doing there. Like, look, guys, I've just been some, like, what you do is fine. And if he invades your red, it's whatever. But you have to know, like, the counter to that is saying, look, I just kind of got diffed because my red buff got taken. I need to diff him back in a way. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, because otherwise, like, if you do any, if you just farm your camps, you're still, you've still been diffed. Like, that diff is still there, right? Because you're not, like, reacting to him. Yeah. Well, let's say I did do that, okay? Mm -hmm. Let's say I go to Raptors here. Mm -hmm. If I do, if I did do that, maybe, I, I could have been here, actually. Yeah, I don't know that though, right? Like, of course, like, that's true in this game, but like, like Kanavi, um, uh, Yuzuki, like, going to his wolf camp, right, and there's a fight bot. Like, it works out in the end, but I don't know he's going to do that, right? I'm expecting him just to, like, farm his camps and away towards topside. Yeah? So it goes without saying, bro, like, if you're pathing towards a camp and the Kha'Zix ganks or enemy jungle ganks or enemy support makes a play and you can react to it, of course, just do it, right? But in terms of jungle camps, like, you have to have that foundation. Like, if nothing happens, I'm moving to the right place here. Yeah? Like, his Raptors. Does that so make sense? After these two plates, yeah, yeah. After <laughs> these two plates, should I just base? What'd you like, do? Okay, just... sorry. Like, when I, when I, like, have a rant, I fucking forget, like, what I'm actually watching. So what happened? Yeah, you yeah. killed bot? So we, we killed bot here. after dra We took dragon and we killed bot. So it's actually, like... Why are you hezzing? Go back again.
I'm just trying to think like how you got in this position. So they start fighting, do they? So Akali ults, so they get a kill mid. Sorry, I just got to like full work it out. Yeah, yeah. So he ganks mid. And you try to 3v2 bot. I mean, honestly, man, if I were you, I would never touch this. Um, I would just be doing like Krugs Raptors. Just because you're in that position, right? Like you run past your Krugs and I'm guessing shit's warded bot, even though you have like Nord 6. Does that make sense? And like after your Raptors, maybe you can run at him afterwards because Talia has like TP and ult. Um, so I don't even know if I'd be here, bro. Honestly. Let me, let me try to reason why. But yeah, here, here Yuzuki, like, I'm definitely running towards his Raptors. And you got a good top as well. Like, your lanes are so nice here if you just, like, run into his top side. And if you split the map, they're never gonna dive your bot. It's a fucking A-Soul with TP. Yeah, I agree. I'm just trying to figure out why I just run straight here. You're probably just thinking, I've got Nort, um, what is it, Nort, Yasuva, and you've got a 3v2, right? Like, when you oh. see Car go mid. I see my support is sweeper <coughs> and Alistar has no words left, so if he sweeps, and then do dragon. But it looks like you just like, okay, so like, just pause it for me. Because it looks like, I don't even know if the Nort swept, but if he knows like you're doing this, right, you're just going to lose your top camps, especially when Talia dies. Yeah. You get me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I think, I think same thing, bro, like in terms of jungle here, even if something works out, like let's just say you don't get any kills bot and you just get dragon, like you're trading good level walls and gromp for like drag which basically means like you're getting there's there's too big of a difference now between you and car which means like next dragon he's going to be stronger again does that make sense like people think like oh this dragon yeah i'm getting it but it's like the next one he's going to be really fucking fed and like a level ahead that's what people like don't understand it's like oh yeah yeah i'm getting a dragon and i'm losing my whole top side but you know we get dragon i'm like fucking next dragon you're going to get absolutely pumped he's going to be so fed <laughs> yeah, base is good. Yeah, I don't know why you do this. Um, I think you need to stop watching Kanabi. <laughs> <laughs> Play Kendra, bro. Nah, I, didn't, I actually didn't watch him back then. <coughs> yeah, I actually don't know if there's any like perfect Kindred player, to be honest. I don't know like how good that Griffin guy is. I don't think he plays Kindred that much anymore. He's playing on T1 Amateur now. Yeah, I think I saw some something about it. <coughs> good on him. Good luck to him. Yeah, I don't know, bro. Like all this just looks like fucking, you know, there's just fights non-stop, so. Yeah. I guess what you're doing is is whatever. But um Skip past this. I mean, nothing happens. I mean, I think walking here is. But then as soon as he gets out, chasing is bad. I don't think so, because you have like Nort, yeah, Nort CC and whatever. Oh my god. Don't die. Oh, nice. Ooh. He actually lives. Wait, your champ is so broken with fucking marks. Yeah, four marks. Champ is broken. Yeah, I could just like feel the power when you're like hitting them. Yeah. Cool, that was smart. Yeah, I don't know, bro. Like all that, all that looks looks good, but it's just like you could be there with like gold spent, which is what you said. Yeah, I could have been the base, and then I don't know. I think I generally think after they're like in this frame, let's just go farm. If Nort's not there, I agree, but you do have a Nort. Yeah, that's true. Um, and I'm guessing maybe... they used, I'm guessing they used Hookshot and shit, and maybe Car jumps. So if he, if he like, okay, I guess she has Hookshot, but anything there though, Yuzuki, like you are going to deal damage. Like you are pretty fed, so whatever damage you deal, like might enable you to invade the car or dive the Camille afterwards. I think it's fine. Yeah, okay. I'm just thinking though, yeah. It's not like you're losing anything, like... Karzix is kind of there, and I don't really know what else you're going to do. Like, Grubs went up, I don't think, at the time. I guess there's red buff spawn, but that's about it. But you might get a free yep. chunk on Camille or, or Kar, so. The late invading Raptors just isn't good because they have, like, Ash and stuff, and they might 
protect. Yeah. So. All right, let's uh, about on. the Raptor start, yeah. uh, I most of the time I do like the blue invade level two, but uh, if I'm wanna if I wanted to like split the map or just I'm hundred percent sure that I can kill the enemy jungler and I know he's on blue, I would do that. Yeah, Talons are probably always gonna. St well, I'm not gonna say always, but lots of the time they're gonna start Raptors, right? Um, and yeah, if you see yeah, the yeah. map top here, like it's for TP Camille, it's not um. You know, I don't think it's that. It's not like you have Darius or Riven with Ignite or something like that. Yeah. yeah. Okay, yes, yes, yes. Oh my god, was bot lane already GG? The Jinx had to recall. Yeah, they made it. Jinx didn't buy item. I told her that you didn't have item. Oh my god, bro. It is amazing, eh? Like, this is top... Whatever percent but of players. that's not the sad part. The sad part is they won the lane, even through that. <laughs> and somehow we lost the game. That's the sad part. Okay, nice. Oh, what are you doing? I was here? thinking what, about what, what, the, what are you thinking here? Uh, I was thinking because the enemy uh, bot lane is like in a really good position to gank, and I saw the minimap that they have no ward. I was hundred percent sure they have no ward. And I saw the opportunity to gank because the, uh, the Ash is yep. really low HP and Soraka have no silence. If she has silence, she have no Q. So basically <laughs> one of them. And it's free to gank, but uh, I'm, I'm sure that we got a kill here. I'm not 100% sure, but I think we got a kill here. Okay. Um, I think this is really bad to gank. And if I was Talon... And I see you ganking bot, like, I would just ping this, right? Because it's literally the only lane you can gank. And I know you're a level 3 yeah. Belveth. And I'm going to be thinking, right, this Belveth is going to want to, like, you know, make plays early game. Because their level 3 is really good. So, if I saw my bot lane pushed up here, I would expect them, honestly, to probably be able to 2v3. Because Jinx had to recall. And the Seraphine's, like, really low. And also here, whereas, like, you're ganking flash, two flashes in a massive minion wave and i honestly think they'll kill you like good bot lanes here will actually be happy getting ganked because there's such a massive diff between these four players right at the moment like your bot lane is fucked like look so if she gets anywhere close to like ash and gets auto attack months or soraka even q like it's so difficult for these to help you right so you're going to be fighting yeah. for some like how do i put it like you're going to be fighting four cooldowns probably on your own in a minion wave that's how I yeah. think about it. So yes, all right, like they're pushed up and stuff, but I would actually like you to gank that lane if I'm Talon, because I don't think you get any kills, and I'm just going to... I'll be like three camps up on you, or at least two camps. Does that make sense? Like, if, if yeah, it's yeah, the yeah. same, whereas like they're, you know, half HP, and, you know, you guys are level two, I, I agree. Like, I think your ganking bot is actually good. You might have to be careful in other games, because they might just expect you to do this. So champions like Lee Sin and Xin Zhao, they might just wait here for you to do that. And if you don't show, they'll yeah. just dive. So things like that will happen, right? Um, but I just think like right. you actually ganking that lane, it's like you're just ganking it because they're pushed up rather than I would much rather dive a lane that's like this HP with no summoners than gank a lane that's pushed up and they have everything, you know, like available to them. It's really hard to kill any of them. But like, that's what I think. Okay. <laughs> Um, so I don't really care like what happens here like the result and also here like fucking if they stand up and just zone your bot lane like it's even worse um, Yeah, like they'll still be level one when you're ganking and it's like right. This is really fun But the fact your jinx is able to like auto attack minions here is kind of crazy but still and Same thing here. I had this in a game yesterday one of the guys I was coaching like same elo probably What do you think their bot lane should do here? <clears throat> uh, basically, Ash can just run, hug the bottom side of the lane and run. And Soraka can basically just zone me from getting to her and I cannot just, just touch her. Right. Okay. The other option, which is 10 times better, is they stay here and they run forward with the wave. Because so, your bot uh, they has to fight run back and the then minion. they isolate you. Because if your bot oh, lane okay. ever runs forward, right, they are fucked. Like, look at that. There's such a... So this is what I'm saying, Pyra, is like, there's such a big difference in this 2v2 that you're not strong enough, I don't think, against this as well to make up for that difference. 
Level one? Yeah. Level two, no HP, and it's a Seraphine as well. It's not like you have naught with Ignite, where even if he is low HP, just land a hook and it might be good for you. But even then, right, like you'd never even gank a naught lane here. Like, that's what I'm saying. I would not even gank this lane if it was Callista Pike, you know, because if Callista's had to recall and she's going to be level one when you're fighting, like, how useless is that? So I think you should just hard lose this and get 2v3'd. Okay, so in so the higher elos, like in Challenger, way. it's not possible. Yeah, exactly right. But even here, like, if they're going to run off, she can just pop heal and she doesn't even hit you, man. She doesn't even, like, Q you or anything, no? Oh, yeah. maybe she did. She just used it and she missed. Oh, sorry. Yeah, I was fucking daydreaming. I think she missed it. I'm but not even, sure. Because even the Ash, she used even, it very even early. Their, even their AD carry, like, doesn't even hit you here. Yeah, like, they don't. She can hit you and she can flash your W. And even if she flashes, like, this lane is still so fucked because of Seraphine's HP. Like, the lane is still over. So if, the, if you go for a W, right, and she flashes and just keeps hitting you, what, like, what do you do? What do you actually do? Like, nothing. So she should actually just hit you here regardless. See, so yeah, if I was coaching their bot lane, Juarez, like you're gonna you're gonna have um, a lot of trouble, you know, killing these players. Yeah, like the fact that you see like yeah. how close that is to them living, and they played it as bad yeah. as that as well, and it's still really close. If they play that good, you guys are all gonna die. Like just trust me. Hopefully you can see that. Yeah, yeah, it's uh last season I ended up like on 520 LP and the games are in GM, GM lobby, GM challenger. I wouldn't yeah. do that. I just lost my mental in this ELO. I don't know why I cannot get back to at least 400 LP. It's just the games are really coin flip and you have to just go with the flow. Uh, <laughs> that is one option. You can go with the flow, but you shouldn't. Like, you should just. Like, the. What's like the best mental to have? Like all my mental as far as like if I jump on, right? And I haven't played like recently, I hadn't played for like three weeks, right? Because I had COVID and shit and felt like AIDS. And then I jump on and like just fucking win in 15 minutes, like most of the games I play. It's not because like, you know, I'm not really warmed up or anything and it feels weird playing. But all I do going into a game is I just listen to the enemy champions. So the Ash and Soraka, they were saying, look, if, if you gank us, you know, like we've got a massive wave. We've got a big level advantage. Your Seraphine's 1 HP. We've got some of the spells, if I didn't say that already. What are you going to do? That's what, like, they're telling me in my head. And I'm like, yeah, you're right. I'm fucking not ganking this. Yeah? Like, that's all it is, yeah. man. Um, so, yeah, if you if you know the future, like, it's not like, right, I'm just going to go bot and, yeah, I'd, if you can say there, Juarez, right, I go bot here and I know for a fact, I know for a fact that if I go bot, and, you know, use my spells and use my time. I'm going to get gold out of this, so we're going to kill them. That's what you need to get to, bro. Because I even think there, like, maybe, you know, like, me pointing out the stuff helped. But I think now in hindsight, you can see, like, I think that works one in ten games. And you might do this the... in other games, and it doesn't work. And you'll be like, wait, what? But it works in this game, so you're going to do it again, right? In that same maybe, yeah. situation or similar. And yeah, you're gonna lose, and you'll be like, "Wait, what? I thought that was good." And it, you like, it's hard to make sense of it. So the correct mentality in here is just clear my blue side and cover for dives, so talent doesn't dive them by any chance. And if I see that, I just recall and reset and do it again, top to what. Yeah, basically, the other option you have is what here because you got double prior, so you should know that Talon is gonna start Raptors. I mean, the funny thing yeah. is, though, I've seen Talon start blue. So again, like, I still think you would probably need a ward here, Juarez. Like, if you're Oriana wards and you know he started bot side, like, what's the other option you have? So, after red, what could you do? So you go like that, or... Possibly invade? Yeah, exactly. Like, you could invade his top side because you got double prior. <laughs> yeah, because I'm, I'm way stronger than Talon in early game, and he yeah. doesn't have ignite. Mm-hmm. Yep, exactly right. And you got double prior, right? So it should be really good. Yeah. Anyway, let's continue. Yeah, so, like, if you just got an assist there, bro, if I'm Talon and Ashi, I'm actually, like, happy. Seriously. <coughs> um, all right. Whereas I want you to tell me, this is, like, the most important question I'm going to ask, and it's going to sound like, so fucking trivial, like not important, but trust me. What are you thinking about here? 
so when you're when you've just killed their bot lane right and it's now 320 yeah and you're hitting blue buff and you've got gromp you've got wolves you've got crab as well you tell me what you're thinking about uh so if i full clear which i did like the whole blue side i'm around like 30 to 40 seconds behind in tempo and he can just take my raptor or just full clear mm -hmm. to recall into my raptor with item and he's faster right okay very good so right excellent yeah because all i'm thinking about here is like this crab is a bait so i'm with you i would do this and probably just go to my raptors yeah yeah so i'll just do this and then into raptors and you can always like if your mid laner has a ward to ward it or whatever it's always like helpful but yeah yeah i'm with you very good so if you go to crab here it's i mean bro if you go bot lane here like look at them Yeah, this, some games are really troll. Like, you have no flash as well. Like, oh man, you are you are going to die here. And and by the way, if they know you're here, which apparently they do because it's... Oh, it's not even watered, sorry. But like, someone pinged you, so I just wanted to check, like, if they moved off the wave. But remember, like, if you do anything bot here, Juarez, like, it's still bad. Like, even if they're killable, by the way, I'm saying, like, you never do this. So even if you could kill the Ashen Soraka, I would never, ever, like, go bot. Because what did we talk about? Like, what are you going to lose? So basically, map control. I lose the map control and he has my top side jungle. He can just control the entire map. Yeah, exactly right. Like, you're going to lose level 4 Raptors and level 4 Cruds. And even if you got a kill, you're down experience and probably still down gold, by the way. Because he'll have more camps than you. Especially in the next, like, 60 seconds. If he can, like, protect his Raptors. Like, you've got nothing to do, bro. Like, nothing to do. <laughs> Can you say that? Yeah, that's no, true. Yeah. Yeah, so just after Gromp, man, like this crab is a massive bait. Just go walls, just go raptors. Even if he bases and does that thing where, like, you know, they clear and they recall two long swords and run here, bro, who fucking cares? Like, your Oriana's there, like, you'll just push him off, you know? Like, it's flippy for him to do that. That's what I think, anyway. I think that invade is actually, like, kind of troll. Um, anyway. Yeah, does that make sense? All yeah, that? Th yeah, that makes sense because in these oh, games, like, kill. I really lose my focus because my teammates are just making random decisions and not listening to my pings. I don't know why, but sometimes I lose my temper <laughs> and make shitty decisions. Uh -huh. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, like, you should probably accept that your bot lane is fucked because the Seraphine was 1 HP, like, you know, at level 1, and your Jinx didn't have items. So all I'm saying, Juarez, is like... Or just expect the worst to happen, yeah? Like, they're human beings, and they're not doing that intentionally. Even though it looks really troll, and it is, they're not doing that intentionally. So, like, sometimes, man, I actually forget to buy items. Like, seriously. I run out of base, and someone will type Shaco items. I'll be like, oh, my fucking God, what am I doing? And all of a sudden, like, my early game is actually slower because of it. But I, I didn't do it intentionally to tilt anyone, right? Yeah. Anyway, yeah, we talked about this, so you should be, like, finishing this. Or like, you know, yeah, exactly. and going here. Um, same thing as well. Not same thing. I don't know why I said that, but like, you know, he's top side here, Juarez. So just like ping top, right? Yeah, that's the that's the one issue that I have. That my communication via ping is really bad. I don't know why. I ping them that they are here, but I heard that some content creators tell that oh you have to God. annoy your laners in order to just them um, listen. Wait, 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 say it again. I, Some content do creators that. say what? They say that if you you're, you want to your laner to listen to your ping, you have to annoy them with ping just to listen. But I oh, think right, that okay. that's not true. Um, yeah, most people like... I don't want to say like a percentage, but a very high percentage of people. Let's just, let's just say 95% of players, right? They queue up to win. And there might be some players yeah. who are just going to fucking run it down no matter what. And those games you just accept. Like, even if you play perfect, you're probably going to lose, whatever. But most people, man, play to win. And they're going to say, like, laning is intense for us, right? So laning, if I, like, coach someone, it's very fucking intensive in, in terms of micro, tracking cooldowns, positioning, spacing, all of that stuff, yeah? Um, yeah? So when you have a jungler who's pinging you, look, the enemy jungler might be here, just care. They'll be like, oh, okay, no worries, thank you. I wasn't actually really thinking about it. And you've played enough games, man, in this ELO where you know that for a fact that laners don't think about jungle and track. So yeah, when you're don't. actually one of the few junglers who pings, first of all, it shows that you care about winning. And you're also like, you know, 
you also care about like helping them type thing so they'll respond like you know more actively i guess to it and if you ping juarez and they still run it down and they still die then whatever you shouldn't be tilted at all like you did all you could and if they're still going to make that decision no worries all right that yeah. makes sense but you've got to want to man like you've got to want to put this guy like in the dirt like if you can think if you can say after the game this guy was in zero kills he literally could not do fucking anything i just like every time he showed on the minimap i took his camps i punished him i killed him and you know he's like zero and six in the opgg you've got to want to make this guy retire from playing jungle if you don't have that mindset right if you're not thinking about talon there is no way you are going to diff him if you try to diff someone you give yourself a chance to actually do it right if you're just thinking, yeah. oh yeah, I'm just gonna, you know, play for my laners and stuff like this, you know, this jungle matchup, I can never do anything to him, you're already fucked. Like, you've gotta wanna destroy this guy, which is like, the first question is, can I late invade his Raptors? You can't in this game? Okay, so what else do we have? Well, level three, you know, what can we do? Can we do this? Yeah, you can honestly probably do that, but you didn't actually know 100% where he started. So maybe it's a little bit burger flippy. All right, whatever. Well, can I gank mid? Can I gank bot? I don't think you can do any of those. So, all right, I've got to farm my walls, but trust me Juarez these junglers man because you're not in fucking like high challenger are gonna make mistakes this guy will like gank a lane like you did and die or he'll you know like gank top lane at four minutes and you just take his raptors stuff like that happens all the time bro you don't have to win a game at level one two three okay okay like i played a game um yes. it was in that youtube video i did where i'm playing graves and i literally had like i think i had 68 cs to the enemy jungler's like 58 and I was zero zero two, right? And he was like fucking two two one. I think I killed him like a couple of, or like we killed him a couple of times, like invading my jungle. And afterwards, just because I had like taken his camps when he was making so many plays in terms of ganking, just like leaving counterplay, I think this went to like 90 CS and he had like maybe mid 60s. Yeah. So in that yeah. game, it happened really late for me. In other games, it's going to happen at level one, maybe it is Raptors. In other games, it might happen, yeah, like when these guys are actually killable. Okay, but that's gonna be your mindset, all right? Yeah, that actually happened to me once. Like I was playing versus the like <laughs> 70, 100, 70, 50, mm -hmm. 70 something. Yeah, he was GM and he was really bad. But I made that mistake. He was really ahead in CS and I couldn't do anything. He was Kazix, I was Velvet. Mm -hmm. But I crushed him in early game. But in a mid game, he was so ahead of me. Mm -hmm. And that was the moment that I was, okay, uh, I have to balance uh, taking camps and ganking. So if I want to make a gank works, I can escape a camp, but not my whole side. <coughs> yes. Yeah, exactly right. Um, I'm just thinking here, like Olaf obviously wards. Um, so... I just want you to gank this lane while as like knowing that you can kill this person. He won't hit level six, by the way. So do you know like level six timers for solo laners? Uh, it's uh, basically I know it by the XP I get, or not not the exact timer. Something between five twenty to five thirty five something, if I'm not wrong. So it will be the five thirty cannon wave. So normally around like five forty, five forty five or something, they'll hit level six. So this wave is the one before that, so he'll still be level 5, yeah? Yeah, I actually ganked this lane because the Camille was telling me he's free and I agreed with him. And I ganked him. Even though he has a ward, I think, he warded the tribush, but it doesn't matter, he's so far ahead. Yeah, I, I agree. I actually think ganking this, even though um, he's warded, is fine because he's so pushed up, right? And you actually do have, like, yeah, lockdown yeah. down with Camille. So just remember, like, if he has flash or ghost, if he has ghost, by the way, you never kill him. So please, like, you know, if you were to tell me, look, he's like, I know he used Ghost earlier. Like, maybe she pinged it or something. Obviously, I'm skipping through the game. So, um, you know, because I want to get through as much as possible. But you have to know that, Juarez. I don't even know if this person is pinged. So if she's pinging, no, just either. ask, like, yeah, just ask, like, sums while you're doing Krugs. Like, you don't need to micro Krugs, right? Because you're probably basing afterwards. Yeah. But just in case you can kill top, ask, sums. And then she'll ping Ghost and you'll be like, oh, shit. Okay, well, he's really pushed up. Even if that's warded, I can just go all the way around. And he's never going to escape. <coughs> oh my fucking god. Yeah, that's exactly what I said when I saw this. Right. Yeah, okay, right. That, that you can tilt because I'm tilted, alright? You can tilt at that a little bit. That's fine. 
Yeah, but Camille played really well. Like, she tanked a lot of ganks from Talon that we traded objective from it, and it was really fine. I've got to think about this. I need to think about this. Sorry, Hwara, I've got to work this out in my head. Yeah, it's alright. Alright, so that's like six minutes. Alright, so I'm just thinking about your bot timers, that's all. So Grom's at like six minutes. I even think, by the way, like, you going to Grub's out of base is good. Like, it's great to go up. Yeah. I think so. And you might be like, what the fuck? But afterwards, you can just run all the way down here. And it looks like, oh my god, that's 20 seconds. Bro, like, I think it's very difficult for Talon, unless that's warded, to invade your Gromp. I reckon this guy will go like this, right? And he's going to see a Camille, uh, Belveth there with a Camille who's winning. Yeah? Yeah. And you've got Oriolt as well, which should be more useful than, like, Zeras stuff in, in terms of, like, fighting and, and all that. So I actually think here out of base, you can just, like, run straight to Grubs. Can you say that? Yeah, yeah. Because he won't know you're doing them, whereas until he's there. And at that point, he can't go like that and counterplay. Yeah, by that time, I take at least two of it because Belvis is really good at taking grubs. Yep, exactly right. He just hurts it. And I'm also guessing this guy, if he is at grubs, um, like you still do well because you're Belvis. And if he's not at grubs, he's probably just running down here again, yeah? To re-clear his bot side. Yeah. So if you don't see him at Grubs, you immediately ping. Yeah, see what I mean? Like, you immediately ping bot. Right, he's not on Grubs, but this is also, like, the other argument. If he is doing Grubs here, there's no guarantee, like, you get kills here, right? Like, if this shit is warded, and he should be pinging, by the way. Like, there's no way he should not be pinging here. And their bot lane will just run off, right? And they've already done that in this game, by the way. So he knows you're basing here, yeah? Because you show against the Olaf, and then you run in this brush. Yeah. Obviously, you're basing. So where's Belveth going to go? Well, she just finished her clear topside, clearly. So she's probably just going to run straight bot. So you should be getting pinged here as well, and their bot lane won't die, yeah? But my, my, my mindset right? was like, uh, is that he's going to do grubs. I'm pretty sure he's at grubs. I even uh, missing ping on it. That uh, <laughs> Are we 100% uh, sure that he's on grubs? And their bot has no sounds because they pinged it. Oh, he so it's here as three well. kills for me. Okay, yeah, it's free kills though, bro, like, if that shit isn't warded. That's what I think anyway. So I think you running out of base here and saying, look, I actually have free kills bot. I think it's like 100% if you were to do that. Because you just evade vision and there's no way they ever escape. If you run through here and that's warded. So all I'm saying, Juarez, is like, I want you to tell me if you know 100% if that's warded or not. That's all it is, right? No, I wasn't sure, 100%. Yeah, so, so that, that's like the main point here, right? If you have that control warded, right? Let's just say you had randomly both yeah. brushes control warded. Bro, like, I'm fine if you're going down here to gank that lane. But I'm saying, like, you shouldn't even be here for that. You should be bought because you're saying, look, he's going to get all three grubs, and he's got, let's just say he's got two really good lanes. He's going to get grubs here. I've got to take his bot camps. So, like, where you go is based on jungle camps, right? And you against this person. Yeah. It's not based on, I think I can kill bot lane out of base. Like, that's never the reason. You would just kill bot lane as, like, kind of an extension of this. Oh, look, I've taken his raptors. Oh, what the hell? That bot's killable. Let's go. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah, it makes sense. Yeah, so, like, when you're basing there, I just say to myself, look... My camps, even if they were up, I don't think Talon's ever going to be here. Um, and I'm never fucking giving this guy when I have... Well, I think I have prior mid. And I've got Camille, who's doing well as well, who hit level 6 very soon. Her ult's, like, insane with Oriol, right? So, R3v3, I think you just, like, hard win. <coughs> yeah. Okay, it makes sense. Yeah. yeah. So, I think you should just, like, run the grubs here. I know it's really awkward and stuff, but you're not going to lose anything, man. Like, if that Talon is on grubs, you push him off. If he's not on grubs, he doesn't even know you're here. So how can he do this? It's very difficult for him to do that, right? Yeah. And yeah, you even see him over here, so... Like, it would have actually been really good just to run there. So yeah, thankfully Juarez, their bot lane is killable, but it's not the reason to actually, like, be here on this side of the map. Okay, unlucky. Yeah, if I... If I didn't miss my W, I would kill them both, but... I just want you to like W when she auto attacks, that's all. 
Like this person actually auto attacks you. So if they auto attack, yeah, you, I have that's what I'm like double doing there. Yeah. Like that there. Don't don't worry about anything, bro. I know you've like queued or whatever, but you should just be pressing W like as soon as you say that shit. Yeah, you should get two kills, 100% though. So yeah, W on auto attacks, alright? Yeah, okay. Yeah, here it's kind of awkward because you might even have to wait for, um... He'll be like six because he's got so much CS. Oh, here he is, the Zerath. You saw him? Yeah, I just saw him right there. Yeah, look at that. Oh, he'll be so low. See, you see what I mean? Like, Ori, Camille. So that's where you should, like, like that's where I think you should be, Juarez, instead of Bob. Yeah, if I was there, I would take the grubs, <laughs> and if any fight broke out, they would come to help me. It was yep. really easy, yeah. And here, you should definitely take his Raptors. Like, this time here, because um, in this game, right, I don't think you've really seen him at all. Oh, no, he ganked mid, didn't he? He ganked mid at, like, four minutes. But yeah, afterwards, yeah. he's going to do his Raptors very soon, whether he bases and runs there or does them as part of that life. See, this is like the problem with me fucking skipping stuff. Let's see. Yeah, see, see what I mean? Like, he just runs off. Like this. Like, you yeah, know exactly. he's doing raptors here. So that means like 645 will be his raptors, right? He'll kill them in like 10, 15 seconds. So 215. So when we skip it to like 630, which is very close to his raptors, and you get the timer, which is good. Okay, Zara's here. Like, this movement is good in case he ease you, so that's good. And he just runs off. It's whatever. And here, whereas what I would have done is I would have clicked back just a little bit. So everyone will think, oh, you're just going to like your camps. But all of a sudden you come back in for Raptors, yeah? Because if you just run yeah. in a straight line, like they all might, well, not all might converge on you, but yeah, Zerath might actually wait in the brush for you instead of going mid, something like that. But yeah, you should definitely take these because Talon's dead for long enough. Mm-hmm, yep, I guess you just have to do this, yep, you have to do walls, yep, you have to do your raptors, yep. <coughs> hmm, Camille doesn't have all. I guess there won't be a wave there. Yeah, okay. Does that make sense to you, Juarez? Like, my thought process there? Like, if you go top now, yeah. there's not going to be a wave there. So, really, you're waiting for that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I have to work on that, the next wave that's coming up, if I want to gank Olaf. Yeah, like here, I but think after red, you should be looking to do like this, because I reckon this guy will stay. If he doesn't, then Camille just, like, shoves a wave, right? But I would be really close, like, to leaning towards here. So if he yeah, my like, thought he process was him. yeah yeah go on. my thought process was uh, the moment he went to the brush, I'm not sure he's recalling or mm -hmm. just a thing. I will do my golems until I see him. Yeah, that's fine. And I didn't see him. I just recalled. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's good as well. I'm just um like as how do I put it? Like when he's at this HP, and the lane is in this position here, right? He looks really killable. Yeah. But there's not going to be a wave. Yeah. There. He is. So let's just say that, you know, you finish Raptors there and there's a fresh cannon wave here. I think you just go straight top. Yeah, true. And yeah, you can see like how when you finish red buff, there is a fresh wave here. So I would be, yeah, you actually can't do it, right? You're absolutely right. So what you do here is good. I just want to know like, Juarez, if you were thinking about it, that's all. Well, you could think about it in your future games anyway. Yeah, yeah, it makes sense. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Talon's top, okay, yeah, leave blue, it's good, yeah. Okay, Botlin's killable, she's 1 HP. Yeah, you trust that to back off, yeah, that's all good. This was also like the thing, Whereas if you took his Raptors, it, let's say it would have been like 650, right? Yeah. His Raptors are going to spawn again. So you could just go like that again, and then back to drag. Yeah, I would take them both. Yep, so you'd, ha you'd have like two sets of his Raptors there, which doesn't sound like... You know, it's a lots of people, oh, who cares about that? But it's actually huge, right? Like, you know how it feels to take camps and, you know. Yeah, yeah. You know how, like, big that is, so. Who said the raptor is really big, yeah. Mm -hmm. Like, you're still getting dragon. Of course you are. But we can add something into it beforehand. Yeah. 
Oh my god, he's just randomly ganked mid lane with no ult. See what I mean? Whereas they'll always do weird shit, bro. They'll always do something really fucking weird. Yeah, that's why I, I at the start of the uh, coaching, I told you that he mm. was really bad, but I don't know how I didn't carry this game. Okay, let's keep watching. Yeah, I think this is fine. And after the right, you should know he's going to run here, yeah? Because he ganked your Camille, then he ganked your Oriana, and he's probably do, doing that, right? Because he's path top. Yeah. So True. this guy's probably going to go like Krugs or Raptors, just like you, Juarez, right? You went like, um, like your level three, four clear. You kind of did like blue, crab, grom pools, and then you popped up. Then level five, you tried to gank the Olaf, right? Yeah. So when you see him ganking top like that, he's obviously started down here. So when a little bit of time has passed again, he's going to come back here, right? So here, when you finish Raptors, like all I would be thinking about, unfortunately, I don't know your fucking gold. I might even reset the thing. But let me actually just do this. All I'm thinking about there, bro, is like your top side and grubs. Yeah, can you like envision that for me without looking at the minimap? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because grubs are up like very soon, and obviously he's gonna get mad when he sees his raptors taken. <laughs> he's gonna get mad at you. It's just around here, right? Let me actually just keep this open the entire time. The Eclipse Talon, fuck me. Yeah, so this this base I think is great. I'm guessing you have item as well, right? Kraken or whatever the fuck you're buying? Yeah, yeah I was perfect, thinking perfect. about the uh, the grubs and my item both at the same time. It was really huge power spike. The Kraken is really, really big. Yep. Um, let's just say far as the... <laughs> You're still going to base here, but I just want to like clarify that you're not really basing here for Kraken. And you might be like, what the fuck is this guy saying? What you're really basing here for is to be as strong as possible for that. Because that's what you're attacking here, right? You, you don't get... Yeah. Like, let me put it this way. Like, lots of people think like you recall to, to spend gold or to like regain HP. And of course those are true. But it's not ever the real reason in like high challenger like you are basing as a jungler because you are going to run at a resource and that timing just adds up like this timing here all right like you might be 10 seconds late yeah but you're still going to get there in time yeah. to stop him from doing all of them and if you fight with kraken and being a bell if i think like it's great right like the timing there looks great so like when you base it's just all about making sure that your timing resonates with that resource you're running at does that make sense yeah, you want to be 30 seconds uh, at your recall timer to be at your strongest for the objective. Yes. That makes sense, yeah. Yeah, so lots of times, like, you know, really early game, people might think, oh, you know, I could have bought, like, you know, two more long swords or something. But, you know, if you recall to buy two more long swords, like, are you actually using them? You could have just stayed on the map and just farmed your walls. So, like, if you're just going to farm your camps, what the fuck is the point of recalling, to be honest? You might as well stay on the minimap. So you're really recalling to defend or attack something this guy cares about so it'll be something probably in river right or on his side and sometimes far as it might be like defending your camps like let's just say you uh kill bot lane and you're like oh my god my top camps are going to respawn let me just recall in fog and run here and you'll catch him it doesn't really yeah, matter I, like, what I, item is you buy it just matters like if you're there on time yeah i actually learned that from uh, one of the canyon replays he just didn't take a free dragon it was basically free because everyone was dead sure the jungler was alive he recalled to defend his raptor because he was pretty sure that he's going to take it if he's not there <laughs> yep absolutely right like dragon adds 30 seconds you know to your yeah and if people think i even did a video on this it was um should i link it to you i'll link it to you actually um this was i don't know if you know who r freezy is but he's like an na Gray's player, um, no cap, best. <laughs> look at, look at this, Juarez, I've already YouTubed my video, what a beast. This video here, right, like, um, basically details what we're talking about, in terms of, like, recalling, yeah? Yeah. And I'll watch it as well. So, in this game, right, he kills bot, which is why he's 201, yeah? yeah so he's like fair yeah. and then he recalls and gets a noon quiver now he recalls and runs straight back bot leaving this up yeah 
Yeah, yeah, I'm listening. And I think he also does dragon at one point. There is an example of owner doing like exactly what you're saying. So I'm just going to show you again. Yeah, right. So what he does here, I think he might do dragon afterwards, but that's again when he's losing his top camps, you know? Don't know if you saw that. That might've been too quick. So like dragon's up and I think he clicked towards dragon and did dragon and Viego just has these camps, right? Or enemy jungle does. Yeah. So when I show this example from owner, it's like he gets three kills. Come on, Oceanic Internet, you can do this. Load that YouTube video, bro. So yeah, he gets two, like three kills there, right? Doesn't have to shove the next wave, but he's never going to hit Dragon here, Juarez, because look at Krogs. And Raptors, I'm guessing, are going to spawn soon as well, right? If he did them. Yeah, so yeah. This, is, this is his first base. Then he gets kills bought. Then he bases. And he runs to Krogs. And if you look at the minimap... Someone is pinging his Krugs. That's the enemy jungler, right? So Graves knows that he's never going to do Drake here because they're both got brains. Yeah? Yeah, it makes sense. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Jake can watch that. Drake in early yeah. game is really, like, time-consuming. It's not worth it. <laughs> if you take that, you're, like, you're really behind in the term of tempo and everything. Okay, so... You've got to be very careful when you say stuff like that, right? So I don't know if you just watched me coach um, Chasa, but he said that he listened to someone and they said, you know, objectives are really bad. You know, they like take so much time, which is kind of what you're saying, Juarez. Think about this game. You did a dragon and I said it was good. The reason you do a Drake is because you can get to your top camps again. If your top camps are spawning, right, in the next 30 seconds yeah. when you start hitting dragon, it's bad. Because you're giving up too much for just first Drake. Makes sense? Yeah, it makes sense. Because yeah. the time I did the Drake, it was basically my turn on a chessboard to make a move. And I had all my camps done. He was not near taking them. But they was not even spawning. And I could, I had a free time to take a Derek or make a play. So mm -hmm. Drake was the play. Yeah, very good. Uh... I don't know if you hit, no, you didn't have gold for a ward, did you? And talent, talent shows bot. All right, so in this situation here, when he shows bot, um, and Olaf, I think Olaf kills your Camille, right? So Olaf kills Camille, but he's obviously yeah. going to base here. And then you see Talon bot, right? Same thing here. Um, Juarez, like we even talked about it, right? You know Talon's going to go bot here. You took his Raptors. And he's going to go Krugs or Raptors yeah. here, right? So you should be pinging this area. I know it looks so obvious, bro, for like me to say and really hindsighty, but trust me, like we even talked about it, right? We know Talon's yeah, going yeah. bot, so just ping it, okay? Because like if you do do Grubs, the only loss you have is literally like bot lane dying. So protect it. You can protect this with pings and gain over here, right? At the same time. You can win like both sides of the map yeah, by true. pinging. So just make sure you ping. Um, and yeah, I would just take his walls and Gromp. Yeah, I, I was thinking about that, that I should take his, I, I should take two grubs and take his camp. And if he's not there abiding time, I can take the third grub. If not, I just run away. I would go here first though. I wouldn't take one or even two grubs here. I'd just go like this first. Because if you do one or two grubs, you know, he's going to run like this. Oh my God, my raptors are gone. Let me go to my walls. And you might be like finishing walls or you might be on Gromp and you might get caught, right? By Talon and Olaf. You can, you can like take these camps, whereas where only Olaf is going to check. And it's an Olaf without ult and sums and you should know that because he just fought Camille. Yeah, does that all make sense? Okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so I, would I can just see like, it, yeah. you just want to go like out and then to in. Out and then to in, like Raptors before Dragon. Wolves before Grubs. Wolves and Grom before Grubs. <laughs> You'll okay, see like okay. a bigger difference in terms of like, yeah, jungle diff, I guess. And you've already got your form, right, from Drake, so it's not like you need it for form or anything. Okay, let's have a look here. Okay, so you do all the grubs, which, yeah, I think you should definitely do his walls and gromp and then come to grubs. And then you do your... Okay, okay so what are you thinking here, Juarez? Like, you want to defend these camps or...? Yeah, I want to defend those camps because I did the Raptor and I just run there. Okay, do you ever think Talon's going to be there, though? Uh, not 100% sure, 
Because he didn't walk on my ward, we had a like pink ward there, the vision ward. So mm -hmm. basically, he cannot be there, but I can just do it. Okay, yeah, so like, I think exactly what you said, you haven't seen him on any ward here. So I think it's impossible for him to invade. And if you were like really aware, he used his ultimate and stuff. So it's very difficult for that guy just to think, or you know, just to run in here. That's what that's what I think anyway. I think it's so hard for like that guy just to run in there, you know? Yeah, yeah. In saying that though, like you don't see him on any, uh, you might actually be right because you're, yeah, he doesn't actually show even on those wards in his jungle. So he could be like going like this. Yeah, I actually, I actually think that's like smart, but this is like the annoying thing though, whereas we're like not doing his wolf camp first. Because I'm still thinking like, oh, you missed an opportunity here to take these and these. And then you just run out, maybe do one or two grubs. Remember, it's Talon with no ult, so you don't have to be that scared. Right? So if you see Talon, yeah, you don't yeah. have Talon to be too scared. Ult. Just dodges W2. That's all you have to dodge. Um, and after whatever happens at grubs, you don't have to worry about running down here, right? So therefore, you can just maybe do like Raptors, Krugs, and base. If you can't buy any item, you might as well just go Krugs first and just clear down, right? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I just said like if you can't buy an item, but yeah, like... You can just um, do Krugs first regardless, to be honest. Like after Grubs. Yeah, I understood. Yeah. Because <laughs> you're not really like recalling for any timing, you know? So that's the thing, like, whereas, like, lots of people might be like, oh my god, you can buy, like, what's your next item? Uh, the Stride Breaker. Okay, so what components are they? You've got a, is it the Whip? The Whip, right? Uh, no, the... The Team item Matt. that does AOE... Tiamat, yeah, yeah, Tiamat, yeah, and the Fade, yeah, the Fade, and the Tiamat, and right. just a dagger. So, let's just say, right, so this is like basically, a, this is a great example for like what tempo really means. Lots of people, let's just say you could buy Tiamat, okay? Let's just say there was a fight at Grubs, and you killed the Talon, and before that, you took his walls and Gromp, all right? And let's just say that you had enough gold for a Tiamat. Lots of people would be like, oh my god, I've got Tiamat, let's just recall, so I use it for longer. But a tier map, bro, is not going to be the difference between, like, you fucking winning a fight and not winning a fight, okay? So, what I'm saying is, like, after grubs, right, and you've got tier map, yeah? So, you do this, you do this, you do grubs, and there's a fight, and you kill the Talon again. Tell me, Juarez, like, why you would recall there. There is only one move you would make, right, that would justify recalling, and it's not to buy a tier map. So, you would recall there... And yeah, I would where? recall to take my camps and match his bot gank because his camps on bot side is respawning. Ah, uh, okay, right. That's pretty good. Yeah, so like your bot camps, but at this stage in the game, he's going to be dead for a little bit, so I don't think he'll ever do those camps. And also, if you think about it, you could easily just go Krugs Raptors and you'll get there in time anyway. So by doing your Krugs first, you put them on like a quicker timer. Therefore, you're going to get more Krugs and Raptors in a game, yeah? Yeah, yeah. So you're actually recalling here... To not defend your camps, to do maybe this. Yeah, exactly. That's what you're recalling for. It's not for a tier mat, it's to kill the Talon again. But obviously, like in this game, because his ult might again, like, come off cooldown. And if you don't, like, it's quite hard to, like, you know, know if you're going to kill him there. But that would be the only reason you recall, okay? Not because you have tier mat, or because you can buy a fucking, you know, phage. That really doesn't matter. You're not going to, like, die in a fight and say, wow, if I had Tiamat, I would have won. Wow, if I had a phage, that would have made all the difference. You've already got enough power, right, to win fights. Yeah, true. Okay, so, like, that's, that's like, literally what the essence of recalling is. And not recalling. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Nice, he dodges W2. He's actually kind of smart to hold on to that, but yeah. That's pretty good. In Go that uh, situation, I said that I made a misplay mechanically and I failed everything. Wait, when did you, when, what did you mean, uh, Juarez? Like here? Like this? Yeah, no, no, no. And, uh, we, we are <laughs> going to dive their bot lane. Oh my god, yeah, right. I really played really bad, like horrendously bad, and that cost. I think that cost me the game. Okay, well, I'm saying here, like, I would never go for this because Soraka's full HP. But what can you go for here? 
Look at the mini map for me. Yeah, exactly. Like just his raptors. Like I would just run to his raptors here, especially when he wards that right. Just here. And when you see Zeraf run off, you could even think of like running into that brush, yeah, depending on where Talon goes. Yeah, yeah. Um, so yeah, like that's the play you should make. Like bot lane here is really difficult to dive when they're all here. That's what I think anyway. Um, and you also don't have a wave, so you've got to wait a little bit, you know. I know you're just sitting here waiting. So yeah, that is what you should be hitting with Oriana ult. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. They even see me here. I just cleared every ward that they have. So just they feel unsafe. I wasn't planning to dive them, but I don't know why I did it. Um, yeah, I mean, like, if you do that move, you're doing it to trap them right under tower. Yeah? And yeah. if you know that Ash doesn't have flash, yeah. I think you should just probably, like... I mean, it's probably difficult here, though, because fucking, like, you chase them off. But anyway, far as, like, the point there is, like, you should have gone to his raptors. Like, all of this, you have to wait for the wave, and then they know you're here, so they run off. Like, you've got to go into, like, an Ash ult and slows and Serac accuse here, and Talon can jump over walls probably and catch you with his R. Like, it's now really difficult. Yeah. Yeah, like the right move was playing with Oriana ult and the game was basically over there. But they killed Oriana. Yep. And it was my bad. Mm hmm Oh my god. Yeah, see what I mean? Like it's just difficult to kill them when they have everything. That Talon missed his W. <laughs> Never mind, he's the goat. Yeah, this I think that the whole situation was <laughs> my bad, basically. Yeah, I agree. But that's like, uh, you're going to improve so much more as like when you're, when you can accept that, look, I missed something there. And it did actually mean that, you know, it was like a domino effect. Yeah. Like you rippled, like your, yeah, yeah. your decision there has rippled across to every lane. You left Oriana on her own. Okay. She doesn't have to die still, but it does affect her, right? It does affect her there. And same with bot lane, right? Like now the Ash is worth gold. So pretty much everyone there, like those eight champions that were near that fight, you basically, yeah, cause whatever whatever happened to happen. So it's like, it's mature yeah, of you to say exactly. like, that's my bad, but that's, that's like what you've got to have, man. So it's great. Like you saying shit like that is how you're gonna give yourself a chance to like hit the, the big time. Yeah, that's because I think that jungle is not about mechanic like AD carry. It's about the decision you make, and if you make it, make them like at least decent, not like pro shit, like at least decent, you will climb easily to Grandmaster. Like, it's not a big deal. <laughs> like, Master is really garbage elo. Um, yeah, I'd still say, like, how do I put it? Um, like, when I jungled against Shaden, I thought some of his moves were actually pretty bad, and. I thought that if my bot lane and mid lane didn't fucking give him free kills, even though like I knew where he was and we did as well, like as a team, I would have just stomped him. And he's like rank one or whatever, NA. So yeah, yeah. I'm not saying like you know he's bad or anything, but not even challenger junglers like jungle perfectly, Juarez. So like this shit that we're talking about, I I think anyway. Like, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna say it, bro. Like I think it's like Canyon Kanavi type shit. And yes, that's a big fucking claim. But hopefully you can see like the differences you can make when you think like this. Um, so yeah, like I wouldn't again, bro. I wouldn't worry like about Elo again. It doesn't matter like who you're playing or what Elo you're in. Um, like even if this was a challenger game, right? I'm gonna say exactly the same stuff. Um, yeah. So yeah. Look at this guy, by the way. Yeah, this we saw him. Like, what is he doing? And mm -hmm. we cannot find him, like, he just left. Yeah, he just left us, whatever. He knows that you're gonna be there, so... Yeah. He was just gonna take your raptors and dip, that's all. Look at that movement speed. Um... Yeah, I would just keep clearing, to be honest. Like, I wouldn't go top, I would just keep going bot. Yeah, nice. Ariana's basing, but she has TP. Yeah, this is good. yeah, I just saw that we have a line of wards there. It's impossible for Talon to get the Drake from me because uh, Belvis E is just guarantee a smite on you. Mm -hmm. It's just impossible to steal from Belvis. 
Be careful about this, right? Like him just sitting here. Yeah, that's that's the exact situation I died there. I just I just oh died. Oh my god. Seconds. Yeah, I mean like just always do Grand Prix Poirot. like think about it. This guy is clearly quite tilted and he's running off in this direction. Yeah. So if you just do, like I would just use your blue as a bait. Because if they really run in and overextend, you can like catch them, right? Yeah, as I can. a team. So you just like use your blue buff as a bait here. There's no reason for you to do it. So just do your gromp. You might have ten as well. Yeah, gromp would give you ten. And then um, then you can maybe do blue buff. <coughs> yeah, I think that death is really avoidable. Yeah, this I see situation like this. Like I'm hundred percent sure that they're just watching me there. But I still do it. I don't know why that. That is really in. Yeah, like, I, know, I know that like, they're gonna yeah. make that move. Yeah, I don't know if it's like ego or something, but sometimes like um, I will honestly think. Let's just say I have Q on Shaker, right? And I've got my ult and stuff, and I'm like, this guy never kills me. But sometimes I'll be like, he like he'll, he's just like actually going for it. What the fuck? So I'll just like kind of ego and say like, what a fucking idiot. Let me play like one. Whereas, like, yeah, that's always, exactly the yeah, ego. You should just always be disciplined, though, bro, and say, like, all right, okay, he's being an idiot. Let me... No, I don't want to join the party, though. Let me just drop the ego and say, look, like, this is really troll, though, bro. Like, what are you doing? And yeah, that's just, just yeah. exactly the ego. Because mm -hmm. uh, in Season 8 and 9, I was uh, playing top lane, and I was Grandmaster. I hit Grandmaster with top lane. I just didn't like the role to opt mm -hmm. into jungle. And even in top lane, I was egoing people. I don't know why I do it. I know that ego is not nice, but in my movement, I can see it. Like, it's obvious that I'm egoing someone. Yeah, it's just like a disrespect almost. Like, you know, even if they're in that brush, like, I know you're there now. Like, can you just fuck off and let me do blue buff? Rather than saying, look, just in case you're still going to be an idiot, let me just do Gromp. And you'll be surprised where I was at, like, how stupid people are. Like, just let them hang themselves. Right? Yeah, yeah. Don't, don't, make join the, don't join in with the aids. What am I doing, by the way? Right, yeah. Um, but yeah, bro, does this early game make sense? Like what we talked about? Yeah, yeah it makes sense completely. I learned okay. a lot. Yeah, it's good, mate. I'm glad. Let's just like quickly recap it. Just so we know, right? Okay. So you tell me like why this gank is bad. There's a lot of details, so give me all of them. Uh, so my bot lane is really low on HP. Yeah, they have a huge wave. So if, <laughs> if they played correctly and played with the wave, they can kill me. They can zone my bot lane and everything is going to shit. Mm -hmm. After that, I lose my tempo and Talon has a tempo lead on me. And he can either gank my mid lane or top lane or just take my Raptor. So the safest way is just take Raptor. So that's awesome. basically the safest way is me invading his blue because I have prior in top on me. Mm hmm. Yep, very good. But you should also know, like, I think you can only do that, whereas if you know he started bot. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. Because if he does start talk, because I've seen talents do it, then you're just running in there and you'll be like, fuck. And then you're going to be like level three for a crab fight, right? Because even if you full clear his Belver, if you have to do it well enough, otherwise you're not going to be four, right? Before the crab? Yeah. So, yeah, like, that's why it's really important just to make sure exactly where he starts and it's real. Rather than like hoping that he started the type thing. The full clear with Belvis is for me it's around thirty three seven or three ten at the at top but with two smite, not one. Right, okay, yeah. But all, all I'm saying, bro, is like if you do this move and it, the camps are gone, that's like fucking thirty seconds, you know, maybe at least. So therefore yeah. like your clear is gonna be at three forty, three fifty, which is obviously way too late. Yeah, correct. Okay, so I asked you the question when you were doing this and you said the right thing. So just remind me, like, what should you be thinking about here at this time? And given the fact that um, you started a Raptors or whatever. Uh, the correct move is just get my ground, get my wolf, move to my Raptor. Get my Raptor either defend it because Talon has mm -hmm. a plan to do it. I can defend it with Oriana and just everything is fine. Mm -hmm. Very good. Again, this was me like skipping it during the actual like thingy who I was like first time watching this. But you clearly see like <laughs> you clearly see 
Okay, let's go. You can clearly see the Talon, right? Run towards his Raptors. So now yeah, you yeah. should know, like, in your head here, I would just say, like, 640 or his Raptors. If you have that timer in your the head... The timer should have started yeah. in my head, yeah. Yeah, even if you have to say it out loud, like, even that really helps too. Yeah, all this was fine. And then you ganking top was good as well. Camille just, like, misses a hook shot, but it's whatever. Basing is good. And, all right, this is where, like... I still think it's definitely correct for you to um, run somewhere else. And I think, like, you might have an argument of is to run bot. But I think the best move is to run where? What do we talk about here? The grubs that I can just say straight go to grubs, take the grubs or fight the Talon, and mm -hmm. then defend my bot side or either take it. Because he doesn't know that I'm at grubs if he's mm -hmm. not there. Mm -hmm. he, he cannot make that risky gameplay. And everything is on my side. Very good, right? So, like, let's just say he finishes Raptors. He's oh my god, what the hell? Like the, you know, the the announcer says the red team has slain Grubs, and it'll be like, what the fuck? And then he might do this, and all of a sudden, you'll catch him. Yeah, yeah. <coughs> Very good. But just because you're here, Juarez, like you ganking bot is obviously the play. Just because you're here, right? Like, who who is not going to gank this? But that's not the reason you're this side of the map. And yeah, just remember yeah, to W off auto attacks. Yeah. So just stop what you're doing and just fucking press W. Don't press anything else. Okay, this is good. Yeah, this is all fine, right? Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Little bit of micro here. I Juarez, what did, what did I say? Take his raptor, like, yeah. Yeah, take his raptors. But when Zaraf sees you here, you don't want to make it too obvious. Because when someone is here, you need to think like right there. You're, you're kind of showing an intention, right? To run in here anyway with what you've just done. Yeah. So how would you kind of like disguise your movement maybe or intention here? You can just click backward that they see me that I'm moving backward, but I just fake it and go yeah, good. on the raptor again. Exactly, mate. Right, excellent. Nice. <coughs> yeah, I do that on ward clearing because it's, uh, the ward, when you clear uh, any ward, it yeah. gives a half of second vision and you can just bait them with your movement. Yep, exactly right. Can you remember what we said here? So when you finish Raptors, that Olaf is... It looks yeah, we said about the wave. If the wave is cannon and it's stuck in under my turret, I can gank it without taking red. And mm -hmm. if, uh, for example, right now, the wave is coming and Olaf is staying, I can just drop the golem and move to top and gank him. Very good. Yep, so just ganking on waves. Excellent. There's Talon. So, whereas if you took his Raptors at 645, just like he did, right? But you were taking them instead. Yeah. They're going to spawn at close to nine minutes. So basically, exactly. here, you would just go this and then back. Yeah, I could take two Raptors, yeah. And don't, don't think like so many people ask me this. Like if you take his Raptors, you're resetting them for him. It's like, well, you can just get them afterwards as well. Like you can put that timer in your head. But again, like no one knows what's going to happen in a game, right? The best move in that yeah, yeah. situation is just to take his Raptors. And if you can take them again, great. If you can't, then it's whatever. But that should there should be a reason for that. And that's because like you're doing something else on the other side of the map or yeah, you're getting kills and stuff. And yeah, this is all good. Just same thing though, like, right? Like it's Raptors yeah, yeah. would be nice to go. Did I comment on this? Yeah, okay. <coughs> yeah, we did, right? Yeah, so now we know he's going to run bot. Yeah. Virus, so just ping this. Same thing as well, like early game. Whenever we've talked about, like, just make sure you ping the enemy jungler, man. Remember, zero KP. That's your goal. He's not going to be in any kills the entire game. Yeah, okay. Got it. <laughs> 